It's my birthday and I would love for you to join me to celebrate on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Sunday the 13th of February. We've got lots of new projects, including these cute bird doorstops from Amber Makes, dressmaking with Adele Rowland and the wonderful Jane Crowfoot, who will be joining us specially for an hour of Yarn Lane. I'm sure I'll have some special treats for you too. You'll have to tune in on Sunday from 8am until 1pm to find out. Watch me on Freeview 73, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, you know how Elliot used to go like this? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Charlie goes like this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And when it gets closer, it doesn't go faster, it just gets louder. Uh, Charlie's my director today, by the way, everybody. Oh, uh, and uh, Kat is producing. Hello, they say hello, hello. And they've dressed identically this morning. They didn't know. They didn't ring each other, but they've both got oversized grey sweat. Oh, didn't know. Anyway, shall we do today's? I know it's not meant to be me today. I'm not meant to be here today, am I? Anyway, uh, should we do today's early bird? Yeah, thanks, Kat. <laughs> early bird, she said, early bird. Uh, right, now today's early bird, it'll sell out. It's gonna sell out, it's gonna sell out before we've even started. Look, this is 5 99 normally. It is your 8 6 40 by the half meter. Now it's already cut. It's already cut, right? So if you buy 10 of them, you will get 10 pieces that have been cut into half a meter pieces. So one side fusible, one size not. It's brilliant for the back of cushions, for any quilting or anything like that. Should be, would be, and will be 5 99 again at midnight tonight, which is Saturday the 12th. What's that noise? Can you, no, no, can you not hear it? I think, just pop your head out the door. I think my air con in here is about to explode. 5 99 Well, I haven't put it on. Charlie put it on. 5 99 No, let's crash, let's crash, let's crash. <laughs> Good morning, John. Love you from Blackpool, says Patricia. Say, say. Yeah, Claire, it's a new shirt. It's a new shirt. It's Daisy's. 4 pounds and 49 pence. 
The more you spend, the more you save, says Kat. Uh, Jane. Uh, what a surprise, see, John. How lovely. It's me. It was meant to be Vix. Was it meant to be Vix today? Oh, uh, well, she doesn't want to work with Kat anymore. So she, I refused to work that day. And then also we've had our March rotor. And then I got a message yesterday going, oh, you're also doing this Sunday because Vix is singing at another wedding. So have you got me? Wedding season was everyone catching up, isn't it, from the last two years? £4.49 four for half a metre. Remember, it will go back up at midnight tonight. Remember, you only pay one PMP for the whole day. So, uh, if you buy this now, that's PMP paid for for all day, whether you come in and buy, so, oh, we've got some beautiful fat quarters coming up later, or a quilt kit, or a sewing machine, or anything, that's your PMP paid for for today. Oh, I've got something very important to tell you as well. Have we got a slide for it, by the way? Signing up for the newsletter. Oh, okay. Keep going through, keep going through. Oh, that's right, we did, didn't we? £4.49 pence for half a metre. It's already cut. It's H640, fusible fleece. Uh, and you use it for so many things. Table runners, backs of cushions, bags. Baffa, now, did Baffa must have used some of this yesterday on one of her bags, surely? Well, interfacing and this, I'm magic. For some reason, I'm dribbling. I don't know if it's because I'm hungry or if it's because I'm excited or I've turned into a dog. Suzanne says, good morning, John Stewart and team. Have a great day from Aberdeen. Loving the shirt. Thank you. Now, Suzanne, I only bought it in the pink, but they do it in black, blue, green, red, and another colour. I don't know if we should get the other colours, do you think? No reply. Okay, I've got I've got other shirts. I've got to order more, more for the Christ, for birth, Christmas week. Yeah, because we do Christmas week. No, for birthday week, haven't I? It's billowing a bit, though, isn't it? Making me look a bit fatter than I really am. I got on the weighing scales this morning. I, I think there's something wrong with them. Well, I do it every morning. It's silly. I shouldn't do it, actually, because normally I'm kind of around the same. And then last night, I was chasing one of the cats, as you do. Uh, we have to give them 20 minutes of exercise a day, so we just chase, run around the house, run around the house, run around this. Uh, and I fell over my... Yeah, then I fell over. Oh, yeah, that's why Doris is so fat. Do you not chase around the house? Oh, honestly. Anyway, I fell over the weighing scales. I got on them this morning. It wouldn't work. So I did, you know what you do, gave them back and I got on them. And I put five pounds on. So I think I, I might have broken them. Yeah, it's on hardwood flooring. It's in the same room as it's always been. Anyway, Diane says, morning, John and team. Lovely new shirt. Have a lovely day. Thank you, Diane, my lovely. Kate says, good morning. Uh, keep going through for this. Right, come on, what's the matter with you? You're not checking out. Right, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm going to wait with you for a little while longer because there's so many people got it in your basket and you haven't checked out. Uh, remember, you can give us a call, 0800 001 4433. You can buy on the web. You can buy on the app. Amanda says, morning, Side Street team and everyone else. Carol says, morning, John and team, liking the shirt. More than the one on Thursday. <laughs> Derek says, morning, Charlie. Oh, Charlie, you get top billing. Morning, Charlie, Cat and John. Uh, yes, get more of these in different colours. I do like a billowing shirt. I'm not sure if I do because it makes me feel fat. Morning, says Sue. That was Derek that said that, by the way. Come on. Come on, I've got loads to do today. Check out, check out, check out. 8640, and the thing is, you're going to use 8640 all the time on all your different projects, aren't you? You might as well get it while it's reduced, mightn't you? Morning, John. Looking forward to today's show. Love your new shirt. Thank you. Looking very dapper. We'll be watching while sewing myself some new scrub hats. Fiona. Oh. Um, £4.49. That was two years ago now that I did my demo on how to make scrub hats and scrub bags and everything, wasn't it? It's, I know, it's frightening to think two years have gone by. I know. Well, no, I, I was going to say we're still here. I wasn't here. I wasn't here then, was I? That's strange. This world, this sewing street without John Scott. A better place. Hello, Kate says, miserable day here. Love your shirt. Oh, it's quite, is it quite nice here? I don't know what it's like here. John, the scales lie, but they make good frisbees. Oh, Lynn. I know, but I can't open my windows at the moment because I think the cats might jump out. And I'll message to people, morning, John, I'm hoping you're able to watch without people distracting me. I should hope not. Don't they know who we are? Um, 
I had to email about the window yesterday because it's three weeks, isn't it? They said my window would be three weeks and, and I've not heard anything. As soon as I get that cat, they know they're so desperate to get outside now. The cat says is, not the window people. Now they've already got the money. That's the problem. They've already had the money. I know. I'm the o am I the only one who feels like they've just lost the last two years? No, Sue. Think of the different experiences we had. Think of the things we learnt. Oh, Carol, thank you. Couldn't imagine Sewing Street without you, John. Well, it'd be a quieter place, that's for sure. Kate says, morning, handsome. Oh, I wonder what she's watching. Hope all have a wonderful day. Thank you very much, Kate. Donna says, good morning. Angie's there now as well. Lots of you coming in today. Anyway, come on, hurry up and check out. We haven't got all day. And how many did I have in, in all together? Right, half the stock's gone. Half the stock has gone. I thought more of that. I thought more. Oh, there's loads got it in the basket. What I might do is I might remind you about that later on because I need to get on because I've got so much to do. Oh, oh, morning, John and team. You all do a lovely job. Love watching and spending from Mandy. Thank you, Mandy. Yeah, it's not all about me. It's not all about me. Uh, morning, sunshine. Just want to say my native lighting floor lamp has arrived and it's brilliant to sew by. Wish I'd got it sooner. <laughs> Told you. A, fr a friend of mine tuned in. A morning, John. I love the new shirt. I need you to send me lots of inspiration. I've lost my sojo. Heidi in Skipton. That's me skipping. Um, Heidi, come on. You can do it. It's like me with my book. I got writer's block. And then suddenly yesterday, oh, I wrote and I wrote and I wrote and I wrote and I wrote. Still not enough, but I've written lots and lots of it. Um, <laughs> love it when you nag us. Do I nag? Morning, says Ange, loving the shirt. Brightens this very dull weather. Oh, honestly. Margaret says, morning, John and team. Lovely shirt. Helen says, morning, John. Nipping out to Morrison's before it rains. Right, they shut if it rains. Uh, Claire says, could you not open the door and then entice them back in with treats? No, I'm not going to do that yet because then they'll want to go out all the time. They'll be scratching at the door, won't they? At the moment, they're happy to stay in. Jan says, morning, gorgeous. Lovely to see you. And you, Jan, too. Right, uh, I'll do the menu. F mm, will I do the menu first? No, I'm not going to do the menu first. Okay, so on Monday, it's Valentine's Day, isn't it, right? And if you are signed up for a newsletter, you are going to get a special email on Monday via the newsletter. So if you're not a member of the newsletter or not signed up or subscribed to the newsletter, then you've got Saturday and Sunday to do it before you get the email on Monday. How do you do it, you're asking, aren't you? Well, this is how you do it. You go to the website, just a straight put, oh, oh, excuse me, there's a double hiccup then. Scroll right the way down. You don't have to click on watch live or anything like that. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Drop, oh no, scroll down. Where is it? Oh, excuse me, I didn't, go back, go back. I didn't get, why have they used that picture of me? Look, Stuart's not even looking. He's just looking at his iPad, reading all his hundreds of messages. They've done what? Yeah, yeah, it's just me mid-show. That's not a proper photo session. Anyway, look, right at the very bottom, subscribe. Just put your email address in there and you'll be subscribed for the... You can guess it. Guess it, cat.wilcox at sewingstreet.com. Now you put that in, you see, you're going to guess it, aren't you? You should have put Charlie's in. Have you got one yet, Charlie? Oh, he's a, God, they've been very good to you. There you go. He's got keys already. Subscribe. There you go. I don't... Okay, he got keys. He was here before me again this morning. He's got his, he's already got his email address and everything. Morning, John and Stuart having a sewing day and playing with my new adjuster form, Betty. Oh, Louise, you'll have fun. Right, OK, make sure you subscribe because if you subscribe, there's no money involved or anything like that. It's not like a subscription where you pay. It just means you get the newsletters. And on Monday, you will get a special email with something special in it. If you've already subscribed, don't worry, you'll still get the email. But this is just to, to let your friends know to subscribe because if they don't subscribe, they won't get the email, which means they won't get the the thingy me bob that you're being offered. I can't say, I can't say what it is. I can't say what it is. Look, look at the menu. Otherwise I will say what it is. 
Uh, something free, anyway. Anyway, 8 o'clock, panels and fabrics at 8 o'clock. That's now. Then at 9 o'clock, we've got the most gorgeous Dan Morris fabrics with Stuart Hillard. Who's he? Uh, he's made this. Look. I know. Shay, he hadn't got his glasses on. Shame he couldn't do straight lines, isn't it? I said that when he came in this morning. What, what happened to the straight lines? Isn't it gorgeous? Look at that fabric. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We've got fat quarters and we've got design roll. He also made a bag from another range. Look, that's a different range. That one's a different range, isn't it? Still in the same hour. We have not got the handles. Close up the handles. We have not got the handles, but we have got the um, magnetic fastener. <laughs> oh, there it is. Blimey, Charlie. No wonder. It's no wonder he gets in so early, isn't it? If he has to take all these pictures. But then back to the menu. Uh, we've got Creative Grids and Tools at 10 o'clock. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got Moda, Yours Sincerely, Good Hearted Quilt with Stuart Hillard. I don't know why I'm standing still, because you've got pictures of all these, haven't you? Look! Now, that's only a tiny bit of it. That's only nine blocks of it, whereas on, in effect, how many blocks are the cat? She's just going to work it out now. Oh, it'd be easy if I just go and find it. Here we go. So there's 30 blocks in total. That's only nine of them. That's only, aren't they lovely? Aren't they gorgeous? Love is in the air, so they say. Uh, back to the menu. And then modern moda fabrics at 12 o'clock. Modern moda fabrics at 12 o'clock. There are three ways you can get in touch. First one is uh, email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Then you can do it also on Facebook Live. Now, I'll just do a few of those. Because there's loads there. Um, right, Fiona says, John, it's never nagging. It's constructive adv advice. Used to have to say that to bosses when they accuse me of nagging people. Shelley says, good morning, John. Watching from bed with a cuppa. Like, wait, what is that his name? Cuppa, your new boyfriend. Uh, Lorraine, crazy Lorraine says, good morning. And um, right. Uh, the third way is you can go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. You can, oh, look at tomorrow. Look at tomorrow. She's 60 tomorrow. 60 tomorrow. Isn't that fantastic? Four hours of Sewing Street and one hour of Yarn Lane. And she's got the most incredible special guest on Yarn Lane too. She's got a special guest during the show as, as well. She's got Adele on, hasn't she, tomorrow? And then she's got a Yarn Lane guest on tomorrow. Anyway, click on Watch Live. You will see, there's the early bird. Now there's a box to the right-hand side there saying send message to Joe. Write your message there. These are the ones that come across the box. Could you switch the aircon off for me in a minute? Dan Morris, he's not in the studio. Don't worry, he's not there. Lorraine says, good morning from sunny Dubai. Pam Minihan, he says, good morning, everyone. Derek says, more from Charlie, please. His photos are fantastic. He says, thank you. New man in bed. No, thank you. I've had my filler then. Thank you, says Shelley. Ah. Oh. Anyway, scroll down the page. There will be two columns in a minute. The left-hand column will be show deals. And the second column will be pre-orders. This is everything we've got for the next five hours. So they are all the panels and bundles and things like that for the first hour. There's lots to get through. Oh, look at that. What's that? What's that chicken? Oh, it's a parrot. Oh, we were talking about parrots this morning, weren't we? Yeah. Uh, uh, then look, look at the Dan Morris moon shadow and ambiance. Beautiful. Look, aren't they beautiful? That's the one that the handbag's made out of, is it? Yep. And then, oh, that's my, well, I'm not allowed favourite, so that's my favourite. Love it, love it. And we've got, we've got, uh, oh, okay, now, stop, 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 stop. Go back, go back, go back. So that one's 94.99 and that one's 94.99. One's got 25 in, one's got 27 in. But you know what? Cat's put it on, on um, split pay for you. It's not supposed to be. Not meant to be. It's not meant to be on split pay. You add it to your basket, proceed to check out, and it'll give you the... Ch oh, yeah. When you're logged in, it'll give you the log... Anyway, carry on. Get, get rid of that. Oh, are you moving this? Yeah, get right rid of it so someone else can buy it. Yeah, there you go. Then we've got uh, all the bits Stuart asked for. Then we've got, there's the quilt he's making. He's just under top nine. Well, he hasn't done them, but you know. One of his ladies, I think it was uh, Deputy Joan did the top nine for him. Then we've got uh, Moda Fabrics for the last hour. Now, remember, you can check out now. You can go in and buy any of these now. If you're thinking, oh, I've got to get to the shops, or I've got to go out, or I've got to go and meet family, or something like that. You can buy them now. You can buy it now. 
Nothing's being crashed today. Apart from the early bird, nothing's being crashed. So they are the... Pardon? Oh, some stuff in the last hour is apparently. Oh, this first hour, this first hour there is. We prepped so well, didn't we, this morning? Uh, right, I don't know why they're in a funny order, the hours. I, I, I'll tell you a story, right? A friend of mine said, every time I tune in, he doesn't watch often because he's not into so, but he says, every time I tune in, you're going on about this lamp that you've got in your office. He said, every time I tune in, and there it is again. <laughs> there it is again in today's show. <laughs> anyway, Lumina floor lamp, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, do you know what? We haven't got a sewing machine here for Stuart. Hope he's got it ready. Oh, that's right then. Right, keep going. Is that it? That's the day. Oh, that was a bit of a disappointment, wasn't it? Oh, we are going to be questioning some things in this hour. So, shall we start then? Where are we going first? Tilda, windy days. I've got a design role and I've got fat quarters. Fat quarters first. Now, as you know, Stuart is an ambassador for Tilda Fabrics. This is Windy Days. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful fabrics. I'm just going to roll my sleeves up. Oh, this one's different. Oh, I don't... Oh! No, that's really weird, right? They normally have a, a wide um, placket with an extra button that you can roll up. I haven't on this one, so it won't roll up very far. Anyway, $79.99, you get 20 uh, fat quarters in here. Remember, fat quarter is a metre, uh, a yard of fabric. Cut in half and then cut in half again, because it's American. I know, $79.99, makes them £4 each, doesn't it? £4 a fat quarter. Do you want me to open them and have a look at the patterns? Yes, please. Now, there we go. That's right, because Charlie's packing this hour away. Oh, when we were packing away, I've got a bone to pick with Charlie. Last time we were packing up when we were all in together, he went and sat with Elliot, chatted with Elliot for halfway through an hour. And then Elliot was like, oh, I've got to teach him about this, teach him about that. Yeah, you didn't look like you were being dragged. You just looked like you were gossiping by the... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Well, that's because Elliot doesn't know how to pack away, so does he? Anyway, look at the gorgeous colours. They're beautiful, aren't they? I'm in the right place. Yes, I am. Uh, that one goes there. I love this one. Like block prints, aren't they? That's the signature uh, design there, the little dog in the windy days. Beautiful, very William Morris-esque some of these, aren't they? <clears throat> Four pounds each they work out at. Four pounds each, that is gorgeous. For designer Tilda Fat Quarters, 20 of them. I'll let, I'll let Kat just carry on wittering because she's talking a load of old rubbish. Right, okay, now. Oh no, John. Oh, honestly. There you go. There you go. Aren't they gorgeous? So you get the windy days, you get the big flowers, you get the huge Baroque style there, the lovely William Morris-esque there, and then the block print there. £79.99. and pence. Judith says, good morning. Who's Charlie, says Sue. Sue, where have you been? Where have you been? He's our new director. He's been here for... How long have you been here now, Charlie? Oh, three weeks. He does what Becky Alexander Frost does. Third. It's his third week, this one. Um... Does Charlie have to wait until after his probation to make his TV debut? He's not coming out in his outfit today. Wait till he's got his dancing trousers on, then you can see him. But yeah, he'll be coming out. He'll, we'll get him out. We'll get him out. Angela. Hi, John and team. Any chance you can say hello to my granddaughter, Kay? She's had a sleepover with Nanny last night, so we're watching you. Oh, Angela. What's she called? Kay. How, how old is she? Does it say how old she is? Oh, Kay. Morning, Kay. Morning. Uh, have a lovely day with Nanny. She says, you'll go to the shop later. You can have whatever you want. Good morning. Uh, sweets. Good morning, John and crew. Have you been on a diet? You look wonderful. This oh, Veronica, thank you. No, because my weight scale say I'm up five pounds heavier than I was yesterday. I think it's because it's a big shirt. That's why. Good morning, John. I'm also in bed with a cuppa. Oh, he gets around that cuppa bloke, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, he gets around, doesn't he? Lots of love from Chris Crystal. What will Blake say? That's, that's Linda Evans, right, who is in Dynasty, plays Crystal. <coughs> Morning, John and crew. First time I've been able to watch for a week and started to get John Scott withdrawals. Oh, Karen. Yeah, make sure you buy lots today then to make up for him. Anyway, have you bought this? Everyone bought this? Are we done with this? Oh. Right. Uh, 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 quarter of the stock's in baskets. Quarter of the stock is in baskets. Make sure you check out. It's lovely. I know what you're waiting to see. You're waiting to see what else we've got, aren't you? So that's fine. But just be careful, that's all. 
Oh dear, the computer's logged um, cat out. And I've got interference on my... Um... <laughs> OK, last week, there was a very important email went out, right? And Cat and Hannah weren't included in the list. So they've convinced themselves now that they haven't got jobs. They think that's it, they've been sacked. But nobody's told them. And the computer's just logged out. Oh, I've obviously been sacked. He's logged me out now. Oh, Windy Day's design roll. Now, I'm not going to open this one. But it's the same fabrics you just saw in two and a half inch strips, 44 inches wide. 40 pieces for 64.99. Not today. Not today. We're going to take it under 60 pounds. First time we've ever reduced this. No, we're not allowed to do this. It's the weekend nobody's in. 59.99. Oh, yeah, she says if she's been fired, she might as well go out with a bang. Imagine if you haven't been fired, though. No, she hasn't been fired. Not imagine. She hasn't been fired. Well, as far as I know, we didn't get that email. 59.99. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Charlie be on probation, isn't he? So he's got to be good for three months. 59.99. No, we've already taken five pounds off. Taking how much you're taking off now? Now the five has got ten pounds off that price. Ten pounds. Never been reduced before. Tilda, Tilda, Tilda. Windy Day's the newest launch from Tilda. 54.99. You get 40 two and a half inch strips. They're width of fabric, so 43, 44 inches long. Sue says good morning all. Beautiful. Oh, keep checking out on that one. Cat's just taking £10 off for you. So only till midnight, remember, it goes back up to 64 99 at midnight tonight. That's uh, a midnight of Saturday the 12th. Thank you, Charlie. Have you bought the ingredients for your Valentine's dinner? Oh. 54. Well, if you don't get it now, for, if you're going to get a meal for two for Marks and Spencer, they're going to be sold out by tomorrow, aren't they? No. If he orders it, that means you've got to have what he wants. Beautiful. Moving on. Keep checking out on that one. Right. Parrot. Now, this is your 80 cotton, 80% 80 cotton, 20 We have no idea where this is here. None of us put it into the shed. He just appeared. He's just flown in of his own accord. Peter the parrot, that is. Or Polly, should be Polly the parrot. No, I think it's a boy, isn't it? Wouldn't we say it was a boy? Anyway, it's just this. 46 inch square. Uh -huh, it's linen, look, it's what it is. It's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. And what? And there's only 10 of them. Just 10 of them left. 10 little parrots sitting on a wall. One said Peter, one said Paul. What am I? I don't know. That's not the right song, is it? Anyway, two ninety nine. Louise says, morning, gang. The Dan Morris is going already, just so you know. Are you getting on split pay? Did I just say morning, gang, from Louise? Oh, and Joanne says, morning. And a kiss. Joanne sent a kiss. What are those little logo-y things after their names? One looks like a... G oh. That's right. I think the cat knows what all those mean, isn't it? 2 99 Charlie, have you signed up for your newsletter? Yeah. Don't worry, cat. My daughter's in HR. I'll get her on the unfair dismissal. Well, it wouldn't be unfair dismissal, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's taking it down in price. Then she's got every right to sack her with that, you know. She's not been sacked. Before you all messaged in, she's not been sacked. Nine left, nine in baskets. They're going to sell out. They're going to sell out. They're going to sell out. Fat quarter pack. Now, we must have cut these. Now, if you remember, on Stuart's birthday... Delphine made a gorgeous quilt out of this. I've not got the quilt today, but I have got the fat quarters that the quilt was made out of. Oh, okay. So on the day, on Stuart's birthday, these were never going to be sold outside of the bundle. 
And someone, I don't know who, made the decision. Oh, Kat, Kat said, Kat asked, you, now you get 11 fat, right, that can't be right, 11 fat quarters for 38.99. Can it? Well, that's way less than four pounds each, isn't it? What, pardon? What, one with no clothes on? Oh, yeah. Hang on, how many are there supposed to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Ten. No, eleven. That's right, Kat. <laughs> you might actually get one freebie, but you might not do. You might get a, a nude, apparently. Oh, we've had a message from Tracy. I had to bend down while I said that. Morning, John. I'm watching on my tablet and can't find the subscribe to news offer button. Can you help, please? Sorry, I know you've told me. Oh, off. Have I told her off about something before? Uh... Oh, maybe. Hang on, hang on. If I'm watching on my tablet as well. You mean you watch on YouTube? No, no, I think, no, ignore me. Ignore me. You need to go to the website. Well, no, no, that, you can't take it to the website. She's watching on the thing. It's right at the bottom of the front page. Have you not got a front page on the website? It's not the. She's not on the app. Should she? Uh, shall I try and find? Let me try and find. If you got one, are you, are you looking on one of these then? So how do I do this then? Now I have to find the the one that you look for things on. Don't know the star one. I'm just trying to do W, there's Safari, right, then I do, I agree, I was on Facebook last, this is my work tablet obviously, so then I put in here, www.sewingtherestreet.com, right, that brings me to there, right, go to the, right, okay, so I'm on the tablet now, right, okay, uh, 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 right, uh, oh yeah, it'll be fine, won't it, right, ready? There it is, look. There it is, right at the bottom. So you're on the front page. You haven't pressed watch live yet, look. You haven't pressed watch live. You've literally gone to the bottom of the page. And there it is. And then you go in there. And then you write Charlie. Dot, are you Charles or Charlie? I, I don't, I'm not going to put your surname in because I don't know it. But, and then, and then you press on that and it says subscribed. Right, Tracy, I hope that helps because I've just taken a long time and I'll get told off for doing that now. They can try and fire me if they want to. I'll, I'll walk. Right, let me just get back. Right, I'm back now. June says morning. Love to see you back. June, I've only had a day off. <laughs> uh, oh, you take the graphics out. Where are they then? Oh, there they are. Charlie, 38.99. So hang on, what's, th she's taking them out now, isn't she? What's 38.99 divided by 11? Yeah, too low, yeah, exactly. 3.54 for a fat quarter. Designer, Lewis and Irene fat quarters. They're lovely, I might have to get those. Uh, well, blue Sleeping Beauty. I'm presuming it can only be this one. Oh, now this isn't a panel, is it? Oh, we normally say this by the half metre, don't we? Look, 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 look. So you, it's a border print. You get it on both sides. But look, ah, that's lovely, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 no. It is, it is a panel, look. 60 centimetres, 60 centimetres. You're getting more than half a metre. Look, it's gorgeous. It's lovely. The colours are so vibrant. Yeah, it's 61 centimetres, that one. Aren't they lovely? How much is it? 9 99 Beautiful. And I've got nothing to go with it. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, they're nice. What's this bundle? That's lovely. What's the matter?
Don't walk. I'd run if I were you. Joanne! Ellen says, I've just done that on my tablet too. Get signing up for that newsletter to get you your special email on Monday. Spread the love. Who messaged it? Steph. Steph, I've still not found... Steph, I've still not found... I've sent someone to Ivy House to find my Christmas present. It's not there. It's not there. Um, the cats are mine now. They were basically... I was going to look after them for Cherry. Um, anyway, they're mine now, so I'm having cat flap sitted and everything. Ghost and Luther, they're called. Like panthers, they're huge. If you go to the bottom of the deals shown, there's a subscribe box there. Yeah, I've just shown you. Oh, I don't see a place to subscribe either. I'm also watching on my tablet. If I've already described, maybe it doesn't show. Oh, no, ring. Okay, if you have any issues on your tablet, ring the call centre. Ring the call centre and they'll be able to put you on. They'll be able to put you on. That's weird because on, on my tablet, I could see it, couldn't I? I've got another tablet under the other table there. You have to turn your iPad to horizontal to get the bottom of the page to subscribe. Is that horizontal then? That's vertical. No, mine was on vertical, wasn't it? Oh, well, anyway. If you can't get it, either get on your computer or ring the call centre. Thank you. Who? Cat. Good morning, Sewing Street. Thank you for keeping me company whilst I've been poorly in bed. I need to get back to my creativity. Oh, cat, look. Kata. Look. Kata. With a K, not a C like our cat. Not my cats at home, cat in Nermy. Right. <clears throat> oh, that belongs there. Petals and pedals. I've got the panels here. Oh, yeah, because that's a different thing, isn't it? Oh, black's the most popular. Look. I'll show you them both, right? That's the black one. This is. Oh, you're right. Hi, John, I've subscribed with my email. Should I put my... No, 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 no. You should put... You put I, it's because I didn't know Charlie's... I didn't know Charlie's um, email address. So I just put Charlie and then stopped. Yeah, you need to put your email address in. You put, just put your email address in. It will have said subscribed underneath. Oh, make your mind up. You said the cream one. Didn't she, Charlie? Okay, Charlie. That's that one thing you'll learn. That's one mark against his name. The presenter is always right, Charlie. I can, yeah, it's not if you can see me, June. It's if you can see the box where you have to subscribe. I knew this would cause hassles. Oh, Jan says, only joking. I love the great description of the fabric as we cannot feel them. Love you. That's all right. Gaynor says, good morning, John and team. Julie says, morning, John and team. Derek says, thanks. The turning the iPad horizontal worked. There you go, then. Turn your iPad horizontally. And it'll work. Oh, Steph, Steph, I can't tell you, June the 19th. Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 because we'll have moved by then. We'll have moved by then. So I'll have to give you the new address when we've moved studios. I oh, know. 9.99, this panel. Oh, I'm right thirsty today. You keep doing that. I had funny dreams again last night. Morning, John and team from a cold and dull rugby, but you always cheer me up. Oh, thank you, Georgina. All right, that's enough. We don't need to know about the rest of your dream. Thank you, Cat. Cat's telling Charlie about her very... And that wasn't mundane. I was going to say... Just echoes your lifestyle, really, doesn't it? Now, Charlie, this is the cream one. Or white, we've called it, actually. <clears throat> no, Claire, not moving far at all. Not moving far at all. We're just joining in with all the others, so we'll be next to... So they'll be next to Gems, Jewellery Maker... What's that one called? Pr Primal and... Uh, yeah, Hobby Maker. And us. We'll all be in the same building. Becky Alexander Frost, good morning, John Stewart and team. Whip, woo, John, loving the new, sh new, loving the new shirt. She's still on the bus home, she says, because she lives quite a way away. 
Have you? Oh yes. Uh, Becky Allen's first France. Where are the Percy Pigs? She always brings Percy Pigs. Where are they? None. Actually, oh no, we've put him to bed. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Can I say, John, I am loving your new collection of shirts. The colours really suit you. I've been watching a lot on Catch Up from Gerardine. Thank you, Gerardine. They're all from China. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even know that. Now you put that in my head. Right, moving on. Come on, look at the time. Positivity. Oh, I thought you only had coffee, didn't I? There you go. Stay positivity. No, here it is. Have you seen Debbie Harris's new uh, logos? She's on. Uh, she's on um, this coming week with me, isn't she? And next week will be Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Sa Friday and Saturday, I think, next week, aren't I? Yeah? Fix what? Oh, is she? Is she having a week off? Bex having a week off? Well, she'll be having her birthday week, won't she? Oh, she bought biscuits for everyone. <coughs> Where are they then? Oh, Kat's got them. Kat's got them, everyone. Right, Gary. Hello, Gary. Gary. Hey, hang on a minute. Gary, you be careful with that. What's he eating? Cocoa Pops. At your age, you be careful. That's what's left. Oh, have you seen what's left? Rec Alexander Frost before. brought these in for everyone to share. There's okay. one, there's a Viscount. Aren't they Viscounts, those? Okay. And that one's been out in there. You can have that one. Oh, I want to eat I can't eat it. Anyway, go catch. Oh, <laughs> It's just landed in the tray. Right, here you go. Uh, 10 99 There's 10 99 Oh, that's good. You're on my days off, says Carol. Oh, good. What's in the kitchen? What did we make? I can't remember. Oh, we, I know what we made. We made a um, cup carrier for when you're taking your dog for a walk. Out of this. Ow, 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 ow. That's all right. One day, I'm going to make you stand here with an earpiece in and I'm going to knock that microphone. So just so you know how loud this is. Oh, yes. Now, Kat's, Kat's actually presenting next Wednesday. Only for 10 minutes in the morning at 8 o'clock. So if you want to watch Kat at 8 o'clock next Wednesday morning for the early bird. Well, so you were saying it, you, that was the only day you've got with... Ve yeah, exactly. Good morning, says Cousin Susan. Uh, hang on, I too am watching in bed with breakfast. Rainy here in Yorkshire. Wonder if anything will jump in my basket today. Great start to the day from Sharon. Sharon, you're going to need to get the Dan Morrises. They're flipping gorgeous. They are. These are lovely as well, obviously, but the Dan Morris brand spanking new, gorgeous. And on split pay. And on split pay. Right, yo, where am I going next then? I'm just going to move that round. She's got a ma mouth. She's got a mouthful of Viscount biscuit now, so that's why she can't speak. Which one? Which one? Oh, this. This is new. I've never seen this before. No. Oh, hang on. So these are half meters, are they? It's funny how they're all folded differently these days, aren't they? Oh, I have seen these. No, I tell a lie because. Hang on. No, the reason I've seen these is this is the fabric that um, Kerry had in her applique, her tulip table runner this week, wasn't it? Well, only that one. Only that one. She didn't have these. She didn't have these because it had the writing in, didn't she? There you go. So there's love. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. <laughs> That'll be enough of that, thank you. Right, there we go. Don't look at that, don't look at that. 69.90, you get five metres of fabric. Becky Alexander Frost, are you in on the 2nd of March? Um, I think, uh, what day of the week is that? Yes, I'm in in the morning. I'm only, I'm only doing mornings, aren't I? Yes, I'm on at 10 o'clock with you on that day, Becky Alexander Frost. Isn't that biscuit, isn't that the biscuit that Baffers Bear was posing with yesterday? 
earn. You've just eaten it. Ooh. 69.9. Aren't they lovely, these colours? They're kind of retro-esque, aren't they? I would say. Personally. Message from Mandy. Morning, John and team. Hoping my Liberty Fabric comes today so I can start my dresses. Oh, when did you order it, Mandy? What day did we do that rainbow? No, yeah, it was the one where we had the rainbow the other day and she got the yellow. Oh, now, Mandy, which one did you go for in the end? Did you go for the yellow and the green or did you go for the, did you go for the saffron? I can't remember now. I've slept since then. I'm not likely to remember. Oh, don't message, message from a different Mandy. Morning, I've tried to subscribe so many times in the past, but no reply. Can you help? Love Mandy in Norfolk. Right, ring the call centre, Mandy. That's the best thing to do. I bet it's going to your junk. I bet you any money it's going to your junk folder. Right, whenever Hayley emails Cat, it goes straight to the junk. I wonder why. Uh, so ring the call centre, my love. Morning all. Where can I find information about the bag behind you? I was going to say, Stuart's not on yet, is he? Oh, <laughs> oh be careful. He'll come through that door in a minute. Um, the bag behind us, right, that's, Stuart's going to demo a part of it in a minute. We haven't got a pattern for it yet, but he, he will explain it, right? If you buy your Dan Morris today, right, buy your Dan Morris today, he's then going to bring, he's, I'll let him explain, I'll let him explain it all, but he's going to do your pattern and everything. Right, yo. Oh, that's right, the watermelon, yellow and watermelon, that's right. Oh, oh, sorry, I've put it away. Sorry, no, no, my bad. Oh, just, we won't be doing that pattern. Um, be careful on these. There's lots in baskets. Lots and lots. In, oh, there you go. There are lots and lots in baskets. If you want any of those, buy the half metre. Because obviously when you buy the bundle, they all, you get half metre of each already cut. If, say, you want that one for a dress, right, you can go to the website uh, on pre-order. Are they all on pre-order, yeah? And you can buy it. Now, they've got, what, what does it say in the description? I think you might need to just wash this. If you use it for dressmaking, is it what? It's got like a dressing on it. Yeah, I think it'll just go in the wash sort of thing. But I just think before you dressmate with them. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, right. Okay, let's move on then. Thank you. Love is in the air. I thought you done that. Have a nice day. So every so no, we haven't done that one yet. Right, this is lovely. Gay Parry. I've got, what, six of these left, that's all. Yeah, that's what they say. Gay Paris. They don't know what I'm talking about. The youngsters of today, I mean, it's outrageous, isn't it? What do they, oh, I hated Emily in Paris. I watched the first episode and switched off and never watched it again. I did watch Landscape Art of the Year this week, why? At Compton Verney. And the judge used to be the director there. Yes. You see, you forget that they've, like, they've got proper jobs, everything, these judges, don't you? Right, so you get the panel. And you get four and a half metres of fabric. And you get half a metre of that for free. Yes, Lynn, she's still on the bus going home. Lo said, let's talk about, baby, let's talk about you and me. What do you want to talk? Is that a song? Let's talk about love. Baby, let's talk about you and me. You'll be very single this week. Oh, I'm always single, me, I know. Hi, John, what is the quilt behind you? Blimey, there's so many questions today, isn't it? This one here is using the Dan Morris fabric at Ambiance, and Stuart's going to show you how to make that in the next hour. This one here is one that Stuart's going to be showing. This one's a kit. This one comes in a box. And this one, it's much bigger than this. It's, there's 30 blocks. He's only bothered to do nine. Right. Um, it's gorgeous, isn't it? That's th that's coming up at 11. And that's the bag that he's going to be talking about in the next hour. This. This is going to be crashed in price. So if you're, got, if you're buying it on the website and don't think I'm not paying £109 for nine blocks. You get 30 blocks in the box. 30 blocks. Oh, I'm exhausted already. Oh, you've been singing a lot this week, not you'll be single this week. You'll be very single. Oof, story of my life. Panel on its own. Oh, I'm folding up, the one I'm just folding up. I couldn't think. My, she was saying it in my ear and it wasn't registering. Panel on its own. 
There's only seven panels on the road left. I love it, right? I love it because it's some... Oh, ow. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Yeah, that's all it takes. Right, you wait. You wait till you're on on Wednesday. I'm going to come in specially to bang on the microphone at eight o'clock. Oh, no, I'm not. 9.99. Right. Yeah, I love it, right? But there's no people. People... People who need people. Not like what? I know that was a very strange painting with all the Elvis, but... Oh, I won't say, I won't say, I won't say, in case you haven't watched it. Oh, didn't you? Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. I liked all three of the finalists this week, though. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say. I've given it away already that was a lady. If you haven't seen this, I do apologise. That's not from Austin Powers. That, yeah, but it was it was famous before Austin Powers. Right, moving on. We've got a question. Will what? Will the border panel already shown? Hang on. Will the border panel already shown be able to be paired with the rainbow panel on the desk in front of John? Right, so floral panel, that was the green one, wasn't it? This one here. To me, I don't think it will, but let's have a look, right? So you're asking if this will go with this. Right, the only reason I'd say no, because on the telly it might look like it's working, is this is quite matte and this is slightly glossy. So that's the only reason I would say that it... We'll do the rainbow panel next, but you see what I mean? That it's a different texture of fabric. It's still 100% cotton, but it's slightly different texture of fabric. I hope that answers your question. Who was that that asked the camera for us? That? Don't worry. Oh, Mrs. from Carmarthen, sure. Right, here we go, panel. Exclusive to Sewing Street, rainbow. Seven coordinating strips, 12.99. Oh no, shh, don't say, don't say who went, because I'm going to watch it later, says Becky. No, I won't say a word, won't say. Who, oh yeah, who won, not who went. They don't get rid of one. Mind you, Mars Singer's been ruined. It's all over the internet, isn't it? It's not till tonight, the final, but it's all over the internet of, of who they all are, yeah. Anyway, 12.99. Oh, right, that's not your price. Well done for everyone who's already checked out because everybody will pay this price. I've said, is my clock in here a bit slow then? Well, no, no, because I've got to recap the um, what's over there, haven't I? £8.99 rainbow strips, linear fabric, exclusive to Sewing Street. 55 inch, they're 55 by 2.5 inches. At 8 99 exclusive to us. Oh, we're going again. Hang on, we've, gone for, we've already taken four pounds off. Oh, 6.49. Six pound 49. How much did it start at? 12.99. Uh, half price. Marion, morning job, beautiful fabrics as usual. I managed to get the iron I was after. A tricky one, but won't be able to open it because I can't do it one handed. Did you buy the big iron? Did you buy the big iron, Marion? Uh, Lo Lowe must be drunk from last night. She's still doing song, words from songs. You keep singing, John. It brings on the happy hormones, even if you can't sing. Oh, build me up and then knock me down, why don't you? £6.49, half price. Keep going through, keep going through. Oh, Marion, it's brilliant. You won't be able to do it one-handed, but it'll be worth waiting for. It's fantastic. I want one. I'm gonna when when they're all sold. I'm gonna accidentally wheel that one home, the sample one. I don't think they'll notice as I wheel it through the office. Oh, that'd be fine. Yeah, that'd be absolutely fine. Six pound forty nine. Right, loads. You got that in your baskets. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out. Oh, oh, right, okay. How many, that, that means I've only got 
10 meters left. 20 of these. Right, okay. Not that, not that, not that. I'm talking about this now. I'm talking about this now. This is my early bird. H640 by the half meter, not 599. Now, I had hundreds of these. And how many have I got left? 20. 20 I've got left now. 20 at that of £4.49. Now, remember, it will come pre-cut. Charlie, can you just go out a tiny bit to show that it's a piece that's already cut? There we go. There we go. It's, it's a half metre piece, right? They're already cut. That's how yours will arrive. If you weren't here at 8 o'clock, first of all, where were you? I've been slogging my guts out for an hour. But uh, if you weren't, it was our early bird today, £4.49. We'll go back up in price at midnight. However, at this rate, how many are in baskets? Nine in baskets, so uh, it could sell out. It could sell out any minute now. I just thought I'd bring it back for you to see it. 16 units left now, that's it. £4.49, half metre. Fusible H640, you know, it's fusible on one side. Fusible on one side and then uh, fleecy on the other. Good for the back of cushions and things like that. Back of table runners and things. What are you saying, Kat? Yeah. Thank you. It's already been cut into half metre pieces for you. At 4.49. Right, 12 left, but 14 people got in baskets. And we don't know if that 14 people want one, two, three, four, or five. So if you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. Okay, there it goes. It's about to sell out. If, if you check out now if you want to. Right now, don't forget on Monday, if you subscribe to our newsletter, Check your inboxes on Monday, Valentine's Day, for a special Valentine's message. It's worth looking at. Check your junk box as well, junk folder, whatever it's called. Um, but if you haven't subscribed to the newsletter, please do. Just go to the front page of the website, scroll right down to the bottom. No money involved. Just put your email address in, sign up, right? And then on Monday, you'll get a lovely little email with um, a surprise on it. Uh, and also, don't forget to sign up to our sister channel, Hobbymaker, as well. That, that went on. That's on... Was that sent out in an email or was it on Facebook? It was on Facebook yesterday. I've seen it somewhere else as well, though. Anyway, sign up for our sister channel as well, Hobby Maker. Uh, right, I... Oh, Dan Morris after the break. It's gorgeous. It's really, really gorgeous. I'll see you in four from now. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewn Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! 
It's my birthday and I would love for you to join me to celebrate on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Sunday the 13th of February. We've got lots of new projects, including these cute bird doorstops from Amber Makes, dressmaking with Adele Rowland and the wonderful Jane Crowfoot, who will be joining us specially for an hour of Yarn Lane. I'm sure I'll have some special treats for you too. You'll have to tune in on Sunday from 8am until 1pm to find out. Watch me on Freeview 73, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. I'm about to do something I've never ever done at Sewing Street. Woohoo! Woohoo! Come with me. Can I get my phone? No, you don't need to. Come <laughs> with me. Come with me. Hey, Charlie. Hey. <laughs> we've not been allowed together. to do that, have I we? Know. I, I, Isn't I've, it all lovely? the time I've worked here, we've not been allowed to be anywhere near each other. And apparently, we've just been told we're allowed to do that now. Oh, that was so nice. That's nice. That's nice. Right, hang on a minute. <laughs> that's table cleaner because oh there's the match <laughs> look, look look what he's doing cheeky me <laughs> right who have we got to say hello to what's your mother-in-law called again forgotten brain oh my my parents-in-law yes. uh, Ron and Diane Ron and Diane morning, morning. and also my mum Rosemary oh mummy and your mum mummy Hillard as yeah. she's officially known mummy Hillard Oh, Mummy Hillard. Mummy I thought you were going to go Mummy Gillard. I was going to say, oh, that's exclusive. <laughs> oh, oh you, yeah. well, are we doing that now? Yeah. Okay, over to you. Oh, well, we've got a very, very special, special message to send out this morning um, to um, a lady who is one of my design team, but also a very dear friend, and her husband is also a dear friend. It's um, Michael and Hillary's 50th wedding anniversary today. Oh, <laughs> no. So we wanted to wish you a happy anniversary from everyone here. Where did you get that photo from? Isn't that fabulous? Hillary sent it to <gasps> me. This was on their wedding day 50 years ago today. Wow. And um, they are just a wonderful, wonderful couple. They are such lovely people. So what you, hang on, 50 years ago today, that's 1972, is it? Uh, yes. Know, yes. Is it, yeah, 72. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. And he's and still got the dress. <laughs> Cat wants Hillary to might still, still have the dress. I don't think Mike's still got those long flowing locks. Oh, but I just uh, split ends in those days, didn't you? <laughs> How long? 50 years. I know, now. it's incredible, isn't it? But also, she doesn't, when you, uh, no, when you see pictures of Hillary on Facebook, she doesn't look old enough to no, be No, I know exactly. Years. I don't know. Neither of them what, do. What's he called? Michael. My, I don't know Michael. No, but. neither of them look like they're old enough to have been married for 50 years. They're both amazing. They oh. really are. They're terrific people. And um, Michael's just finished renovating a um, camper I think we should van. get rid of that slide now, because anyone yeah, who's got any issues with flashing yeah. lights and things, we should have... <laughs> Okay, 
Uh, Michael's got one. So. He's just finished, well, fairly recently finished renovating a camper van so they go off on adventures. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, it's fabulous. My, uh, my next one, neighbours. Love to you both. Uh, did that? They bought a didn't do it. They bought a t only little. They bought a little mini bago, uh -huh. and they just travelled around Europe and yeah. everything. I'm like, you're not parking that outside the house, are you? <laughs> but they did because we got a wide enough drive. But then when it disappeared, I suddenly missed it. It wasn't yeah. there anymore. Yeah. Anyway, should we get on because this? Fact, I'm going to show you everything that's for sale in this hour first of all because this. Dad, now you're already you're already buying it. You're already buying it, right? Let me do this one first. <clears throat> These are just stunning. Oh. Hang on, hang on, say this again. I've only got 27 of these left, which sounds a lot, because if you went to a shop, a shop wouldn't have 27, would it? But if you think about how many people are watching us and how many people are buying at the moment, look at all of these. Look at these. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're called Moon Shadow. But look, you can get them on Split Pay. Split pay starts at ninety nine ninety nine normally. Oh my word! I found a favourite already. Aren't they fabulous? They're just gorgeous, aren't they? The colours are. J oh, I'll put that one there. Hang on. Oh, look at these. Mm. They're. J are they, am I sure? Yeah, brilliant. Look at these. Right. Let me just open this one. I love this one. This one's like little sequins or little mm. gemstones, isn't it? But the, oh, but they're little. Look at that. So they're all fat quarters. Wait till you see this one, though. <clears throat> we have none of these fabrics by the half metre at the moment. I don't know if we're getting them in. Oh, look. Look. I don't know if we're getting them in by the half metre either, but aren't <laughs> these... Oh, they're just beautiful. Dan Morris at Moon Shadow. So they're all... All of those are all that size, obviously. How beautiful are they? But I've got a slide to show you. Quick slide to show you. An array of simply heavenly celestial motifs twinkle with fabulous design and rich colour. Create quilts, accessories and apparel that are out of this world. The QT collection integrates the technology of digital printing with the aesthetic and traditional weave of batiks. Printed on cotton, 130 by 70 woven fabric with the QT soft hand finish. Oh, they are beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. So you get how many? 25... Fat quarters there for 94. See, they're not even four pounds each, are they? Not even four pounds each. And you can get them on split pay. And you can make a lovely handbag out of that. Did you, you, now, did you use this or did you use the jelly roll for that? Well, I, I did use the design roll for this, right. but you could also use the fat quarter bundle. Um, you know, you're getting, is it six and a quarter? Six and a quarter metres yes. of fabric. Yeah. Just to put it into context, there's a lot of fabric there. Yeah. And it is stunning, isn't it? So beautiful. Yeah, I used... I use some of the design roll for this for this little bag here, um, and then but you could absolutely use your fat quarters or your design roll to make this. But you've you've only used one colourway out of the whole. You've used all the kind of. <laughs> Um, kind of amber. Amber, amber, yeah. beautiful amber tones. But you've also got blues and you've got magentas in there, and gorgeous pink. Look. So and you've, you've got those these. blacks as well. And you the blacks have. as well, yeah. I mean, actually, from the strip roll bundle you could make four of these bags oh crikey four of them and so you could do exactly the same with the fat quarters you could make at least four of these bags yeah i'm just putting it in more. different colorways so you've got a huge amount of potential there but also you could use those fabrics to reproduce the quilt that's hanging behind oh, yes, me of course. the stained glass quilt <laughs> you it's, a different, use, it's a completely different me. range, isn't it, the one completely behind Completely different range, yep, completely different range. I love the fact that there is a stripe also in that collection. Well, I was just well, I was wondering, because there you've got your ambers, there mm -hmm. you've got your blues, there you've got your darks and everything, there you've got your magentas. And that one ties them all together, doesn't it? That it does. one there is beautiful, it does. isn't it? So that would be really lovely if you were making bags, just to have a thin strip across the top of the bag. It just pulls everything together, or a little accent strip as well. Absolutely beautiful, lovely. aren't they? Mm. Three seventy nine a fat quarter that works out at. Oh, now brand spanking new today, absolutely brand new today. Be careful if you've got it in your basket. Message from Jennifer. Hi, love to you both. Uh, just hang on, love to you both. Just googled Dan. Hang on, googled Dan isn't related to William. For anyone who was wondering, 
Uh, or is it just me? It's just you. <laughs> But then, you know, that fabric design, you know, maybe it does run in families, who knows? Yeah, exactly. He's great, though, isn't he? Oh, no, His designs yeah, are beautiful. incredible. Good morning to all. I'm in my happy place watching Sewing Street with two of my favourite men. Yay! Meg from Wakefield. I love the name Meg and I love Wakefield. You know, when yeah, I went to college in fabulous. Wakefield, Thanks, to get Meg. to the library, you had to walk through the prison. Seriously? Yeah, back wow. in the day. How fantastic. Hugs at last. You need to get back to feeling normal. Thank you too for making my day. Oh, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen, my love. It's made my day too, actually. Has it? It was oh. lovely. It's, I've missed stuff like oh, that. Oh, I've Massively. missed hugs so much. And I'm a proper, proper hug. Me too. Back in the day at Stone Quarter, we would, wouldn't start the show without a hug with the mm -hmm. guest and everything. Mm -hmm. Apart from when we had... Um, Sam from Deflector on. I went a bit kind of, all right, mate, and shook his hand. Oh, and I went, went, well, I can't hug this man, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, but no, it's, it's lovely. It's lovely we're getting back to normal, isn't it? Anyway, keep going through, keep going through. For that. Right, I need to, right, that bag suit shoot says uh, Lo. Good Thanks. morning, John. And uh, Stuart says Patricia. Fiona says, so lovely to see the love this morning between you two. Brilliant combo. Don't you come near me again. <laughs> Be still, my beating heart. John and Stuart, lovely way to spend the morning. Oh. Congratulations, Michael and Hilary. Oh. We are 10 years behind you, says uh, Fiona. And says, morning, John and team. Love to see you loving your shirt. Oh, John, that's just brought tears to my eyes. Just brings back how much we've missed out on in the last two mm. years. Lynn to it. It's so true. Oh, June says a hug. I'm in tears. So lovely to see. Oh, I didn't mean it to upset any of you, but... I just thought it'd be... Not, we were just talking about it now. It's a relief, it. though, isn't it, John? Oh. It's a relief now. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's that feeling that we can start to get back to some sense of normality. Well, and also, I didn't do Festival of Quilts last year. No. Simply because I knew that I'd want to hug everybody. I know. And I know it's that... Do you do hugs? Don't you do I hugs? I didn't want to be, have that. Now, it's fine. So any any right. festival I'm going to be at now, I'll be All bets are you. off. Watch out, world. <laughs> yeah. John's ready to hug you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be bringing my wipes, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, anyway, 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 anyway. Keep going through for that one, because I've got a whole other one to show. Now, uh, we'll talk about that bag in a... We'll talk sure. more about the bag in mm. a minute. Let me show you some more fabric to you, and then we'll talk more about the bag. The other... Oh, now. You know... Well, you as well. <laughs> Stuart's favourite colour is rainbow. Yeah. Excuse me. I know. Look at all of these. Now, these, again, are fat quarters. They look smaller than those, just the way they've been folded. But look... 27 pieces this time. You get two, you get almost two for free, aren't you? Because isn't, isn't that the same price? Same price, but look again. Look at the colours. And it's on split pay. <gasps> look. I, I know. It's just beautiful, isn't Can it? Can you imagine Gorgeous. the squealing in my studio the day those arrived? Oh, I can imagine. Can you imagine the noise when I took them round to show Deputy Jones? Oh, what? Is she local <laughs> to you then? Yes, we're oh. very close together. Oh, yeah, look, yeah. look. The colours are pure and fresh. Okay, right. We, had, we started with more of these, but already we've got less than how many? Less than 30. Oh, look at that one. It's like August in the most beautiful garden in the world, isn't it? Yes. Absolutely saturated in colour. No. Deep blue sky. I instantly thought, John, of Tiffany lampshades oh, when gosh, I saw this yes, fabric. Yes, yes, It made me think of Tiffany lampshades, which is where the design for my quilt came from. Oh, yeah. I was saying it's a shame you couldn't get it straight, though, wasn't yeah. it? Those wobbly lines. <laughs> How gorgeous. Are all of these? Look you at started, them. Started everyone. What? <laughs> Since you've started. Started. I never it finished. It does make your eyes go a bit funny, doesn't it? But it is meant to look like that. <laughs> That's what people say when they look at me. <laughs> anyway, but uh, look how gorgeous. Twenty-seven. So how much did it work out to teach then? Three pound fifty-one a fat quarter. A Dan Morris ambiance. Now that ambiance doesn't look like it's spelt correctly. Beautiful though, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Oh, it is spelled right, yeah. Oh, slide. Dan Morris's well, new you... collection goes beyond florals, intense colour and intriguing design. Oh, no, hang on. I'll start that again. Dan Morris's new collection goes beyond florals. Intense colour and intriguing design join this gorgeous collection of bold flowers, geometrics and stripes. Create quilts, beach accessories, apparel, home tabletop decor with this vivid ensemble. It, vivid's the right word. Vivid is the right word, but they're pure. The colours are real. There's not one, what I would call dirty colour there. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you don't want that kind of like, in a collection like that, a grungy colour would look awful, wouldn't it? Yes, absolutely. Beautiful. £47. 
Two split players, 47, 49. Thank you, Kat, for putting low, uh, for putting lowering the bar on split pay. It won't happen. It, it, it's only, she's really had to beg for that for you. I've always spent big time this last few months and this is a big bonus from Susan West Midlands. Well, Susan, it shouldn't be on split pay. If I had my way, everything would be on split pay because it'd be, but, but you know what I mean? It, the rule is normal, 99.99 is where split pay starts. Anyway, they're beautiful. Ignore those. They're a different range there. Beautiful, aren't they? Now, which is your favourite range? Which one are you going to go for? Are you going to go for the bright vivids? They're, they're neck and neck at the moment, the amount of which of each, of each one that has gone. I'd have to have both, I'm afraid. Yeah. <clears throat> Imagine I hate all special. this and or. Yes. When you go to a party and they say, would you like trifle or Black Forest Gatto? Like, what's all this or? Oh, yeah. Or? 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 Anyway, anyway, look now, uh, I've also got both uh, collections in design roles. I'm only getting on because Stuart's got sewing to do and everything like that. So he's come a long way to do a bit of sewing, you know. Which one do you want to do first? Moonshine. Moonshadow. 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 Striped 42 pieces. Beautiful. Hang on. These have gone, been very, very popular on pre-order. Here we go. Now that we've opened it, you see, this means someone will have to find a home. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. There you go. There's all the same fabrics that you saw in the fat quarters, but now, so this is, this, these are what Stuart used, that these amber coloured ones here, which is the ones Stuart used the, to make the bag. Then look, I mean, just if you just made uh, a design roll quilt with those, just sewed lots and lots and lots of strips together, they're all going to look so <coughs> beautiful, aren't they? I love the big moons and suns and clouds and stars. Oh, look. They're really stunning, aren't they? Yeah. Really stunning. Oh, you see, now, cats or these. When these first came in, they said, we're going to give these to Stuart to work with and everything. She thought, oh, that would be for birthday week. They're so special. Here we are, Saturday morning. 49 99 that is. 49.99 you get 42 pieces loads of those got into baskets loads of go I'll, I'll recap this don't worry in a minute then i've got the design roll for ambiance oh beautiful look at that all of those together look at the colors all together you see you uh, stained glass window or the lovely um um, Tiffany. Tiffany lamps that you were just mm. talking about. Anything like that is beautiful. And the fact that you've done that quilt with the black. You see, you could do it with black, you could do it with a dark navy. You know, they'd look lovely, wouldn't Gorgeous. they? Gorgeous. You get 42 strips in both these. They're both 49.99. Right, there's no pattern as such for this hour show. Uh, Stuart's going to explain how you do the quilt and then he's going to talk to you about the handbag. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. Now, we've got lots and lots of different fabrics on the website you can buy. We're just going to do black for now because that's the one Stuart used in his quilt. So if you want to copy what Stuart has done, then you'll just... So how much black did you use in that one that's on the wall? There? About two metres. I'd go two oh, metres. Two metres. And that's for the bind, uh, the, the binding, mm. the border and all the sashing and yeah. everything. Yeah. Three, seven times. That'd be, so two metres is four units, remember. It's a bit boring to look at, Charlie, because it's just plain... Plain black. There we go. 44 inches wide, 100% cotton, machine washable. <laughs> makes a, well, look, makes the colours pop, doesn't it? Straight away, you put those <laughs> look on that. there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the... Wow. And I have literally just thrown them on. That's how I design most of my quilts. It's the one throw it in the air. Yes! Roll on... Throw the fabric on the ground, roll in it, whatever sticks. That's what I sew. There is a, there is a question there now that it's we're true. all dying to ask. It's true. <laughs> He's got a Velcro suit. <laughs> Keep checking out on all of those. Keep checking out on all those. Right, Stuart, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw to you now and I can do all the other bits later. But make sure you check out on any of the fabrics. They're all very, very popular. There's none of it by the half metre today. It's just the fat quarters and the uh, design rolls today. Well, at the moment, I'm just having a little play. I just wanted to show you and just talk for a moment about the the handbag, mm -hmm. um, which I thank you so much, everybody, who gave such sort of positive comments and love on on Facebook and Instagram. 
because um, it's had a lot of attention this week. Uh, it's a really fun bag. Now, I'm going to produce a pattern for this bag and a, like a larger size. That should be coming to Sewing Street in the next few weeks. Oh, brilliant. So okay. what I would say is today I'm going to tell you the things you'll need for it. So today's a good day to stock up because we've got the fabric, we've got the bosel, we've got the magnetic snaps. So I would, I'll go through what you need stock up today and then in a few weeks time when the pattern comes out you haven't got to buy everything you've just got to get the pattern brilliant what i've done here as well john i just wanted to set out you're absolutely right i was spoilt for choice with that dan morris moon shadow strip roll the mm -hmm. um, fat quarter bundle would have worked just as well for this yeah of course but i've just laid these fabrics out to show you if you wanted to split those colors as i did obviously we've got the amber honey someone on instagram said it looked like so kind of molten honey or Ooh, jars yes. of honey beautiful but you could go with magenta for a bag the blues all of the black tones look amazing you can mix and match them as well, of course, but they're just absolutely stunning. Now, you would make at least four of those bags out of one strip roll. Wow. So Obviously, you need to buy whatever lining and handles that you want. Yep, you? that's right. I mean, I've used some resin handles. We're going to try our very best to get something like that mm -hmm. for the shows as well. Excellent. Um, they, they, a handle can can make or break a bag. It really it? can. But also within the pattern, I'm going to do a larger version, uh -huh. more of a kind of big shopping bag with a fabric handle. Oh, perfect. So that if you couldn't get a resin handle, mm -hmm. then you could always mix and match and do it that Fantastic. way. Fantastic. Um, so that's the bag. I'm just going to grab it down uh -huh. and sort of just give you a quick anatomy lesson. Oh, yes. <laughs> anatomy on the bag, the bag or on you? Exactly, on the bag. <laughs> um, so nice size for sort of every day. It's got <clears throat> magnetic snaps at either end, so you can expand it okay, and have a deeper, wider bag. But then also inside the bag, it's got this little magnetic fastening as well which just clips together but it means also that it doesn't kind of pull the bag in or or change the shape of it but it's a really useful um, design mm -hmm. so I'm going to show you how to do that magnetic fastening in the show today brilliant I've got a quick question not to do with the bag but it says <laughs> that Anne says I've just finished the rainbow quilt from your book for one of my nieces I'd like to make the one you've got behind you for the other niece mm -hmm. can you tell me will there be enough in the bundle to make it bigger than the one you've made oh my goodness yes let me tell you that quilt behind me I used a third of the fat quarters. Oh, what I, what, what I did was, I got my fat quarter bundle and I didn't even unwrap it. I just took the first nine fat quarters out. This is another of the nine quarters. And I basically, I, I cut up the ribbon and I tied them into three bundles. Oh, wow. This is another bundle of nine straight from the, the bundle, which you could also, I just thought they look so pretty just as they're bundled. Mm -hmm. Just use those. So in theory, you could make a quilt three times. Not three times the size, no. But three of those. Yes, three, three of, of that, those. Three of those, yeah. So you could absolutely make yes. a queen sized bed quilt with your bundle mm -hmm. king size i should think yes yeah huge. so yes yeah, so there you go um Definitely. who was Anne? you could do that for your other niece yeah brilliant so <clears throat> what i'm going to do is show you how to make that magnetic fastening Perfect. it's now time for a good demo go on then yeah is it a good, is it a good time for a demo <laughs> 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 any of that yeah keep okay. checking out while, while the demo's going on because people are going to miss out at this rate so just if you are stocking ahead in in preparation for the pattern coming out you'll need three of these magnetic fastenings i used gold depending on the color you're using you could use silver yeah. you know the great thing about them is they don't show that much anyway so mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter so i've already got my lining pieces for the inside of the bag cut out and I've got obviously a front lining, back lining for inside the bag. I'll pop those to one side for now. Now for the actual fastening, effectively what you've got are two pieces of fabric attached to the lining that are gonna clip together. And these are they. Each one is cut four inches by six inches. 
And you could add this to any tote mm. bag. And it can be done, to, it, does, it isn't integral to the pattern. It doesn't change the pattern. No, but it makes it look so designer. Little thing, little yeah. touches like this completely can, you know, add so much. It does. There. It What's adds a really nice there? touch. So I've got some medium weight fusible interfacing. Um, you could use a piece of calico which has got that bit of stiffness. You could use... Um, it would help if you turn the iron I know on. it would help, wouldn't it? Massively. <laughs> you think I'd never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> you could use a little bit of H640. You could use a bit of calico. If you've got interfacing, brilliant. Um, and that's just sort of half the size. So it's three inches by four inches. It's actually fusing now, John. Yeah, it's it. Happy days. Today's Obviously, you used the same iron on your shirt this morning. Today's going to be a good day. I did iron this shirt, <laughs> honestly. I bought a steamer now. I've joined the big boys. Oh, have you? I have. I love it. Yeah. So then I'm just going to fold that in half. Do you know I shut the whole of ITV down once because of my steamer, my costume steamer. Oh, because you set the alarms off. Well, we were doing a live from Coronation Street this morning, live right. from Coronation Street. Right. And I was steaming all the clothes in the, for the fashion thing. And then they yeah. called me down to appear, say what I was doing later. Left the steamer on while I'm on air. Oh. All the fire alarms went off. Oh, and my goodness. They cleared the whole of ITV Manchester out completely and go off air and everything because I'd left the steamer on. Oops, uh, oops, I bet you were popular. I, I was not in the slightest bit popular. No. I never know how to... Oh, there we go. I've got it. <laughs> right. So now we need to position our magnets. So what you're going to do, you're going to position your magnet on the um, interfaced side, okay? And what you want to do is measure up... I always want a little ruler, John, and there's not a little... Oh, you've got the good stuff over there. I won't Thank throw you. it. Thank you. <laughs> so you're going to measure up one inch from the fold line and you want it in the centre. OK, so let me just turn that around. There we go. So we want it there. OK, so we've got a little dot. Then I'm going to use the washer and I'm going to place the washer over the dot. So the dot's right in the centre and then mark the two little slots okay mm -hmm. next thing just grab a little pair of sharp scissors look at these mm -hmm. deputy joan bought me these for my birthday oh did she they're beautiful um they're the same as ones victoria carrington uses and she wouldn't be without them she says no oh they're amazing i've wanted a pair forever oh. okay and then just one half of your magnet you're going to push through and then wash her on the back and then just open up. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's one side. Okay. Now the other side, okay, you need to make sure that when you open this up, you've got your two interfaced pieces are facing inwards to uh -huh. each other. Yeah. So we're going to put the other magnet on this side. So exactly the same again. Measure up one inch from the bottom and make sure it's central. Put your dot, mark it up as before. And as I say, this, because it doesn't change the pattern, if you've already got a pattern for something like a tote bag that hasn't got a closure uh -huh. or something like that, you could add this into that pattern because you just sew it onto the lining. Ever so easy. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know what's not selling these scissors, but I hope we can sell them soon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just definitely. wonderful. They've got micro serrations Ooh. on the blade so that it grips the fabric. All right, so that's now done. Okay, so I've got my two pieces. What I need to do now is sort out these nasty raw edges. Yeah. I only need to do the sides. So right sides together, and I'm going to sew quarter of an inch down the two short sides, and I'll do that on both. Okay, brilliant. Back now the to you. Huh? <laughs> Back to you. I was going to say, the, the machine that Stuart is using, it's still on pre-order. Now, I'm going to be really, really, not naughty, but just say, right, if you buy it on pre-order, they're, they're due to be delivered around mid-February, right? Mid-February to me is next week, right? If you buy it before next week, you'll get £50 of credit added to your Sewing Street account to spend in March. As soon as the machine arrives, as soon as it arrives in the building, that £50 goes. Yeah, it could arrive, to, well, it won't arrive tomorrow because it's Sunday, but it could, on Monday, it, I could come on air on Monday and go, right, the machine's here now, 
The machine's here now. Do a whole hour on the machine, I think. They'll all fly out, but you will not be getting the £50 credit. That's We've had that confirmed, right? That's only happening for pre-order. So the minute the 680 plus comes through the door, well, it won't come through the door. As soon as we get the email from Elna going, they are here ready to be shipped out, you will lose that pre-order uh, bonus of getting the 50 pounds. Still be the same price. Still be 1,214 pounds. You'll still be able to buy it on split pay. I'm just saying now we're so close to the middle of February. It's worth, if you're thinking about it, Buy it now and get that £50 because as soon as it comes through the door, you won't be offered the £50 credit added to your account. And we're so close now. We're so close to mid-February, aren't we? So it could arrive. I could be standing here on Monday or Tuesday of next week going, it's here, it's here, which we'll all be so happy about. Oh, no, it won't be on a day I'm here. But then you're not on next week, are you? <laughs> no, no, you know, I've so got the meal 12 bits, days day next week, right? It'll, it'll arrive. Hmm? Who's got 12 days Me. off? Did you just say you got 12 days off, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. But you, the thing is, you won't have 12 days off. I will have 12 days off. I'll have an hour off. 12 days off away from here. me, uh, uh-huh. yeah. 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 You're yeah, like yeah, me because yeah. people go, oh, do you enjoy your four days off. And you're like, yeah. um, do you know what I've got to do? Apart from the cleaning, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Right, now, that's, that's the machine. That's the machine that she's using. And I just want to slip that in there very quickly because... <laughs> If it does come in on Monday, you won't get that fit. So if you think, I don't want to add any undue pressure. Just if you're thinking about it, today or tomorrow are the days that I would say definitely get it if you want the extra £50 added to you. For nothing, there's no catch. You get £50 credit added to your Sewing Street account. Right, uh, Moon Shadow design roll is the most popular thing in the mm. air. That's because of the bag. That's because of the bag, isn't it? Forty nine ninety nine. This it's beautiful, isn't it? And as Stuart said, you can make how many bags out of that? If you want at least to four. At least, at least four, four bags. If you're going to. Yeah, and of course you could also as well add like thinner strips in between, eke it out, you know, mm -hmm. space the fabrics. I mean, there's just loads you could do. Right, John, I've got my next step for you. Yeah. So I've now sewn down the sides. I've clipped the corners and then turned it through to the right side and given it a press. Right. Okay. It's already got rather a nice sort of classy look to it, hasn't it? Mm. This is going to sit in my bag now. Okay, so now you just take your lining pieces. So again, this could be any bag that you want to put this closure inside. Uh huh. And then you're going to measure down one and a half inches from the top. Okay, and then you want to find dead center. Okay, so fold your closure in half, find the centre point, find the centre point in the middle. That's the centre point, isn't it? Just check in. Just check in. <laughs> All right. And then you're going to flip it up. Right. All right. And we'll just pop a pin in to hold it in place. Okay, next thing, you're going to sew quarter of an inch seam allowance across the bottom. Uh -huh. And you want to reinforce <coughs> both sides. Right. Okay, while you're doing that, I love how Stuart explains so clearly what he's doing, says Kath. Good morning, John and Stuart. Bit late today, but I'm here now, says Teresa. Um, Jan Hill. Good morning, handsome boys. Ah, oh, morning. Stuart, who yeah. is Deputy Joan? I've often wondered. It's oh. not a cat like Mrs Mills because cats can't sew. <laughs> Bless you. No, Joan, I met Joan many years ago. Um, Joan booked me to do a talk for her local WI. And um, we met there. And as soon as we met... We were a meeting of minds. It's funny, isn't it? And how you hearts. can meet people like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, we got on brilliantly. We had clearly got oodles in common, and um, uh, that was that, really. We were firm friends from then. When I was writing my second book, I, I already knew that Joan was a, a quilter and a designer herself, actually, yeah. of many, many years' experience. And she'd said to me, you know, if you need any help with any of your making, just shout. So Joan made a number of the quilts in my second book and in my third book um, and came along to a photo shoot. We had great fun. Aww. And and, um, and so now, and Joan also knits beautifully as well and can crochet. So, um, yeah, we basically, we keep each other 
another off the streets, oh, don't we, Joe? Oh, that's nice. Well, no, that's lovely to know. And lovely that it's great, isn't it, when you bump, move, when you meet somebody and you just know instantly that you're going to be fantastic. But sometimes it's a slow burn. Yeah, but forever. But sometimes you just go like that, don't you? Yeah, you, friends you, to forever. Think how? Obviously, you've, met, you've been with her in a past life. Do you know what I mean? You either yeah, we feel like we've known each other. Brothers and sister, whatever. She calls me a middle child. Oh. Age-wise, I'm right in the middle of her two children. So I'm her middle child. So once you've sewn that quarter of an inch seam allowance across your, you basically it's a bit like a French seam. Mm -hmm. You're going to fold everything down over the raw edge, and then you're going to top stitch. Oh, okay. And this time, just a little reinforcement on either side, so it's neat oh, and strong. It's going, be, it's going to be pulled a bit, isn't That's it? exactly right. Well, Jan says thank you for explaining. Pleasure. That. Would those magnetic poppers work for an inside pocket on a fleece? Says Pauline. Yeah, sure, absolutely. All you need to make sure is that you uh, stabilise behind. Where, don't just have it going through the fabric. You need something behind it. Because so, if you're going to be pulling it on and off all the time, open all the yeah. time, just need something behind just to stabilise it. Just like I did with the medium weight interfacing yes, 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 yeah. on these. Yeah, just put something in place. So Hang on, it. look, more, more, more fabulous. Morning, fabulous fellas. <clears throat> Thank you for cheering up a very grey and wet day here in Cumbria. Loving that quilt from Kerry. It's beautiful, isn't it, Kerry? Thanks, And then Kerry. Welsh Mary very quickly. Good morning. Hur hooray, my two favourite men. Love the bag and the quilt. Such a fun show. Now to spend some money from Welsh Mary in East Riding of York. Oh, now Welsh Mary has been to a number of my classes. Oh, has she? Welsh Mary is fabulous. She is so much fun. She really is an absolutely great lady. And recently, I believe, celebrated her wedding anniversary. So happy anniversary, uh, Mary. Oh, blimey. Hmm. Oh, no, she's ace. She's ace. So I'm just going to do the other side, John, just so that I've got two to yeah. show you. And, and, then, and that's literally it. Oh, OK, then. Yeah. Um, so fabrics-wise, which one should I say? Show Kat? Are we going the Dan Morris Moonshadow Design? Well, there we go. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Right, still in the lead, but only by a little bit. The fat quarters are both neck and neck, the two ranges of fat quarters. And then Beyonce, Beyonce, not the Beyonce, the ambiance <laughs> design, design role is only one behind the fat quarters. They're all incredibly hot. But they're brand new today, that's why. Brand new. I'll just show you these very quickly. Look at those. I think I like the magenta. Well, I don't know which one. You see, I love them. I love that pattern, that one there. Little mm. planets on. The motifs on them. The stars are gorgeous. The big sun as well. That's it, John. Oh. Um, so now what we've got is we've got our two sides. Obviously, this is at the, the top of our bag that we've attached this. And we'll just proceed now to make our bag up. Mm -hmm. So this bag has got side panels and a base, you know, a, a, a gusset or a uh -huh. welt. But on, say, an ordinary tote bag, you're just going to you clip those together. That will help hold everything together. So your side seams, your base seam, box your corners out, whatever. But what's really cool about this particular um, locking system is that because those magnets haven't just been added to the lining, they don't pull the sides of the bag oh, in. Oh, yes. Yeah. So when your bag is full of stuff, it's not going to change the shape of the bag. Of course. Um, and also it just makes it so, so easy to fit it into a bag. So you can have that, put it into any bag you like. That colour, if you're wondering what it is, it's called Hot Tomato by Hot Stewart. <laughs> right, OK, so now we've talked about that. Loads of people asking about the quilt the on quilt. the wall behind the you quilt. as well. So that made is made out of the uh, Fat Quarter Bundle of Ambiance. 94.99, you get 27 Fat Quarters and cats arrange for it to be on split pay for you. Look at, look at that. That's just stunning, isn't it? Glorious colours in here. Oh, one last thing on the bag. Mm. Oh, yeah, just reiterating about the pattern. Lots of people asking yeah. about the pattern. So I'm going to bring the pattern out. Now, in the meantime, what you'll need to make sure you've got in your stash ready mm -hmm. is either two and a half inch strips. Yeah. Or a fat quarter bundle, your choice. You'll also need that half a metre of fabric for the lining. Yeah. And that will also create this faux binding at the top. I have snuck a little bit of the black batik in there, just as a little frame around uh -huh. the bottom, which I thought was rather nice. Yeah. So, um, 
So you've got your lining. Uh, you'll also need three of the magnetic snaps that you right. saw me using. We have the silver ones today. Are the gold ones on the website, Kat? We're having a look now for you. One for either side yeah. and one for the Such lock. Such a lovely feature and so simple, isn't it? And Ever so easy. Yeah. And it just changes the profile of the bag, mm -hmm. but also it means that you can have a smaller bag, bigger bag. Um, and then you'll also need some Bosel in our form. Now, I like the... Thank you. I, <laughs> do you know, I had so much fun quilting this bag as well. You can't really see it from a distance, but there's lots of diagonal lines of quilting. There's diamond cross hatching. It was really fun. Just on uh -huh. a domestic machine. Um, yeah, single-sided Bosel, half a metre package. Is that how we sell it? Uh, yes, there you go. Yeah. 11 99 package. Yeah. Um, and thread, and that's it. Um, I was going to ask another question. And, and you're going in the pattern. You're going to do a fabric strap as well, are you? Yeah. If we, if you don't have handles for exactly it. Exactly right. So these handles, I mean, you can get them online on that long river, mm -hmm. um, but we will do our very best to get them. <laughs> yeah, in yeah, as no, well. our bank didn't get them. They're we like hen's teeth. John. Oh, are they? Bag making things are like hen's teeth, oh. aren't they? You know, really hard to find. When you do find something lovely, I tend to buy up loads. Yes. <laughs> but it so finishes off that, that yeah. handle so finishes off that you bag. You could put it? bag feet. I was about to say it looked nice with little stuff. Yeah, I think I will. Bottom. When I do the pattern, yeah. I'll put bag feet on as well. So four of those mm -hmm. per bag. Um, yeah. Oh, the design road definitely won't be because it'd be a couple of weeks by the time it's It'll written probably and printed be and everything towards like that. the end of March. Yeah. It'll be towards the end oh, of March. More than a couple of weeks then. I guess so, yeah, month. Well, the design rolls on <laughs> Fat Quartz will definitely be sold out by then. So if you want to make that, think ahead. Get it, yeah. put it in your stash, have it ready. Don't start cutting into it. Just have it there ready for when There was just, in the end, there was just no time no, of course to not. make the things and write the patterns, you know. Sorry, you can have that back. Thanks. Neither of us played rugby at school. No, we, we really didn't. <laughs> oh, gosh. Don't. Right. OK, then. So now let's get to the quilt. 94 99 you get 27 fat quarters and a ray of colour. You've only used a third of these in that quilt. I you? did. I literally just peeled off the top nine fat quarters for this. So this is very much the pinks and the purples. This part of the bundle is lots of the blues and a little bit of green. Mm -hmm. And then the middle of the bundle is the greens and some oranges. Uh -huh. But you could just throw yeah. them up in the air yeah. or and catch huge, nine. Yeah. Or make a huge quill to just use all oh, of them. Oh, for sure. I mean, actually, that was my intention right. to use them all. But that would have been such a big quill. It would have been and you, half a quill. And you've got no up. minutes of your life left anyway. No. Um, now, there's no pattern pattern, is there? To, no, I mean, but you don't need one. I'm okay. going to show you how to make Brilliant. it. It's really simple and easy. One day I will collate all these patterns. Which this is book, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a technique I've used for years and years and years. It doesn't have a very glamorous name. I call it stack and slash. I know. I That's know. That's truck driving days. It obviously. really is. <laughs> but what you do now for the for, this is kind of like a wonky nine patch. Right. Okay? Oh yes, I see it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> do you see it? I don't know if it's worth looking at the quilt for a second and just seeing that here is the block. Here is the block. So it's nine not quite squares with sashing in between them. And when Hayley, one of the, well, our uh, colleagues here, saw it, she said, oh, it's such a lot of little pieces. It's actually not. Right. Because it's made, it's sewn, cut down, sewn, cut down. Oh, OK. So I'm going to do a simplified version. Now, I've got a stack of four squares right here. Right. How delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Juicy, aren't, aren't they? Aren't they lovely? So juicy. Now, for the quilt behind me, I started off with 15 and a half inch squares. Right. So you get one of those out of each fat quarter. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, here, for this example, I'm using 10 and a half inch squares. Just well, you, can, you can do any size you want, Absolutely. really. Absolutely. It's a technique I'm showing yeah. you. Now, <clears throat> on my original quilt, because I was doing a nine patch, I made two cuts initially, okay, about a third in, at a bit of a wonk, cut through. Right. At a bit of a wonk, cut through. Right. Okay, 
separate them out. Right. Cat saying any particular one. Do you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do exactly that. No, you just want it roughly. See, that would be about a third. Yeah. Put it on the one. Right. Okay. This is going to freak some people out, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. I'm yes. really neat with my stuff, you know, and I have to stop and think, <gasps> it's okay, Stuart, you can do it. Now, I do not recommend you try cutting through any more than four layers. Right. That needs a stack of nine. Do not, under any circumstances, try and rotary cut nine layers in one go. What you need to do is grab some masking tape. Okay. Have we got masking? I've got double-sided basting tape here. That's all I've got. I've got mask. Is that all right? That well, I can explain it. Yeah. What you'd do is you'd get your masking tape and put a bit of a wonky line on your rotary board. A bit of a wonky line. Stick um, it down. Put your fabrics on top. Cut. Doesn't matter that you're cutting through your masking tape. Yeah. And then when you put your next layer on top, you're cutting in the same places. Roughly, you're going to square it up. Of course you are, yeah. It doesn't matter that much. So I'll do two wonky cuts. Okay, June says, what's the cutty thing with the handle called? The cutty, cutty thing, with, thing the with the handle. The rotary cutter. Do, no, June doesn't no. know what a rotary cutter is. Sure. June, what do you mean, my love? And Geraldine says, I didn't know you used to be a truck driver, Stuart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's done many uh, guys in his life. <laughs> Right. So separate out your pile, OK, yeah. into your three cuts. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle them. There was actually a book that came out that was called, I think it was called Stack the Deck. All right. Um, so you're going to take one piece from this side and put it to the bottom. Right. OK. And then you're going to take two pieces from the centre and put them on the bottom. It's like a magic trick. Yeah. Now you're going to get your black strips of fabric. Right. OK. And you don't have to cut these down to start with. And what you're going to do is you're going to sew and sew. So you'll sew these together, OK, into blocks. So let me, I'll, I'll just nip that off. All right. All right. So now <coughs> you'll sew a black strip to this piece of fabric. Quarter the black inch strip's seam. cut on the straight, is it? Just to, yeah, that's cut just cut. The one no, 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 that's cut straight of grain. And those strips are one and a half inches wide. As I say, you'll need about two metres of fabric for a quilt the same size as I've got behind me. Uh -huh. So you'll sew that down. And you want to try and sew a nice straight seam here. Mm -hmm. June, you most probably can't find it because it's sold out at the moment. It's the Fiskars ruler with the, I like the guillotine ruler with the, with the cutter. It's actually sold out at the moment. We just expect some more in. Okay. So then when you come to add your next one, what you want to do, obviously you're sewing a wonky angle, mm -hmm. but if you line up across the top, right, okay, and then flip, you are going to square it up. You want it, you know, as accurate as you can get, mm -hmm. but it don't don't sweat it. Just if you do that, you'll be fine. Okay. Okay, and then we'll keep sewing. And the thing to do here, John, is to have everything set up <clears throat> on a board like oh. I have yeah. that's portable. Yeah. So maybe you do your cutting somewhere and then just carry the whole thing to your table. Oh, look at this. Morning, lovely gent. Stuart is such an anarchist. Slash cutting yesterday, I now know. cutting on the one. <laughs> Very freeing from Kate. What were you doing yesterday then? Slash cutting. I'd got the slash cutter, the chenille cutter. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And yes, I was yes. doing a little bit of chenilling. Um, these would be good for that, actually. Um, I know. And the thing is, I'm such a rule follower, really, as yes. a person. Oh, oh. I'm, not, <clears throat> I'm not a rebellious person. In, for the most part, you know, not an anarchist, but, you know, sometimes it can be incredibly freeing. Oh, yes, totally. Just to do something a little bit left of centre. Yeah. Um, OK, so, I'm, yeah, the machine's fine. I'm just going to, all it was, you know, sometimes where you get like a little knot of thread uh -huh. <clears throat> on the back. So I'll sew these down. Now, as I say, as soon as I saw the bundle of fabrics, John, I instantly thought Tiffany lampshade. Yes, definitely. And I thought, OK, I need to do something like that. And I've used black, which is very high contrast. You mentioned navy, which yes. I think would be stunning. You could use 
a really soft grey. Oh yes. Or a very dark grey, yeah. like leading. Mm -hmm. I just, um, I just like quilts with. I've got quite a few quilts with dark backgrounds. Oh yeah. Because it just, I mean, I like a, when I do jewelry, I still have a black opal because I had a black background, and then all the colours would pop out of the black background and everything. It's just, true. I mean, I love cream background ones as well. You know, the, the um, log cabin one I've got on my bed is all cream and blue and gold and everything, and that's beautiful. Yeah, it's um, you know, it does make colours really, really pop. Okay, so I've done that now. And what I've done each time as well, John, and this is a top tip from me, actually, is I've always pressed my seam allowances or I've turned my seam allowances towards the black. Right. Now, I know that sounds probably very obvious from the point of view of pressed to the dark side yeah, 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 and yeah. all that. But I've pressed it in towards the black for a different reason. Right. And that's because having that extra seam allowance underneath the sashing will actually bring it higher oh, okay. on the quilt which will make it pop more and oh, it will excellent. create an extra frame you might even be able to sort of see that you certainly can when you're next to it yeah um it's the same in fair isle knitting where you have your floats if you have them under or over a colour, it can make them recede or pop. I know. Pop. Cat said, oh, you've lost John now. I know what, I couldn't do it, but I know what he means. <laughs> okay. So that is, let's get it right the right way. That is my first stage. Now, what you would do then, okay, yeah. is you would pop that to one side and you would proceed doing the next lot and the next lot, and you just work from your stack. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then what you will do is you will pop that stack back down on the board. Now, I'm going to put it down unpieced together, simply so I can shuffle it. Now, I'm only using four fabrics here, so we won't mix them up completely, but it'll be enough to illustrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we're going back on the wonk. Yeah. Okay. Can it be any wonk again? Doesn't have to be the same. You don't have to try and no. shadow what you've done already. No, no, just be a bit free and easy. But make a straight cut. It's a straight cut, but it's on the wonk. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then again, separate out your pile. Okay, and then you're going to shuffle again. So these are one set. They should be joined, yeah, of course. Yeah, they'll be joined together, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to shuffle these carefully to the bottom once, and then these ones I can take the top two and shuffle those to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, which I might shuffle. There we go. You can you can't flip them around no. because the angle would be wrong. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So once you've flipped them around, you can then sew them back together again. Right. And you just want to make sure it's very difficult when they're all cut apart yeah. like this. <laughs> you can imagine. Um and then you would sew your strips back into the next one. Right. Okay, exactly the same method. So what you're not having to do is sew individual yeah, little oh bits. Oh gosh, yes. You're only actually sewing two long strips mm -hmm. and two long strips. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, totally. Great. And then when you've got them sewn together, you've got your nine patch there with the sashing in. Yes. You then have to make it properly square again. Yeah, so once you've done all of that and you've got your block sewn together, what you then need to do, ideally use a large ruler. Now we've got the 20 and a half inch square. Right. I've got a 15 and a half square inch square at home. This is absolutely perfect for the job. So what you then do, obviously this one's all wrapped up, yeah. is you're going to centre that over the top, make sure that you've got your, so for this quilt behind me, it, even when you've added the strips, you're going to trim it back to a 15 and a half inch square. Bless your heart, thank you. You're going to trim it down to a 15 and a half inch square. Okay. 
So you layer that on, trim two sides, turn your board around, trim the last two sides. Right. And do each block individually. There isn't a lot to trim off round the mm -hmm. edge, just a slither, which is why I said when you're lining your fabric up, try and be as accurate as you can. Uh -huh. um, and then when the blocks are all sewn, trimmed, and there are just nine blocks in this quilt, uh -huh. okay, then you're going to add your sashing. And your sashings are going to go... So it's one and a half inch by 15 and a half inch. Sashing, block, sashing, block, sashing, block, sashing. And then these side ones are going to go cornerstone, sashing, cornerstone, sashing, right. and so on. So long strips and then join everything together. Now, and can you, if you want to, because they're 15 and a half inch squares, can you, if one looks a bit weird, could you twist, could you flip it? Can you flip your 15 and a half or would that look odd? Oh, it? gosh, no. I've done exactly that. Oh, okay. So these aren't then set out in exactly the same position. So um, I have turned and twisted the blocks to oh, create Oh, yes, I can, more. I can see now. Yeah. Because that, that red one up there is yeah. like a rectangle, but it's standing upwards. But then you've also got a rectangle down here of the yellow zigzaggy and it's lying sideways. So exactly. you've then taken... The blocks and just twisted them yes. and moved them to wherever. Because you want now to they're go. fifteen and a half inch squares, so they can go wherever they yeah. want. Yeah, and the idea is absolutely not for this sashing to line up with this sashing. So in a way, it's brilliant for starters because oh, you've got gosh. no, you haven't got what the only matching you've got to do are your cornerstones. Yeah, I promise you, this is the easiest quilt you'll ever put together because normally with patchwork you know it's meant to be a 12 and a half inch square but it all depends on how you've pieced it yeah, exactly you are trimming this to 15 and a half inches square yeah so long as you don't trim it wrong then it's yeah, 15 yeah. and a half inches and it will fit that 15 yes. and a half inch strip of sashing of course so yeah. it'll go together lovely it'll be perfectly flat as well for when you come to layer and quilt it uh-huh size wise this is 49 inches square right from nine fat quarters uh -huh. you can make three of these from that bundle it's amazing value yeah exactly um and it really really does show off each fabric and how much back did you say you bought for that one there two meters two meters yeah. i mean it sounds like every quilt i make needs <laughs> two meters of coordinate but it's the kind of i mean it's roughly two meters yeah. You know, you might have a little over, uh -huh. save it for your bag. Exactly, we've all got bags of stash, haven't we? But also then, the, if you did twice as much, you'd need your four metres. If you did three yeah. times, you'd need your six metres or whatever. You know, it's one of those colours of solids that, you know, I buy by the bolt. So yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm never worried if I've got half a metre left over, and I'm sure you're not at home either, you know. Um, and now, then, I'm and then once it's all done, it's all bound. Controversial mm. now. Okay. Can you make the strips all different colours, or would that not work? The sashing strips. Yes. In or solids. In, in between. Oh, no, you could absolutely do that. So we've got some bright coloured solids, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't saying those. that to, to sell these, but I was just thinking if you had four or five different colours in the solids, no patterns to fly, uh -huh. all of those strips could all be different colours going in all different directions. Absolutely. Well. I think you've got to try it, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, It's yeah, one yeah. of those things to try. Perhaps cut up some of the fabrics, try it on your design wall. Yeah whatever that might be, the top of the bed, the yep. carpet, the kitchen table, whatever. But um, try it. And I always take lots of pictures, walk away, come back, have another look. Look at it through the window. Look at it through the window, exactly. Just to make sure that everything sits right and everything feels right. And then, yeah, go for it. Yeah. It's a quilt at the end of the day, yeah, isn't exactly. it? Yeah, exactly. I was just thinking, yeah. Be a bit daring. Be a bit daring, exactly. Mm. Right, what would you like me to... Thank you very much, Stuart. Pleasure. Uh, Stuart will be back in an hour's time where he's going to be making the heart quilt. Now, that's a quilt kit that comes in a box. I just search Charlie, that's all right. That comes in a box. You will be making, you can make 30 blocks. So you can either make a huge quilt. Obviously, uh, Deputy Jones only made nine blocks. But um, imagine how gorgeous that's going to be in a big quilt. But Stuart's doing that in his next hour. Uh, right, so where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to go? I've got ambiance fat quarters. Here we go. Ambiance fat quarters, you get 27 fat quarters in here. £94.99. pence. should not be on split pay, but Kat's put it on split pay for you. Fewer than 15 available. And how many in baskets? Oh, uh, 15 in baskets. So if everyone checks out, that's gone. First day and it's going to be a sellout. But you do need to check out. If you've got it in your basket, you definitely want it. Please, please, please check out. You... Sorry, I know I shouldn't. 
Three fifty-one. The fat quarter that works out at. They all they will go all day because there's, there's more people now got it in their baskets than we've got stock of. So please be careful. The design roll from the same colorways here in ambiance. Uh, you can make the bag out. The oh yeah, you can make the bag out of this design roll oh, as John, well. I meant to say that absolutely. Mm. That would look amazing. Or that quilt out of this fat quarter bundle. You yeah. can mix and match the design. Jo. Yeah. That would be like a holiday bag, wouldn't it? You'd have to wear a little black dress and high heel black shoes and then the bag made out of that. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Oh, and Cat would wear a big sun hat. Uh, 49 99 you get 42 uh, pieces. The width of fabric, 42, 43 inches, and they're two and a half inches wide. Okay, there's a few of those left. Please be careful. Nice, right? Now, the other collection, Moon Shadow. <laughs> you, Kat, Kat, for some reason, can't get Moon Shadow into her brain. She keeps calling it Moonshine. She thinks she's on the Waltons. Her grandpa <laughs> is making his illegal moonshine. There we go. Beautiful. Aren't they stunning? I'll just move those out of the way. The desk's a mess. There you go. Dan Morris, beautiful, aren't they? There's that batik -y finish to these, isn't there? Not datiks, they're digital print, but they take the batik. Oh, look at that. £94.99. pence. Like, oh, is it like screen printing, is it, Kat? No. £47.49 pence if you buy it on split pay. Just only two payments. Now, how am I with stock on those, then? OK, they're going to sell out. They're going to sell out. There's more people in baskets than we've got stock off of those. That's fantastic, isn't it? Brand new, brand new today, and we're going to have a sellout. I don't know. I don't know if the buying department can then buy them again, because we have to buy our fabric. Like, don't you, you know this. Mm, you buy absolutely. the fabric months in advance, don't you? So really? it's not like I can just ring up and go, oh, I want more of those. No, it's four all... or five months, and often once it's sold out, it's only one print run. Yes, yeah. Wouldn't this be lovely as well for teenagers as well? Because it's got quite a... I don't want to say it now, a bit of a moody look to it. I don't mean moody teenagers, but do you know what I mean? It's got that sort of, you know, it's no. quite, I don't know, it's kind of moody and intense. And, and they're Hawaiian, aren't they? <laughs> don't think <they're> moody. <laughs> I didn't know where I was going with no, that. No, no, I, I, know, what, I know what you mean, but you're thinking of, of teenagers where we were teenagers with that kind of hippie vibe as well. A little well. bit. I think, uh -huh. I think when, when I say we, I'm much older than him, just seeing. So you know, I don't want to put him in the same category. Not that much older. Well, anyway, look. Oh, here we go. Cat's yeah. going off now on tapestries. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, what you say is if you go to one of those shops that sells crystals and joysticks. Do you remember Woodstock? Yeah, no. Then you were then you were probably <laughs> there. You were probably I there. I was on stage dancing. <laughs> anyway, 94.99. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, and we've also got a design roll in the same colourway. Oh, I've opened those, haven't I? There we go. This is now. This is where, remember, the handbag that's behind Stuart, he is going to be making a pattern of that and coming on air and showing you how to make it so you can buy the pattern and everything. If you want to make a bag like the one Stuart had here, then it, order ahead. That's what we're saying, order ahead. $49.99. Okay, remember, putting it in your basket doesn't make it yours uh, because it's only yours when you check out. Okay, and the machine that Stuart was using, he's put away now, don't try picking it up again. No, I won't. Um, the machine that Stuart was using, remember, <clears throat> it's going to be, it's the, it's the end of the 680 plus, it's the one I've got. Stuart's got the 680, no plus. Uh, anyway, 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 that's the price. That's the price it's going to be. But if you could get it on pre order, you will get £50 credit added to your account. And as Becky Alexander Frost said, imagine how much fabric you. Well, you could have bought one of these or what, you know, kind of oh, half of one. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a lot, it's a lot of money, isn't it? Oh, and apparently we've got some very exciting things coming in March, this cat. Birthday week. Birthday week. And we're not supposed to tell you that yet, though. Um, <laughs> right, but, 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 but what I'm trying to say to you is, as soon as they come in stock, you won't get the £50 credit. So don't, don't be thinking, oh, I'll wait for the show where John or Stuart or Vix does it and everything. Because that, that, oh, that £50 credit will not be offered. And I'm not adding any undue pressure. I'm just telling you now. I don't want you to think, oh, I'll wait till they come in and then, and then I'll buy it. Because you won't get that £50 credit, right? If you, it's, oh, now, we've said mid-February. To me, mid-February is next week. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yeah, we, we, there was a bit of a mix-up yesterday. We got an email yesterday and I was like, oh, they're in, they're in, they're in, they're in. They're not in yet, but they're, that, they're this close to arriving now. So once they arrive, this graphic will disappear. That price will stay the same. The split pay will stay the same, but you won't get a £50 credit added to your account. And I don't mean to like, ram it down your throat or anything, but I just think if you can get £50 for free, £50 worth of shopping for free, it's so worth it, isn't it? Right, I'll shut up now. I'll be back in four minutes and I've got creative grids and tools and all sorts of things like that. Go nowhere. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, I'm Adele Rowland. You may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dressmaking. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher. And one of the things that dressmaking has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. My dressmaking tip, top tip is always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! It's my birthday and I would love for you to join me to celebrate in Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Sunday the 13th of February. We've got lots of new projects including these cute bird door stops from Amber Makes, Dressmaking with Adele Rowland and the wonderful Jane Crowfoot who will be joining us specially for an hour of Yarn Lane. I'm sure I'll have some special treats for you too. You'll have to tune in on Sunday from 8am until 1pm to find out. Watch me on Freeview 73, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. I'm sure I had something very important to tell you and I forgot what it was, but I'll. What?
Rebecca Reed's birthday tomorrow. I just saw that on there. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. On Monday, you're all going to get a special email. Right? Oh, thank you, Kat. <laughs> Kat's giving me my words, right? You know, a producer feeds you information. Right? Oh, it's Dan Morris. He's this, he's that. This one. Only if, you, only if you've signed up, she said. Only if you've signed up. Right. What you need to do is go, if you if you signed up, if you subscribe to our newsletter already, you don't have to do anything at all because you will get the email on Monday. However, if you want to know what the email is, what you need to do is subscribe to our newsletter. How you do that, you go to the front page of our website. Scroll right, I wish, I'm going to have a word. Can you write in the thing? It's not called Mother's Day, it's called Mothering Sunday. Can you ask them to have that change? Right, scroll down the page, and I don't like those macarons either. Keep, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Looks lovely, the website, doesn't it, at the moment? Looks fantastic. New Paul, that is, that's done that. Uh, keep going, it's a big, big front page, that's me and Stuart. Keep going, keep going. Right, there, where it says subscribe, it doesn't mean subscribe money-wise. It just means you sign in your email address there. Actually, it doesn't say what, that you're supposed to put your email address in, does it? Sign up to hear about the latest news and special offers. Yeah, put your email address in there, email.email at sayingstreet.com. Don't write that. You write your email address. You click on the envelope. Oh, she's not going to do it this time. Click on the envelope and it says you are now subscribed. Then you will get a newsletter on Monday. Now, please, please, please check your junk mail. And I'm not allowed to say what it is and I'm not going to say what it is. But it's all about spreading the love. Because it's Valentine's Day, isn't it? You don't use the website, don't you, Kat? Oh, yeah, you can ring the call centre if you want. Sorry, I was just about to clean my glasses and I've lost my cleaner. No, no, I've got my glasses, I've got my cleaner. Because I do this all the time. I get makeup and sweat on the top of them here. Anyway, are you coming to the call centre? What's the number? 0800 001 4433. They're there with their pen and their paper and they'll write down your name and they'll make sure that you put on the yeah, on the subscription thing if you don't use the website. But it's the web, now that we've got the new website, Paul, new Paul, he hasn't got a nickname yet, has he, new Paul? No, when he first started, his I won't say it, but his second name is like a, a first name and everyone kept calling him by his second name because they thought it was his first name. You know, that'd be like people calling me Scott all the time. Scott, Scott, Scott. So people going like this to him, shouting at him his surname. Like, oh. And we've got another new boy in there as well, marketing. Uh, oh, what was his name? Can't remember his name now. Anyway, he's a lovely young lad. Right, shall we start, shall we start, shall we start? What should we start with? Oh, also, the other thing I was going to say is don't forget to also sign up for the new Hobby Maker channel. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, no. Sign up for that as well. Right. The six inch one. Yep. Scrap crazy. Six inch. This is gorgeous if you want to make. Actually, it would work brilliantly with Stuart's, with that fabric that Stuart just showed you, wouldn't it? At uh, 19.99, Creative Grids Non-Slip, six inch by Karen Montgomery. Uh, there is a QI code on there, so it takes you straight to Creative Grids uh, website if you want to see it in action. You go to Pinterest or you can go to um, Instagram and put in Non-Slip scrap, scrap, scrap Crazy, Scrap Crazy, uh, six inch, and there'll be lots and lots of inspiration there. Creates a really, you basically get four rulers, one of which is like two within one. And you, what you do is cut four pieces to create crazy patch block that finishes six inches. No, cats, well, no, because you, if you, oh, there you go, because if, would that, would that work? Would that make a square? I'm going to check then. Cat says if you just use C and D and flip it, it'll work. Hang on, let me have a look. Oh. They're all sealed on so I've got. Let's hang on, let's have a look. Thank you. Stay on the web image just while I'm opening it. Oh, hang on. Uh, uh, oh, no, I don't, I don't know if that would work, Cat. No, it wouldn't. No, Cat, it wouldn't work, I don't think. Anyway, you can use it lots and lots of different ways. The best thing to do is just use the QI code or go to Creative Goods YouTube channel. You better see. Right, let's have a quick look at this then. It's a paper. Right, so Kat's saying if you, oh, that's an old piece of paper there. Using C and D, 
C and R. <laughs> They're very sturdy as well. C and D. In fact, this is where Kat's going to prove me completely wrong then. Oh, no, no, because you'd have to stitch them. Oh. Mm -hmm. What, what? The piece of paper I'm using is the day that the graphics broke and I had to do them manually, right? And then she's saying, flip it. Not like how you mean then. You mean like that. Oh, no, put it the other way up, put it that way up, like that. Yeah, Charlie's going, yeah, that's right, like that now. It's, it didn't say it while I was trying to do it, did he? Yeah. Well, it might do. Anyway, it's yours to play with when you get it home. Create lots and lots and lots of different um, patterns. Oh, he likes his web images. When did Elliot teach us to do web images a lot? I've never seen so many web images in my life. Oh, who was that from? Patricia, my love, don't send, do not send it. To, you're, she's just sent her email address to Kat at Studio's email. You don't do it like that. You have to put it in that box at the bottom of the, um, not the box. Right, okay, let's just quickly go back to the website again. Sorry about this. Right, so at the website, when you go to the website, right, the very first page, do not press on Watch Live. Go straight down to the bottom, right down to the very bottom. Pass me and Stuart. There you go. You'd literally put it in where it says subscribe, right? What you've done is you've cl clicked on Watch Live, which you can do. Oh, you can do it from there. There's a Watch Live button next to it there, right? You've put it in that box. She put it in that box there. She's put it in that box there. Do not put it in that box. That won't sign you up for anything. It'll just, cat will just see it and then it'll disappear. Right. So I've done that, done that, done that, done that. Loads in baskets. Oh, yeah, it's been demoed lots of times. Just put in YouTube, Sewing Street, um, Scrap Crazy, and you'll get um, demos up. Roundup tool. Be the one on the bottom, wouldn't it? Now, if you watched my show the other day, you'll, see, you'll have seen me doing demos on all of these the other day. Oh, ow. I just bent over and banged my eye on the... I banged my glasses on the thing. If you've got a block and you want to curve off the corner then this tool does it brilliantly. It means all of your corners will be exactly the same. Because if you use a dinner plate, sometimes you get the dinner plate like that and like that and like that. This way you line up your two straight edges with your straight edges of your block uh, or your quilt and you can just curve it like that. If you want a more shallow or a, a different kind of curve, you can use that curve there. You can also use it, look, for orange peels and you can make your petals. Look, you can do all sorts of things. Oh, let me put it on the fabric there. All with the Creative Grid's non-slip technology on it. So you can align the tool, you see, to round the corners. You can repeat it to cut circles. There you go. Look, 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 look. There you go. So if you do that four times, you'll have a circle. Or you can have your, like, watermelon segment. Or you can cut, look, your thing and then flip it. And you could do your orange peel block there as well. £24.99. pence. Uh, we found it the other day. Uh, £24.99. pence. You can cut Drunkard's Pathway. Hang on, cut Drunkard's Path or Orange Peel Shapes, it's saying. Beautiful. Okay, lots in baskets. You don't get the pink fabric with it. Next one. Which one? Hexagons. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right, now this is brilliant. Because you look at it and you think, oh, you can only cut one big hex. Yes, this you can't at all, right? What you need to do, I'll just put my pink fabric out. Right, so if you want to cut a big hexy, you just place that on your fabric and your cut axe. You've got the quarter inch seam allowance. However, here, this is the hexagon trim tool, which makes, look, all these gorgeous different shapes. What you do is you put your pieces together. This is round one. You put that in the middle hexy and you trim off, twist it 
and trim off. And then you, when you've got round three, round two, round two and round three, you can create this incredible like pineapple slash uh, spider's web uh, quilt. You can make it uh, with the big hexi in the middle with just a border, the, the medium weight one with a couple round or the little hexi in the middle with lots of, um, I, I tell you, I've got a cushion made out of that block that Emma Bradford made for me for my birthday. And it's gorgeous. You've seen it on my pictures on, on my sofa. Huge, huge cushion. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, how you send a picture in is you send it by email, Mandy. Uh, the email address is... Click on the right one now, Charlie. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Okay, the, the emails are open. Kat is ready to take your um, messages and your photos. Anyway, $24.99. Another one now, a curvy, a curvy log cabin. Now, we do have log cabin blocks, um, trim tools, and this one's the curvy log cabin. This one will create either this or this. And what you do is you sew your strips together and then uh, you put your centre square, oh no, you don't on round one first. So you put your centre square on there, trim, trim, turn it, trim, trim. Then you put your next row of um, blocks going around and you put the, the square in two. This is for the narrow side. And then you flip it like that, you can't see this, for the wide side on that side. Because obviously to make the circle, you need half the log cabin to be skinny and half the log cabin to be chunky there. Got some inspiration pictures, there you go. Whether log cabins, hexes or wonky squares are on your bucket list, we've got the perfect tool for you. Many of our specialty rulers are designed to trim blocks to size after sewing, so accuracy is guaranteed every time. Right, hang on a sec. Can you do, um, can you do that with all of those with a curvy one? Oh, yeah, 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 you can, yeah, you can, yeah. It's fantastic, isn't it, the way it's all set out? You can do all those from this one trim tool just by making the blocks and then twisting them. So you, these are, this is your basic block and then you can create all of the, those different things you just saw and this one as well, hang on. The wavy lined one as well, just by the way you're placing your blocks. So what you do is you do dark and light or light and dark and then literally flip the blocks around to create all the different shapes. Morning, John and Stuart. It's very windy in West Lothian, says Lorraine. Stuart's gone for a sit down. I'm making a duvet cover and pillowcases using hexes. Oh, nice. On round one, says Carol. Very nice. Okay. I, don't, I need the. So uh, I'll do the big one first. This is the ruler, the, the Creative Grid ruler. All of our designers said they buy first. Was out of stock for so long, we got it back in last week. So it's six and a half by 24 and a half inches in length. Now, it, have we got the um, general Creative Grids uh, slide there? Here you go, look. So non-slip embedded gripper means that your ruler's not going to slide all over the place. You've got centering lines and you've got 30, 45 and 60 degree angles. You also have on this ruler, on this side here, Oh, sorry. On this side here, you've got a quarter inch seam allowance. On this side here, you've got half inch seam allowance. You've got all your increments. You've got them in black and in white, so it doesn't matter what colour fabric you're working for, you can still see them. This way, if you work from this side, you've got half inch uh, measurements, and from this side, you've got solid inch measurements. And it's $23.99. And the other thing that's good about this is if you buy half metre fabric and you need to cut width of fabric strips or square it off look it's long enough I'm not going to do it because I've not got a cutting mat or a rotary cutter to go the whole width you folded the fabric in half once obviously you press yours first you can get right the way across the fabric so if you if it says cut width of fabric three and a half inches you square it off and then you can measure your three and a half inches and slice this off that way whichever way you want to oh no you turn it over that way wouldn't you and then you do, if you're right-handed, you would. And then you do your three and a half inch line there. And then you've got it all, and it goes the width of the fabric. The work, this, I'd say the most used ruler we do have here at Sewing Street. Fabulous. Then, 
square one, little square one, if you're going to square things off. There you go. Six and a half by six and a half inches, this one. At $14.99. Um, so this one again has got the non-slip. It's got the half inch and the quarter inch. It's got all the inch increments from uh, six to up to six inches there. Uh, you've got your diagonal line if you're squaring off blocks. It's got the non-slip grips. And it's got everything you need, really, to square off your blocks. Obviously, it's only six and a half inches, this one. We did have rotating cutting the other day, but they were 18 inches, so you could fit most of these rulers on. They've sold out now. And sent in a picture. Oh, look. Oh, it's Crazy Grid. This is how I use my Creative Grid Crazy Ruler. Now, I didn't notice that to start with. That's lovely. So is that all four pieces she's used there? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's cat counting to four, everybody. Oh, it's what a lovely cushion. And I, look, you've got the, almost the same fabric that I've got. Look, yours is darker pink than mine, obviously. How lovely. Oh, Anne, that's beautiful. Thank you for your picture. You know we love a good picture here. Right. This one here, very, very handy. In fact, Stuart just used this. I mean, it's good, didn't he? Uh, this is your six and a half by 12 and a half. 14.99 Brilliant price when you can see what I've got coming up next We will Well I know no I just want you to realize how good value this one is right and I'm not dissing this one cuz I love this little ruler but that's 14.99 Yeah, now if Elliot was here now, we'd go, oh, it'd be, uh, how many times you use it in a day? Think, don't think of it as an, an one price. It's how often you use it. If you use this every day, after 15 days, it's a pound a day. You know what I mean? After six months, it's a penny a day. Marion, what's the difference between the white dots and the black dots, please? Right, okay, Marion, what it is, is if you measure from this side... Right, so this here has got quarter inch seam lines. That is a one inch solid. So that's one inch from the edge to there. From the edge to there is two inches. From the edge to there is three inches. Turn it around this way, and from the edge inwards is you've got you've got half an inch extra on this side here. So basically, if you cut off at that line, it's one and a, one and a half. Oh, hang on, sorry, I'm not showing you. One and a half inches, you see. So if you've got to cut a two and a half inch strip, you do it from this side because you can cut down there and measure the two and a half inches there because that's half an inch and their inch is there. And then this way round is their solid inches, one, two, three, four. So depending on which way you use the ruler. So, so like I say, if you're cutting a two inch strip, you cut it from that edge and line that cut there and line the edge of your fabric up there that will cut you a two inch strip do it this way round it's a one and a half or a two and a half inch strip because you've got the half inch seam allowance on that side i hope that explains it oh we'll pack a picture of mandy now oh dear me look at that received my shirt picture yesterday with my delphine brooks design the best double act on tv what delphine and stuart and now together in my sewing room from mandy oh his signature is much bigger than mine, isn't it? Oh, she's got the board that we've got. Look up behind. Did you buy that because we had it or did we copy you? Mum's sewing room, my little sewing room. Oh, there's not much on your memo pad there, Mandy. Oh. Did you make that clock? We used to sell that clock at sewing quarters, didn't we? Yeah. You made it yourself. You chose your own fabric and you made it yourself, yeah. Gorgeous. Thank you for that. Oh, got a review for what? For this ruler. Uh, this is a must-have ruler, an excellent useful size and always very good quality from Christine in Lancashire. Thank you, Christine in Lancashire. One from Pat. Get out of my pub. Fab item saving most of my time against measuring with a normal ruler. Glad I took the plunge and purchased this. Oh, that's Pat from Lancashire as well. Oh, that's almost Christine from Lancashire. Was it? You sure? Everyone from Lancashire's messaging in. That's lovely. Thank you. 
Oh, yes, got to do this one. Right. It's cute because it's got um, my quilting friends. I love my quilting friends. Look at the price. Right, okay. This is $14.99. This is $15.99. Now, I'm not saying don't buy this one. This is a cute little ruler that you'll use over and over again. But I'm just saying how good value is that for $14.99? Uh, two and a half inches, this one, by six inches. It's I mean, it's lovely, it's cute. You can have it in your handbag, carry it around with you and everything like that. I wouldn't put it on a lanyard around you, Nick. Yeah, I know, but that's not... Imagine that. It's a bit big, isn't it? Oh, and Toby was wearing... I watched Toby on air yesterday, right? And he had his lanyard on from Tucson Gem Fair. I know, but he was in the studio. He was here. Well, not here. In the next... Oh, okay. Right, now this is fantastic if you're going to make half square triangles. This is brilliant, this is brilliant, this is brilliant. Fifteen ninety nine. You know when you put two squares together and then the design always says you draw a line down the middle and you sew quarter of an inch either side. Well, this, let me just put this into a square so I'm pretending it's just one layer of fabric. Right? What you do is you line this edge here up with, with the corner. So you line that up with the corner so you know it's definitely in the corner. Yours obviously be one layer, not loads of layers like mine. And then what you do is you can either mark, oh, let's move, look. You can either mark the centre line or you can mark your sewing lines. Oh, what do I do with that pen? Yeah, the nine inch one's sold out, I think, hasn't it? Look, so if you want to, that will give you your, don't worry, this is an air erasable pen. It'll have gone the next time you see it. Right, or you can do, go through like this and you know that these are your sewing lines. You do, yours a bit better than mine. So if you just sew down that line, then cut down the middle there, give you your half square triangles. And then your quarter square triangles. Brilliant, isn't it? I know, when we first saw these, we were like, oh, honestly, but how? Emma Bradford, she loves one of these, especially if you're using your Emma Bradford um, cut, press, and whatever mats. Now, I'll say it's Emma, but it's not made by her. She just loves it. Morning, how big was the little ruler, please, from Chris? Six inches by two and a half, I think. This one, you mean? Do you mean this one? I'll tell you again, this one here, I'll put the graphics in for that one, sorry. Oh, it's just a six inches. Um, yeah, yeah, that's right, six by two and a half. Six by two and a half, that. Oh, duh. It's got it written on it, it's got... <laughs> and also it's got it written on there. No, I couldn't see it because it was all covered in cellophane, but it's written on there. Right, if you meant that one, that's that price. And if you meant this one, this is six and a half by twelve and a half, this one. Six and a half by twelve and a half, that one. Oh, now Marion says, thank you so much, John. That was wonderful. What did I do? Oh, yes, that's fantastic then. Shelley loves her creative grid rulers. She's got lots. Don't tell me. Which is the most popular one? Oh, Scrap Crazy. I thought you were going to say this one. Scrap Crazy. It's a trim tool, the Scrap Crazy, not a ruler. It's all right. Right. Emma Bradford always uses these when she's in. It's called the Quilters Multimat. Now, I have got the choice of two different colourways. This one always sells out before that one does. And it is on pre-order again today. Okay. Right. We'll do this one first. Right. So, this one here... It's a pressing mat on the outside, right? It's a lovely, or you can pin on there. And look at the price, $19.99. Then when you open it up, on both sides, when you open it up here, now you're going to think that's a bit odd, that sandpaper there. Well, that is if you are marking up a square of fabric and you don't want it to slip, right? Putting it on the, the um, sandpaper, when you put your ruler on, Right? Now, you know sometimes you can get your pencil and you, when you do that, it, it shifts. Also, I'll do it again. Shifts up and down while you're doing it, right? 
Well, it doesn't here because the sandpaper holds it in place. Also, you could also place out your block while you're stitching it. You could place, you know, like a, like a block tidy because then you could put the fabric over the top like that to hold it all in place. This is a baby cutting mat. Oh. This is a baby cutting mat here. So you can cut, place, mark, sew, press. Brilliant for taking to classes and things like that. Now, I seem to think it had four things written on it. So hang on, it says uh, cutting mat. Yeah, I've got that, cutting mat. Anti-skid design layout sheet. That's that one there. Ironing mat, which is that one there. Oh, in fact, what they've done is they've done it like that. But then you've got, you've got your big ridge in there. I just leave it like that. And a pattern marker, the sandpaper. Oh, there you go. The witch bit. Yeah, that was the anti-skid design layout sheet. That would be there. Yeah. Fantastic. That one is always the most popular one. Oh, not that one. That one. Sorry. <laughs> that one. We also have in the blue spotty one, which is the one I prefer, actually. Just ordered my scrappy grid. Looking forward to learning how to do it, says Rosina. Yeah, yeah, make sure you put all your results on the fan page. Here is your blue and blue and white dotty one. Cat wants somebody to try out her design and send that in, please. Be very dull. Nineteen ninety nine. That's the blue spot one. Got a message? No. Hi, John. Great show. Love to see Stuart. I met him at Harrogate. Oh, I learned to bind my... He's watching. Don't worry, he's watching in the other room. I learned to bind my first quilt from Stuart's book. Angie from Lancashire. Another Lancashire. Yeah, maybe we're only, we're only transmitting to Lancashire today. Anyway, thank you, Angie from Lancashire. I like this. I like this as a pointy tool. I could do that if you want. Do you want? Okay. Right. All oh, right. Now. 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 I'm going to show you these two. Don't buy them till I've shown. Don't buy it until I've shown you both of them. Oh, it opens this way. <laughs> we normally have these out. I can smell burning. I'm sure it left the iron on the carpet or something. Oh, I've just ripped the box. You won't get this one, don't worry. It's right. We we make um, Charlie buy all the broken ones. The You're going to get your first wage slip when? Oh, yeah, so he says that all of his wages this month have gone on broken products. Right, these are gorgeous, right? It's a Millwood Beach ruler. It's got little stickers, not stickers, but, you know, like rubbers on the bottom to stop it moving or anything. And then you can keep your rulers beautifully um, stored safely. On the ruler, like that, right? On the ruler rack, even, not on the ruler. There you go. 10 9, 10. Now, don't buy it yet. Do not buy that one yet, right? That's your, that's your four slot. Uh, say that again. How big is it? 10 by 4 inches, this one. 10 by 4 inches. Four slots, remember. Look at the price. Now, the thing is, this is perfect if you've got a little space just to put your rulers like that. That can just sit on a shelf, sit somewhere, because you don't want to leave these lying around in case somebody treads on them or anything like that. Don't store it on a windowsill. I only say that because if, if it's south-facing, I'm not saying that it's ever happened to me, but it could possibly, couldn't it, if it suddenly came in a bit too strong through the window. Right, that's the 4 by 10 inch one, 4 slot. Was ten? Was it ten ninety nine? Yeah, ten ninety nine. Look at this monster over it. The pocket. I know that somebody's gone wrong somewhere. So again, exactly the same beech wood, twice the size, and an extra slot, and it's only a pound extra. Oh, only eleven of these left already. You've been buying these on pre order. Look, right. Okay, so that goes in there. I'd be a bit, a bit. I wouldn't put you. Cat, well, Cat said she put her 20 by 20 in here. Where's it gone? Where is it? I'm just looking for the 20 by 20. Stuart nicked it. Anyway, not to worry. But look, you can fit load. This has got five slots, 20 inches in length. 
Put everything you've got. Put everything you've got there, can't you? Put everything you've got in there. Now you could also put your, um, you know, your stripology, the smaller one, the squared one, that could go on there. Mini, couldn't it? Mini driver. I've worked with her. Yeah, that was a bit of a clang, but nobody reacted. It's fine. She played Robbie Coltrane's girlfriend in. Was it Goldeneye? Was Robbie Coltrane in Goldeneye? Or, or Robbie Coltrane was Cracker, Scottish actor. Hello, John from Ireland, says Susan. Oh, you've just reminded me. I've got to, re re I've got to reply to Yvonne McAtamney. I'm doing her quilt fair in September. It's a surprise. Yes. Uh, hi, John. Just got in from work. Oh, where have you been? Where have you been working this morning, Mrs. in Hampshire? My E, uh, hang on, my Elna E450 arrived only ordered Wednesday. Very happy from Lid, Lynn in Hedgeend. Oh, Lynn, I'm glad you like it. Now sit down and play with it for a gag drink, read through the brochure, and then sit down, switch on and go. As long as you've got some threads, you'll be fine. You can start. There's only four left, but there are 80 baskets. Obviously, you don't get the rulers with it. You just get the ruler stand. Yeah, that was, there you go. There it is. Keep checking out because people are going to be disappointed. And we know what disappointment's like, don't we, Charlie? Yeah. <laughs> He's only 22. He hasn't lived through half of his disappointments yet. God, you wait. Rotary cutters, of course. Right, here we go. 45 millimetre rotary cutter from Clover. I've got this one. Well, I've got several. I've got about five rotary cutters. Well, yeah, I don't use them because I use, the scissors. I use scissors. I use it when I do a bar yellow. I'll use my, well, I haven't got a stripology, I have to admit. My, no, no, I've got one, but it's, from, it's when I work somewhere else I got it. 12 99 Twelve ninety nine. This one's forty five millimeter rotary cutter. Now you can make it left handed or right handed. This one, you just unscrew the blade, and then you see this green. I wonder if I've got one. Rebecca Reed's tied it up, and I don't know where everything is now. No, there isn't. No, there's not a drawer with rotary cutting. Anyway, what you do is you can take this bit off. Sorry, I'll get my head out of shot. Take that bit off and turn it round because the blade goes out to the right or the left. Hey, I can show you now. I've got one. Thank you. They sanitised you. Yeah. Yeah. Look, so when you pull the, you see how the blade, that's a right-handed one, and the blade goes out that way. What you can do is you unscrew it here. I'll show you. Oh, hang on. No, I can't because, oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. No, I'm not touching the blade, don't worry. I've got, I've got my fingers aren't very well. I've had to buy one of those um, jam jar openers, you know, that old people have. Right, okay. No, I didn't get one free in my magazine. There you go. So look, that comes off there like that. And that was on that way round saying right. What you do, if you're left-handed, you literally turn it round like that. <laughs> Be very careful when you lift this up. No, because that fault. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll do it. I'll, I can do it. Yeah, get ready. There we go. That's not the best way to do it. No, I've done it wrong. There you go. There you go. So you put it back on like that. Right. Then you tighten the back up like, oh, it's slipped. You'll do yours better than I'm doing it. Hang on. Tighten up like that. You see, if we had a floor manager, I don't, he'd be in here or she would be in here demonstrating that for you. Right, hang on. There we go. Oh, I'm not tightening it properly. But basically, then when you open, I don't know if, there you go. You open it up like that and it goes the other way because it's left-handed. You tighten yours up properly. I've not tightened that up all the way, look. There you go. There you go. Don't leave it wobbly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually 45 millimetre one there. That is the most... Got ruler? No, you don't mean ruler. You mean blade. There you go. Beautiful. And you've got a little bit of soft touch there and there when you're cutting away. So you can use it right-handed or left-handed. Soft touch. Always remember, though, when you finish cutting, you put the blade away straight away. £12.99. Right, that's the 45 millimetre. 28 millimetre. 
Again, exactly the same, but a 20. Now, if you're doing um, curves, drunkard pathways, anything like that, £8.99. Now, you see, that's a really good price because when we first opened um, Sewing Quarter, we hadn't got one of these in stock and I had to demo it the next day. So Hannah and I went off to a shop in Birmingham to buy it. It's the day Hannah gave me the wrong postcode. We ended up in a very, very rough area with lots of um, bulldogs barking at the car. Um, but anyway, um, but it was more than 8 99 then from this other shop. That size, that 28 millimeter. Again, you can make it left-handed or right-handed. Works in exactly the same way. 8 99 Right, then also, now this one, now, maybe for the future, this one's used more in paper crafting. Hobby maker. I can never get that right. Look, look, it's so cute. Watch. Freestyling like Delphine does. I've never seen Delphine use one of these. Though. Oh, now, now, now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is different on the back. This hasn't got... Uh, I've, oh, now. There's only one left in stock. Oh, now, that, hang on. Oh, that's how you get it off. <laughs> no, it's not broken. Look, I'm just turning it around to the left-hand side then, and then you can do that. Oh! Don't do yours like that. I'll leave that for Stuart. There's only one left. You won't get this one. This is the one you'll get here. And there is a review, don't get John Scott to change the blade for him. Handy for small jobs and easy to manoeuvre. Easy for you to say, Yvonne. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Oh, we've also got replacement blades. Let me just put that over there so it stays safe. Right, uh, that's that, that. Replacement blades, now I've only got them in two of the sizes. There is your 45 millimeter one. Eight pound ninety nine. You get three in there. You get the reason you get no, no. The reason these sell out straight away is normally they're about four pound fifty each, and you get three in there for eight ninety nine. And the little plastic um, container, like a little, it's not Tupperware. Oh, look, there it is. Little dish, dish to hold them in. And then when you throw the old ones away, throw them away in that dish, or take them to Waitrose and put them in the sharps box. Just wondering. Why have you got music playing in the background? We haven't got any music. Oh, no, and then she then realised it's my neighbour. Uh, no, Shelley, Shelley, there is no, it's not there yet. It's not there yet. What you need to do is sign up. Go to the Facebook page and sign up for Hobby Maker, for the newsletter for Hobby Maker. Hi, oh, I've said that one, yeah. 8 99 for three blades, three blades. And it's really, really, really important you have a sharp blade in your rotary cutter. Hang on, says Amanda. Loving that I'm watching the show live today as I'm usually watching repeats because of my working road to great show. Mandy from Blackwood. Thank you, Mandy. In Kafili, Borada. I never watch any telly live these days. Everything, normal telly. I watch the show, I flick through the shopping channels when I get in to see the competition. Not what they're selling, just how they're presenting everything. Think, oh, that's what I'm meant to do. Oh, that's how I'm supposed to do it. Oh, that's how I'm supposed to do that. No, limitless. It's not. It's not been re. It's not been recommissioned, does it? No. Right. Okay. And then I've got twenty-eight millimeter uh, rotary cutter blades. And it's called Hobby Maker, Shelley. Hobby Maker. If you go to the, um, it's on. The, I know it's definitely on the jewelry maker. Is it on our website? Is it on our page? And I, I, I got sent it yesterday and I'm not quite sure how. But anyway, you can sign up for the newsletter. That's different to the one for us because the one for us is that you'll get a special email on Monday telling you about a nice little surprise. Oh, she's found it. She's done it. That's all right. She's done it. Gorgeous. Now, and also for those of you who messaged me yesterday, nothing's changing as far as Sewing Street is concerned. We are staying the same. Go to a new studio. We're going to a new studio. And at the moment, they can't find the wallpaper to put on the back wall, so it's black at the moment, apparently. But they will do. 
Two small cutting mats in blue and aqua. Uh, no, not blue and aqua. Pink and aqua. Which one first? Pink. Oh, where is it? Fourteen ninety nine. Oh no, it's fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Do what? Yeah, no, but I haven't got the wires, have I? Not really, Charlie? This is brilliant for any sort of crafting, or if you're going to the caravan for the weekend, or going away and taking on a on a on a what's it a retreat, sewing retreat. Message from uh, Mandy. Hi, John. Went into a well-known craft shop yesterday and couldn't believe how expensive they are compared to Sewing Street. My liberty's arrived. It's beautiful. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. I know Kat saw it the other day and she was like, what's this? What's this? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, what are you ringing for? Lots of people are they complaining about me. Did I say something wrong? Lots of people on the phone lines. Oh, it's all right. They're saying the camera angles are dreadful today. That's fine. Nothing to do with me. And the blue one. I think it's called aqua, isn't it? Inches on one side. Aqua. Inches on one side. Oh, hang on. Inches on one side. Centimetres on the other. You've got your degree lines. Your two inches, your one inch. You've got a 45 degree line. You've got a 90 degree angle there. You've got a 60 degree line there. And a 30 degree line there. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Just stay looking at that for one second. Beautiful. Because it's so like it's like having to unravel my microphone in the morning. Look, they've given me this to unravel everyone. Fourteen ninety-nine. Beautiful. Can you tell I'm about to do a native lamp, native lighting lamp? Oh, come on. Brilliant, lovely. Just find the plug. <laughs> right here, with you. Oh, maybe they weren't complaining about me then. Oh, don't be worried. Who was that from? Alison, don't you be worried. Right, fourteen ninety-nine. Right, okay. A native lighting lamp. Now they do come in black and they do come in white, but I need to just check stock. Six black, nine white. That is all. Right, the white one's the one that's plugged. I've got the black one. This is where my friend Kieran will tune in now and they'll go, oh, You're not doing that lamp again, are you? What's the matter? Yeah, he doesn't message in saying that. He just messaged me going, I watched you today for a bit. You were doing that lamp again. Right, this shouldn't be on this. Oh, yes, it should. Split pay, split pay. But it's on three split pay. Three split pay. Three split pays of 38 99 Now, I've got the black one of these. They are fantastic. It's a floor lamp. I'm going to lift it onto the table. Right. So ours is a little bit dusty. It's a bit dusty in the studio. These come straight from Claire at Native Lighting. Dulcie's got the black one now as well. Hers arrived last week. And a week before. Anyway, what it is, is on a base here, which is quite solid, but it's not thick. So if you want to put it next to your sofa or next to an armchair when you're working with this over the top of you here, that can just slide under there. The only assembly you have to do is screw this into this. That's the only thing you have to do when it arrives. Now, I'm just going to bring this back down to the floor. The gooseneck... It's amazing. You can twist this, and it's not me forcing it. It will do this. It will go any angle you want it to go on. No, it doesn't go floppy. Look, no matter what, you can put it straight up like that if you want to. Look, this one's been there. You go. Look, you see, it'll stay where you want it to go. If you want to put it on your sewing machine at the, from the side like that, if you have, I have mine on the other side of my desk and have it coming over my desk like that. Um, it's got an LED light in here. Now, this is the control panel here. Okay. So I'm going to do this back to front now and bring that down like that. Right. Okay. So that's your power button there, the one that's lit up. That's, oh, sorry. That switches it on and off. Right. Now I'm going to bring that in because 
I don't know what's the best way to show you this. Well, I, can we do it from upstairs, Charlie? I'll just show you, there's two buttons there. There's color and there's brightness, right? The color, if you press it, you get there are five different colors, right? You ready? Oh, hang on, I'm not pressing it properly. Look, can you see? There's five different colors there. There's also five different brightnesses, look. Right, now, the thing that's brilliant about this lamp is once you've worked out the colour and the brightness that you want that's perfect for you. So I have it over, like, it's in my, in my office. It's on that side of the desk and it leans over. Once you get the setting that's perfect for you, every time you switch it on and then you switch it back on again, switch it on and off, it stays. It stays. So there's none of that, oh, which, which setting did I have it on before? It just goes to the setting that you had it on last time. However, like I say, mine's on the other side of the desk there. I don't have to reach over. You get one of these with it. Now, if you buy the white one, you get a white one of these. If you get a black one, you get a black one of these. Look. That's your on-off button there. That there is a 60-second timer. That is a 10-minute timer. These are your different brightnesses. You're up and you're down. These are your different colours, up and down. That there, if you just click that one in the middle there, it creates a nightlight. So if you've got your child's bedroom, Go straight to a child's uh, nightlight. You can have it on 20 degrees, 50, not degrees, 20%, 50% and 100%. You can have it on just warm, you can have it on just cool, or you can have it on a mix, right? And you even get the batteries with it. When this arrives in the box, the batteries come with it. They're very slim boxes. You won't believe that the whole lamp fits into it. Now, the other thing you need to remember is if you've got two of these, right? If you've got two of these, um, if you're in the same room, you could do, you could use yours to do his and his to do yours, basically. Like, if there's two of these in the room, just point it towards that. Oh, Kat wants you to see the box. Is this really oh, no. Beautifully displayed. Thank you, Kat. And she also, you know, wait till Wednesday, 8 o'clock. You see Kat doing the early bird on Wednesday, 8 o'clock. Here's the screen with the key features. Flexible gooseneck. Bright LEDs, floor lamp is a five-step dimmer with five different levels of light temperature, which can also be controlled via the remote control. There's the head size, eight and a half by 2.25 inches. LED size, height, 71 inches. Base plate diameter, and then all the, all the, all the other bits and bobs that you need to know there. Six white left now. Oh, we haven't put the, the black one through, so I can't tell you how many of the black ones are left. I've got the black one. Dulcie's got the black one. There's only five of the black ones left now as well. 116.99, but you can get on split pay. Now, June, didn't you buy one of these? Didn't you get one of these last week? Somebody got one. Was it June or was it Anne? I get so confused. It's my age. It's not you. 116.99. Oh, oh, okay. So our marketing manager, Hayley B, is watching with her friend Marge. And they say, that's a dog, it's her only friend. And they say, if you want to find out, if you want to be subscribing to the Hobby Maker website, all you need to do is go to www.hobbymaker.com. Yeah? She's just trying it now. Com. Cat's just trying it now. No, she couldn't get through. And uh, she's, she's not the right place. Anyway, I'll carry on with this. 116.99, three split papers of 38 pounds and 99 pence. It's beautiful. As I say, I've got the... Oh, .co.uk, sorry. .co.uk. So www.hobbymaker.co.uk. There you go. Look, coming very soon. And then you sign in your email address there. Oh, if, if uh, Haley's watching... Hayley, uh, I don't know if you need to know this. Oh, Kat, so look, Kat signed up already. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, on the website where it says subscribe to news, because we're talking about the, the Monday one for, for ours, it doesn't tell you what you put in the box. It just says, just says sign up. People have been put, just putting their name in. So it needs to say, I've been telling them, but you need to change the work, get what's his face who does the website to do the old, um, change it to put your email address in there, not just your name in. Anyway. I'm moving on. Loads of you things to sign up for. None of it costs any money and it's all fascinating. And as I say, nothing is happening to Sojourn. You don't have to panic one little bit. Well, 
if we like, if you like panicking, you might do, but you don't have to. Uh, cat likes being on edge all the time. Oh, there's only five of the white ones left and five of the black ones. They come from Claire, directly drop shipped. Don't do, don't do, don't do the express delivery. Only put your normal. See, that just came on. Don't, don't do the express delivery. Just do normal. Do. They, they come quickly. They do come quickly. All right. Threads. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I thought we'd finished. That's fine. We'll do the threads very quickly. Oh, no, hang on. I've got hundreds of them. Right, okay, so not that. Oh, only. Oh, no, they're all, they all say that on them. Okay. Right, machine needles, hand sewing needles, and threads in this one. They're Guterman also threads, 1999. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. Ten. You get ten threads there. They'd be £19 for the ten threads, wouldn't they? So you're paying 99p for hand sewing needles. And if you like your hand sewing needles, are very organised. Watch Wednesday at 8 o'clock. And your machine needles, 19.99. Oh, June. Yes, June got the white one. It's fabulous. Really quick delivery too. Thank you, June, my love. I thought it was you. Uh, what? What? What are you saying? Yeah, very good brand. Well, Prim and Schmetz, both very good brands. And Gutemann, three really good brands together. Moving on. Then... The one with the tape measure. Oh, I can't do that one apparently. Tape measure. $17.99. This one comes with a measuring tape. Angela. Hi, John and crew. Just subscribed to the new show. By the way, love the shirt. Can we have a close up of it, please? This is Charlie. Come on, Charlie. I haven't got all day. Now, it does come. Angela. Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, it makes me look very fat when I do that. Angela, it comes in pink, black, blue, green, red, and another colour. Oh, yeah, black buttons. Anyway, thank you. A message from Teresa, or Therese. Hang on, we'll see it then. Good morning, John. It's my birthday today, and I'm pleased to be sending it with you and Luna and all the Sewing Street viewers from Terry. Oh, happy birthday, Terry. Luna, Luna, squirrels. Squirrels, Luna. Oh, We're going for a break now. I'll see you in four minutes. Stuart will be back. And, it, and he's going to be making... Charlie? Oh, we, oh the rot's setting in, isn't it? That's only nine of the blocks. You will get in the box enough to make 30 of the blocks. So it'd make a lovely big quilt, wouldn't it? We... Oh, eh? Is it? That's not what you said earlier. I'm going to leave it, but the price that's on the website isn't the price you're going to pay. I'll see you in four minutes from now. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! It's my birthday and I would love for you to join me to celebrate on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Sunday the 13th of February. We've got lots of new projects, including these cute bird doorstops from Amber Makes, dressmaking with Adele Rowland, and the wonderful Jane Crowfoot, who will be joining us specially for an hour of Yarn Lane. I'm sure I'll have some special treats for you too. You'll have to tune in on Sunday from 8am until 1pm to find out. 
Watch me on Freeview 73, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harbour. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We've just found out Elliot ate all the biscuits yesterday. No, it wasn't. Oh, wasn't it? It was Hannah. Oh, was it? But she blamed Elliot. Oh. But Hannah, they're both on diets. Oh, well. When do we see Hannah next? What day is Monday? I'll see her on Monday, won't I? I'll see her on Monday. Valentine's Day, she better brought me a present. Of course. <laughs> This is Hannah we're talking about. Are you a romantic soul, John? No. Do you make single, romantic bitter gestures? and twisted. No, but own. romantic gestures towards always. friends and loved I've ones. Always. I don't know necessarily romantic. What I, what I always say is I hate having to buy something for somebody on their birthday because you go, I have to buy something, but I'd rather be at the shop and go, oh, she would love that and just be able to buy it. You know what I mean? That kind well, of thing. keep that in mind next time you go shopping. shopping. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know your tastes well enough yet, though. So. <laughs> Anything expensive. <laughs> and edible. <laughs> right, okay. Moda, moda, moda. Now, we're talking about romantic. Rom now, this isn't just, we're not talking about Valentine's Day, we're just talking about love. We're just talking about love. Now, this is what, before we went for a break, right? I was like, I was a bit confused, right? And I apparently let the thingy slip out of the what's it earlier, right? I said £109, didn't I, you see? And it's £129, so we are going to crash it to £109.99. So if you've already checked out, uh, you're going to be paying 100 There you go. You know it straight away before I've even shown you. It's on split pay, £109.99. Right, bear that in mind now. Look how gorgeous it is. Look how beautiful this is. Sincerely yours by Sherry and Chelsea. Aren't they the mother and daughter combo? That's I think they're right. mother and daughter, mm -hmm. aren't they? Uh, finish size 50 by 60 inches. Now, lovely box that it comes in. Now, inside the box. Now, I'm not going to open everything because obviously Stuart's got all the fabrics out and everything. Oh, my word. Look at all the fabric you get in there. Look at all that fabric you get in there. Plus your instructions. I will open those. So in the box, you get all the fabric you need for the top and the binding. You have to supply your own backing, your own wadding, obviously, but you always do with kits like this. And then here are all of your instructions. The finished block size is 8 by 8. And there are all your block instructions that Shirt's going to take you through now. I am. Yes. <laughs> and there's all your binding and your sashing and your everything like that and your chain blocks and all sorts of things like that. Everything you need to know is all in there. 
Uh, for, beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm going to stop talking about it for a while because I want you to see all the fabrics. And Stuart's got all the fabric. you got all the other fabrics there with you. Just the yeah, no, I've got, I've got the box. Only so I don't really want to open this one out because there's a lovely sort of basket weave print fabric under there. You've got a lovely mm. ditzy fabric. You've got the flower. And then all of those in there, all the fabrics for the quilt top and the binding are all in there. The reason I don't want to open it is because we're quite limited on them. As soon as I open that one, then one of you won't be able to get it. So I'm quite limited on it. Um, it's called beautiful, isn't it there? Uh, well, it's called on the front. It's called Simply Yours and inside it's called Good Hearted. So it could be called Good Hearted Simply Yours. Sincerely yours. Sincerely yours. Oh, it's this thing. Yeah, Sincerely the fabric line is called hearted. Sincerely Yours. That's of course it is, yes. And then the quilt design is called Good Hearted. Good Hearted. There you go. Then Right, OK, off you go and make it. <laughs> it is gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so what you get inside, actually, you, you get your cream uh, spot. This is absolutely lovely. This Is, is your... that the one with the little basket we've printed on it? No, so this oh. is your background print. I couldn't even see so that one in my This mind. is lovely. Oh. Again, it's a lovely moda print. It's, it's got a... spots on it. Yeah. It's a really lovely warm cream with a big white polka dot. It looks absolutely beautiful yeah. on the finished quilt. You've an absolute big stash of that. Right. Okay. Then, for the vast majority of your piecing, for your hearts, for your stars, that kind of thing, you've actually got um, like a 10-inch stacker. Oh, wow. Yeah, yes. of all these different fabrics, and they are absolutely wondrous there's lovely peaches there's magentas i think we've done that have we, we not do. had that as a text? yes yeah we've yeah. got it by the half meter sincerely yours it's really gorgeous we've had the fabric for a week or two yeah look at all of these so you've absolutely loads of fabric and when i say loads of fabric john I mean, you mean you've got lots. extras. Oh, brilliant. Oh, you've got extras, believe me. Joan's already planned the projects with all the extras. Okay. Don't you worry about that. And then what you've got on top of that, this is your binding fabric. Uh -huh. Okay. Then you've got two different fabrics here, which are for your chain blocks. Oh, right. Okay. okay. So the quilt itself is made up of two different blocks and you can see them really clearly, can't you? You've got this diagonal chain block mm -hmm. and that's where you're going to use your cream spot and your two shades of peach. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've got a heart within a star. Right. And uh, yeah, there it is, close there up. There it is. You've got the heart in the centre, the star around the outside, and the kind of scrappy prints in the background. And that's what you're going to use your 10 inch stacker for. And then I've quilted it with hearts. Oh, yeah, it's all completely quilted with hearts. I think, John, this is the absolute, this is the answer to the question that every quilter asks themselves when they say, What can what quilt can I make for Maddie? Or Cassie, or you know, your granddaughter, oh, so, oh, your, your granddaughter niece, called Maddie, or that. no, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, made? yeah, 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 definitely. When you're thinking, what quilt can I make? I don't want to make something that's babyish because she's nine or twelve yeah, or yeah, fourteen. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, what can I make that she'll really love? That is kind of grown up enough, but. Cute. Yeah, no, I'd like it. Though. Well, well, I'm not 14. Yeah, I'll never, no, you know. quite. No. Yeah. We're definitely <laughs> not 14, but... No, no, I, it is any age, young of heart. Yeah. Anybody who's young of heart. Or I think it's also the answer when we're thinking, what can I make for that quilt? Can I make for that friend who's going through a tough time, you know, going through like a serious medical condition or whatever, mm -hmm. or a big change in their life or whatever. And we want to show them that they're loved, that we're thinking of them, that they're cherished. But also, oh, as you said right at the start, you know, yes, Valentine's on Monday. It's one day. I love the people in my life 365 days a yeah. year. There's every reason to show your love, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, no. But also what I was thinking of, like that you're saying about people who might be poorly or something, that with everything that's happening in the world, a lot, and I'm not getting all medical now, but a lot of us are having anxiety issues. Oh, yeah. And, and to have a quilt that's been made by somebody that you can just snuggle up with on the sofa or yeah. in bed at night time and just yeah. think, someone's made it. There's that saying, isn't there? Go, some people don't say, I love you, but they say... Ring me when you get home, or I've made this for you, or something like that. Different people say, yeah. some people can't say, 
I love you, right? right? But they do it by making you something or by just making sure that they're, you, that you know that, oh, I've gone all a bit go goofy now. I know, but, but it's true, but isn't it's it? True, it's true, isn't it? It's just about but showing that you loved and, and knowing that you loved, you yes. know. I just think, you know, the time of year, yeah. <laughs> it would be easy to look and think, oh, Valentine's, yeah. I can't make it for Monday, That you know. But I think actually really showing somebody that you care about them. And so actually it's why we make quilts, isn't it, most exactly. of the time, exactly. to show someone that we love yeah. them. Um, you know, I make cat, uh, quilts for Mrs Mills, the cat, Aww. you know, to go in her basket to show I Blimey. love her. Mind you, I having do. said that, one of my new cats has got one that um, <laughs> Wet Yourself Wendy made for me on the big armchair and he's made himself very, very comfortable. Oh, I've seen the pictures. They've really settled in. Oh, they so have they? taken over now. Wow. The other thing we were saying earlier, wasn't it, is if you don't want to make a whole... Qu like, yes. you can say, oh, yes, I love you, but I only love your nine patches. Right? <laughs> but it doesn't... It could be a cushion. No, it that's right. Well, what, what we wanted to show, actually, is that the quilt kit itself will make a, a quilt which is 50 inches by 60 inches. To give you an idea, this is three blocks across the quilt pattern is actually five blocks so there's another chain and another yeah. heart yeah and then it's by 60 so there's actually this is three there's double double that, that down there we showed on the picture there there you go um, and then it's Charlie got the sashing showing. it's got the narrow border now we have still got the fabrics by the half i've got it in the next hour them. And so what I'm thinking is, if you think this is 50 by 60, if you wanted it a bit bigger than that, say you wanted it 60 by 70, uh -huh. add a five, I mean, it's got the cream on the outside. It's perfect for adding now a five inch finished, so five and a half inch cut border mm -hmm. all the way around. I'd get a meter, meter and a half. That would border it. You might just need a little extra of the binding, yeah, but if you're happy to, scrappy binding, mm -hmm. you could combine a bit of the others, you yeah. know, and just add, just by adding one border, you, you make can it much bigger. Up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But also, you if you even if you made somebody, if you want, if, if somebody rings you and they're like, oh, I'm having such a bad day, yep. you could knock up one block and make a cushion yes. in an afternoon, couldn't you? You could be there that could. evening with yeah. the cushion for exactly them Exactly right, yeah. One block, you could do four heart blocks together. Mm -hmm. You could do a heart block with some borders around it. You could make the wall hanging, a couple of cushions, table runner mm -hmm. from your kit. I mean, this is... A gorgeous stash of fabric. Yeah, yes, this is totally. why I've always been against like pre-cut kits because then you can only make what's there, what's in the pattern. Mm. This way, adapt it, modify yeah. it. I mean, I think this would be lovely to add maybe like a center plain block and actually applique the name of the person. Oh, yeah. Or settle their initials. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or something like that. It would be a lovely engagement gift for somebody. Yeah. Um, or wedding gift. Yeah. It would also be a gorgeous baby quilt. Totally. Absolutely mm. gorgeous baby quilt as well. Absolutely super. I've just backed this one in white. Uh -huh. um, and for the full quilt, if you were buying backing, then you would want that three metres. Uh, well, so I'll, I'll, I'll read the thing and find that yeah. out for you. We've got a message apparently. Oh, it's an, oh, it's an email. It's oh, an email. Oh, oh, Stuart. I dared not hope to get the extras, but the fabric is so beautiful, <laughs> it won't be a problem to come up with a project. Also, the pattern is so adaptable to other fabrics, as shown by the work in progress with the fabric from earlier this morning. Love from Deputy Joan in Howden, <laughs> sent with kind thoughts from Joan. It's oh. the deputy, everyone. <laughs> not a cat. <laughs> right, you need th three and a quarter yards for your backing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so three and a half metres we've put in yeah. our bundles, yeah. Okay. Right, okay, now, a third of the stock has been checked out already, right? And you know how we buy. What I was going to say about this is it's fantastic that you're saying you don't like kits because normally that's it. If you make a mistake, yeah. you're stuck. There's plenty left over here. Yeah, so if is. you do make a mistake, don't be panicking, thinking I've ruined the whole thing. There's enough fabric in there. Anyway, a third of the stock's gone, been checked out. Lots of people got it in their baskets. Oh. Oh. Oh, got it wrong again. Lovely. Oh, well, okay, now that makes it nine, well, 99, 99, under 100 pounds. Mm. Two split pays of 49.99. That is fantastic for what you're getting. If you've already checked out, you pay that price. Everybody pays that final price. Right, that's to make the whole thing, the 30 blocks of the, you can make from there, 99 pounds and 99 pence. Mm. You work that out price per block. 
it works out at just fantastic value, doesn't it? Mode of fabric How much as well? exactly, John? No, sorry, I'm not going to make you do the math. Okay, well, <laughs> how much exactly? I'm joking, at three I'm pounds, three pound thirty-three. <laughs> yeah, I used to work on a fruit and vegetable in the market. My arithmetic is the one thing I can do. Two right. pound of Bremleys. <laughs> well, no, I started off on potatoes and carrots, and then I had the brown overall. Do you shout? Imagine I'm doing me shopping. Come on, do me shopping. <laughs> No, no. Go on, do can't it. Can't do shouting. Two pound of spuds. No, no, and you have to do, it was like the old days. It was the old days. It wasn't like the old days. <laughs> you weighed them on the thing. You spun the bag spun like that. Spun the bag. Then, and then you had to add it. There wasn't a till to do no. this. You added the whole thing up. Yeah. You had to remember. And then they go, oh, and four oranges. And then, oh, two pounds of Granny Smith's. And, oh, can I have a piece of cheese? And Because we have cheese and eggs yeah. and chickens as well. And it was just like, I, I, it was brilliant for the brain. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. You went home filthy dirty. And, and wasn't, yeah. was that when there was like 144 pence in a doodah? Or what was are it you still even talking groats about? Or, um, or did you just trade a chicken? <laughs> no, but you know how much you got paid for the day? For a pence. 90p. <laughs> no, and it went up to one pound twenty. For a day? For the day. <laughs> Oh, bless you. She, that's what she's on now. What's wrong with that? <laughs> anyway, come on, come on, come on. Let's make a quilt. Then. Let's make a quilt. Check okay. out, check out. So first of all, um, my advice is always make one block. Yes. Before you start cutting and making the whole quilt. Oh, okay, so you just please, cut, please. cut and make one block. Cut and make one block for the simple reason it makes sure you're doing the right thing. It makes sure that you know which fabrics you're supposed to be using mm -hmm. <coughs> and so on. Now for the chain blocks, you're actually going to strip piece these. So we've got a couple of units that we need to make for our chain block. This is one of our units. Can it's, I can I, can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, if you were at home doing this yeah. and not particularly experienced, would you do the chain block first before Absolutely. you start the half? That's why I've started oh, with this. Yeah, yeah just for sure. Start with the simplest block. Now, the, this is one of the most basic units in patchwork. We call it a four patch. Mm -hmm. And it's two of one fabric and two of the other. And it will be these two exact fabrics, okay? Mm -hmm. So don't substitute at this stage. All right, so what you'll actually do there, rather than cutting four squares, is cut some long strips, selvage to selvage, okay, in your dark and your lighter peach. And then what you'll do, once you've sewn them, is press your seam so it's nice and flat, and then we'll cross cut. Right. So if you've never quilted before, great place to start. Now, when you're lining up to cut out your units, Okay, with any strip piecing, mm -hmm. you want to start with a clean-up cut. So, centre line on your seam. What you're looking for and hoping for is a quarter of an inch here and a quarter of an inch here. Right. These are all good signs. Well done, DJ. Yeah. Trim up, that's your clean-up cut, and then flip your board around and then you can cut. Obviously, if you're left-handed, you'd go the other, the other way. way yeah. And then same again, as you're making your cross cuts, each time, don't just line up on the left-hand side. Line up down the centre, top and bottom as well. And don't be afraid if it's necessary as you're going along, if you feel like you're starting to go very slightly off, flip your strip, do another clean-up cut, mm -hmm. cut off a slither, and then go back to trimming. Brilliant. All right? Mm -hmm. So you'll cut out your units... And then, <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? I yeah. turned them both round. <laughs> <laughs> He's done this before, you can tell. All right. And then you know I'm a pinner. Even though this is just a small bit of patchwork, I'd still recommend that you pin, at least in the centre, and then we'll stitch it. Okay. So that's our first little unit, mm -hmm. and for each block, we need two of those. Right. No, I'm not sure what channel Fiona's watching. She says, amazing having two well-educated ex-teachers on together that love their trade, giving good, clear information. Oh. And then Sheila says, morning, John and Stuart, could this quilt be made, done as quilt as you go? Mm, yes, it could. Yeah, it absolutely could because you've got that sashing mm -hmm. in between. Although, you know, for um, quilting as a whole, 
It's 50 by 60, mm -hmm. which means that the biggest amount of fabric or quilt you need to get in here is 25 inches, yeah. which actually is not a lot squished up. Yeah. So, but you know, yeah, absolutely. If you prefer quilt as you go, you can do this quilt as you go. All right, so I've now got two identical uh, units. Now, next top tip I'm gonna give you is this. Once you've made those units, measure them. At this stage? At this stage, mm -hmm. measure them. Make sure they are the correct size for your pattern because there's no point going into factory mode now and churning out 56 of these if they're all an eighth of an inch too small. Of course, yeah. You know, because otherwise you're just saving up a problem for later mm -hmm. on. All right, now our next unit that we're going to make, still for the chain block, looks the same but different. Okay, so this one has got that same dark peach yeah. and that same light peach, but it's also got two of the cream. Right. So you're actually going to create two strip piece units to create this block. You're going to have one which is peach in spot, and then you're going to have one which is dark peach in spot. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Same principle, sew them press them and then you're going to do that clean up cut and again cut them into units same size as before so we'll flip this around and always always when you've done a clean up cut turn your board not your fabric why is that because you've just created a perfect straight line and the minute you lift your fabric up Mm. You've lost your straight line, and yeah. that's e and you'll never get it as straight no, no, as no. you cut it. This is the way all, we all automatically do it, but it's like you know, kind of good to every good day to know we have why. new people watching. Yeah, exactly. That's right. That's right. And even more so when you've cut, say, on the bias. Yeah, of course. Uh, now I do need to warn you that more than half the stock has been checked out. And how many in baskets? Oh, and so uh, and how many are there in total? No, no, no. How many have I got? Okay, there's 10 left. There's 10 left. That's all. Once okay. all checked out, there's 10 left. Fab. Well done, everyone who's getting yeah, one. Yeah, brilliant. You're beautiful. Um, there's a lot of love in the air. There is. Okay. <laughs> then you're just going to pop those two units together. Again, with the peach in diagonal and mm -hmm. the cream in diagonal. Right sides together. We'll bob in a pin. And you'll see there, because we've always pressed towards the coloured fabric, our seams are in opposition. Mm -hmm. They'll nest together beautifully. I must admit, John, a lot of the time now, I don't put pressing instructions into quilts because actually, so long as it's working for you, it doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. You know, most of the time, it doesn't really, so long as it's working for you. Obviously, if it's not working for you, you're getting show through and you don't like it. You're getting bumpy seams and that's a hindrance you know at the end of the day as a very dear friend of mine now now passed once said to me you know in the old days we just used to press all the seams open and there wasn't really much wrong with that no and, and you got to a good <coughs> you know so if in doubt press your seams oh yeah open. now is it susie duncan that presses most of her seams open still mm -hmm. mind you she's from the olden days isn't she? <laughs> so. so that's that chain block done and what we've got now is four units right. let me show you so we've got two that are just two fabrics and two that are three fabrics and then we're going to arrange them to create our block so we want dark peach in the corners mm -hmm. and then we want dark peach in the centers all right, uh -huh. so that's our chain block. And what I love about this block is it's got this strong diagonal. Yes. So rather than in a lot of chain blocks, you're going to have almost like a cross. Yeah. This one's got one strong diagonal. And you can see in the finished quilt that all those diagonals then go in one direction. Oh, yes. Just yes, keep yes. that in mind when you're putting it together. All right, when you come to actually piece this quilt together, uh -huh. I'm not going to use pins this time. Oh. I know, I know. Can I do as I say, not as I exactly. do. Exactly. Uh, can I just say the aircon just switched itself back on? Yeah, so if you wouldn't mind just giving it a quick, quick message from Christine on our bottom. 
Uh, morning, gorgeous John and Stuart. Oh, gorgeous Stuart as well, obviously. <laughs> Lovely seeing you two together. Still Thank not you. feeling 100% with the chest infection, but you're brightly my day. Oh, Christine, get better soon, my love. Oh, yeah, get well soon. That's a bit rotten, isn't it? Yeah. And then a couple of messages from Lindsay. You could hear that from home, couldn't you? Because she was in the room. Hi, John and crew. I'm very new to sewing. I tune in every day, and the amount of information you all... Give is much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you for watching, Lindsay. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you for joining us. Yeah, it would be completely pointless without you. Yes, we'd just be standing here shouting, <laughs> wouldn't we? <laughs> now, what I've done, John, I chain piece these two units together. And um, I'd set them out in order. Mm -hmm. And then I just flipped them like this. So I'd set them out as they were supposed to be on the on the block. And then I flipped right to left, right to left, put them through my sewing machine. And there's actually a little bit of thread joining the two. That's going to really help me now because it's going to hold everything together mm -hmm. in the centre where I really need it held together. I don't need a pin there. I can but just you sew. Knew, you, would you suggest pinning them together if you knew to it? Uh, oh. Yeah, you can use. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I would get into the habit. I would encourage everyone to use pins. Yes, I'm always slightly school teacherish when people don't say they don't use pins because I, I'm didn't wasn't a fan when I started. Uh -huh. Thought what's the point of that? Why do I need that? Yeah, yeah. and then you think, oh, actually, it's easier. Yeah. In the end. But then, but then, so you're, what you're doing now is you're just doing it for telly to rush. If you were sitting doing this at home with the Deputy Joan, right. you'd both, you'd be pinning and you'd We'd be checking be that she was pinning. Pinning everything. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. There we go. <laughs> so there we go. I'm just going to hide that bit. I haven't quite matched. Oh, I wasn't laughing at that at well. all. I was laughing at Cat trying to give us information through our I ears. I know, I know. There we go. All right, there's our the block. It just goes to show, actually, Joan pieced one, I pieced the other. On different machines? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, maybe. But yeah. anyway, when you do your piecing, make sure everything's all nicely matched up. And um, and then it is also a very, very good idea when you're done to measure. OK, so mm -hmm. this rule is eight and a half inches wide. So that's a result in my yeah. book. Do it the <laughs> other way. That. Absolutely. And actually what it's telling me is this unit here is just coming out a tiny bit short. It's good to know these things when you're just on that first block. Mm -hmm. And I definitely would spend the time on picking, just making those adjustments because when you come to make the finished quilt, you're going to make 14 of those. Mm -hmm. Let's have 14 that are all the same exactly. size and all the right exactly. size. But we, this is why we always say... If you're sewing a, a, any amount of blocks together for one project, always use the same machine. Even if you've got two in your house and you just set them both to quarter inch seam allowance, every machine is different. As we've yes. seen by Deputy Jones and the ones we've got here, had that Deputy Jones sewn those together on her machine or Stuart sewn them on her, they would have come out the right size. Same size. Only because the machine is a different machine. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so our next step is to make some half square triangles. Right. So now we're going to work on the, the heart within a star. Now, as you can see here, Joan's done a fabulous job uh -huh. preparing some half square triangles. And it's that method that many of us know and love. So we've got squares, right sides together, draw a line down the middle, and then sew a quarter inch either side. We had that ruler in the last hour, the ruler that you can do that, just a thin... Uh... That, yeah, they're great. I mean, otherwise, just grab your ruler two squares right sides together yeah it's always difficult to tell with these sort of white on white prints which is the right side but you know if it's so hard to tell if you use it the wrong way around maybe it doesn't matter mm. <laughs> all right so i'm just going to i'm using a friction pen for this one just mark your diagonal <clears throat> If you're brand new to quilting and you're struggling with a quarter of an inch seam allowance, there is nothing stopping you drawing 
No, yeah. no, 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 I'm a like, great advocate for that. Yeah. When you first start having a line to follow. Or if now, you know, you've been sewing 20 years, but you, you've you never been very happy with your, your seam allowance. 20. <laughs> right, right, you know, exactly. But, you know, draw your seam allowance mm. on. It, you know, as long as the blocks come out the right size and you're enjoying what you do. Exactly. It doesn't have to be no. the same method. Also, if the lines the are there, you've got something to follow. You're not stressing or anything. Or you just know you're following that. Just make sure you don't sew on the centre line, that's all. That's Good morning, it. John Stewart. Oh no, Katie tested positive this morning, but Aww. not but feeling not too bad. So we'll be spending lots of time and money with you over the next ten days. I added the and money bit. Oh, Katie, Katie, get better Katie. soon, Mum. Lots of my friends who've got it. Oh, hang on, here you go. Dear boys, could you make these blocks on a quilter's on a quilter's grid? The iron on stuff. Such a wonderful weekend start watching you two learning so much from Donald and Sue. Yeah. So I mean. You could do it using say, triangles on a roll, for yes. example, you know. I mean, I went through a phase for about two years where I paper pieced everything, including half square triangles Did you? and flying it. Yeah, simply because it was quite early on in my patchwork sort of journey and I just wasn't getting the accuracy that I wanted. Mm. And so it, it really disciplined me to sew accurately, to sew straight yeah. and things well, like that. Well, foundation paper piecing is precision Personified, isn't it? And it's easy precision. Yeah. So then I was really happy with the results I got. I loved the quilts I was making. It kind of trained me to be yeah. a bit more precise. Yeah. And then when I went back to normal piecing, I was happier. I love yeah. it when you do that one with the paper and you've got all, you take two big squares and you draw lines there, lines there, lines there, so, so, and then you cut it and then suddenly you've got like 10. Yes, perfect, perfect, you, perfect you, half square triangles. Yep, yeah. and you absolutely could do that with this method actually yeah. for this quilt if you, if that's your preferred method. Obviously, work out before you start how many you need. Mm -hmm. Now, what I would say about this is that you actually make your half square triangles slightly bigger than you need them to be. Right, and then you trim them down. Right, yeah. Now um, that's a great way of getting really accurate finished units. Mm -hmm. So once you've sewn quarter of an inch either side, you're going to slice down the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you end up with a kind of two for one special offer. <laughs> a bog off. Exactly, and then press your seam allowances towards the dark side. And I like to do that first of all by carefully not without stretching yeah seam allowance back i'll give it a little press and also when i first them. started doing all this i always found it odd that you were pressing to the dark side but the dark side was on the top yeah. you know like there and i would always for some reason we'd always press the other way around thinking oh it's, i've got to press it to the dark side so that one should be on the bottom but yeah. the one you're pressing it to is always on the top isn't it that's right that's right and then we'll see how much trimming this needs mm. now um if you don't like having to do this stage of trimming down and I'm going to put it out there <gasps> I don't like having to trim oh, okay I would rather sew something um, to the correct size at the start one lot of cutting but um, you know and you can see there when you come to trim it what you need to do is you need to line up a diagonal mm -hmm. any rotary cutting ruler will have a 45 degree line but it is easier if you've got a small square yeah that is easier all right and you're you saying can we've given you the wrong ruler it doesn't matter no this is fine this is what i'd use at home <laughs> so i've the, most importantly though you must make sure that the 45 degree line is running through that center mm -hmm. otherwise you won't have a lovely point or anything yeah. so then what you're going to do is carefully trim it's literally a shaving though it's isn't a it? tiny little bit it's mm -hmm. a tiny little bit um and then oh, and then i'm going to just going to turn the unit around but it just kind of goes to show once you've trimmed it off and when you see how it it's all lovely and square just what a difference it makes mm -hmm. so i think it's worth doing oh yeah 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 and particularly if you're not getting the accuracy when you sew at the very least a bit like that um stack and slash block I did earlier on you're trimming to sight so it is going to be perfect yeah. you know and there we go now we've got our trimmed half square triangle all trimmed down to the correct size for the project mm -hmm. so we'll do that with lots and lots of half square triangles and this is going to create if I just refer back to the quilt yeah this is going to create these parts 
this where in a normal block it would be flying geese but uh -huh. it's um two half square triangles sewn together so i'll just trim one more and then okay. i'll sew those together you and they you're gonna watch me while i do yeah <laughs> are they i was gonna say they're different fabrics aren't they not the yeah same exactly fabrics. right yeah i mean if they were the same fabrics you'd just go ahead and make flying geese yeah but i think it adds to the randomness that they're different fabrics because you've got solid fabrics and not solid but a square in the corner of all one fabric. That's it? right. I'm loving That's that right. magenta with the white spot on. I can see the nice 50s dress made out of that. Uh, they're real kind of lipstick colours, aren't definitely. they? Oh, and you that's the job. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day and I said, oh yeah, I work with Ewan McGregor on his first ever job and I couldn't remember what it was called. Lipstick on your collar. That's what it was called. Ah. Anyway, uh, how are we doing? £99? Right. 14 not checked out. 23 in baskets, so at the oh. moment, a lot of you are going to miss out if you don't check. If you want it, please check out. Okay, so I've got my second little unit oh, all trimmed on. down. My two favourite men, says Aww. Jane. Arthritis playing up there. Oh, Joan, it's oh, been dreadful. Yeah. You think it's the weather. I've had it in my little fingers. Every time I knock them on this counter in the kitchen. Thing. Anyway, playing up there. So no sewing, but love watching with my mug of tea. Yeah, hold on to it like that, because then they not walk... Uh, love you both. Love to you both from Jane and Ipswich. You take care of yourself, my lovely. Oh, thank you. So then when you come to sew these together to create those flying geese, mm -hmm. uh, scrappy flying geese, you're just going to right sides here. And you want to mix up your prints here and try and be, dare I say it, try and be as random as you can. Oh. If you struggle with that, <laughs> you know, just reach out and just grab one and just sew them together yeah. and trust the process. Yes, yeah. uh, uh, unless you get two together. You don't, like if you grab two like that and they're and both they're the heart ones, chuck one back in. But if it was, for example, these two fabrics here, yeah. very similar, you've got the little daisy print, half daisy, and then a full daisy print, they're very similar. But if you pick those two up, sew them together. Oh yes, yes, Don't yes. think, oh, yeah. they're too similar in yeah. colour. I tell you what I think it, it, it comes down to. When we're doing patchwork, we're, you, we're working on one unit at a time, one block at a time, and it's very, very easy and natural to mm -hmm. get focused on that one tiny bit and forget that it's part of a whole. Because actually, when you put it together in a whole quilt, yeah. those two bits that are exactly the same fabric that we worried about and tried to move and mm -mm. don't matter. No, doesn't they don't matter. don't matter. Right, okay, uh, so Julie, Julie says, sorry about this question. Never be sorry about any question, but I haven't read the rest of it yet. But Stuart drew the quarter inch lines in, so is the scant quarter inch side just inside the line? Well, now then, there's a can of worms. Uh, yes. Quarter of an inch, Julie. scant quarter of an inch. Should it be a proper quarter of an inch? It's a, it's a can of worms, because actually, at the end of the day, what you need to do is sew your units together and measure them. Because it depends on the thickness of your needle, mm. the thickness of your thread, thread, the thickness of the fabric, and how much is taken up when you press it. This is why we can't say, hello, my name is Stuart, and I always sew an accurate quarter of an inch. Every project I do, I have to get the fabrics and sew a few bits together and see how they behave. Yeah or if I'm on a different machine. And I honestly do that mm -hmm. because otherwise they will turn out differently. So on some units, I would totally endorse that you go a little skinny, a little inside. Yeah. If I'm doing something, say for example, you know, flippy corners. Yeah. Now sometimes you absolutely have to sew right on the line to get accurate. Sometimes with a thicker fabric, you need to sew just towards the corner that you're going to press to. Yeah. Because by the time you've pressed over it, it you know. It doesn't reach the corner, does but it? But every time it's different. Right. Okay. So I've sewn those two units together. And what we've ended up with is like a flying goose. It's important that we've got a quarter of an inch right here. Uh -huh. That's going to go into our seam allowance in the finished block. Right. So yeah. there's our next little unit. <coughs> Excuse me. Happy? Yeah. Great. <laughs> so our next is to create the heart right okay. and a big shout out to joan by the way who did a, a monumental job of piecing the top 
Mm. And then I took it to my studio and quilted it. Oh, did you put it on your long arm? Yeah, I did. Oh. Do you do everything on your long arm now? No, not everything. Oh, no. No, so like, for example, the bag, yeah. I quilted that on my sewing machine okay. with my walking foot. Mm -hmm. And I love it because I find machine quilting is a bit like doing meditation. It's mindful, especially straight lines in the ditch or, yeah. or a grid or something like that. It's very mindful oh. and I can, it's soothing and I can process the day or I'm thinking about my next project or my next meal. Yeah. One of the two. It's, <laughs> Whichever only... one comes first. Yeah, probably I've the next I've given meal. in and bought this beautiful quilt. I was so determined not to buy any more. You <laughs> terrible two tempters from Jan <laughs> in Cambridgeshire. <laughs> so rich. I'm desperate to see your sewing room. Is it upstairs? Is it downstairs? Oh, no, I don't have one at home. You don't no. have one? No, I don't have a sewing room at home. I, I have a studio. Uh-huh. Um, and, and it's away. It's about nine miles from home. Oh, OK. So I drive to work and yeah. drive home. Good. I know I, I, sometimes that works, doesn't it? Because otherwise you'd be sitting having your evening tea going, oh, I haven't finished that heart or I haven't done this. And you'd That's go to right. the back room and you'd start sewing and everything. Exactly. But exactly. all right then, your studio, how tidy is it? Are the colours in, are the fabrics in colour coordinated order? Well, so my studio, when I'm not working on something, is tidy. So when I finish a project, everything, all the bits get picked up, I vacuum, I tidy away, or more likely, Charlie comes in yeah. and Charlie tidies. He's Aww. really good at tidying and folding fabric. When I'm actually working, it is Armageddon. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> there is fabric everywhere. You know, what I've done with fabric is on the floor. Bits get tossed, you know. Um, and that's how I like to work because I'm focused in on the job. I need that around me. Mm -mm -mm. But when it's done, it all gets tidied oh, away. Oh, nice. Okay. I got terrible trouble just filming the sewing bee for tidying. Oh, really? At the end of one of the shows, I was tidying my desk up and the floor manager came over and he said, no, no, you mustn't tidy. We want it to look as messy as possible. I said, but this is what I do. I work, yeah. I work messily. I'm finished now. My garment's yeah. on the mannequin. I've got five minutes. I'm tidying up. He said, no. And he grabbed the bin and he threw all the bits of fabric oh, and thread all no. over my table. Well, I reached out, scooped them all back, put them back in the bin. And we had this toing and froing for a couple of minutes. Oh, and then wow. he just said, oh, I give up. And stomped, <laughs> stomped off. Now then, right. when we come to make the heart mm -hmm. in the centre of the star block, okay, first thing to be aware of is it's easy, easy piecing. It's squares and rectangles. Right. It's flippy corners, which we love. Right. Second thing is you're going to make two diff well symmetrical opposing mirror image units okay mm -hmm. a left and a right so don't get carried away right if it's easier do them in pairs yeah mm -hmm. if, if you're confident with chain piecing loads of lefts and loads the of right. rights not an issue okay right. whatever works for you but once you start trimming corners off you've committed yeah so you know so what you're going to start with then is a rectangle and this is going to be your heart fabric how cute is that oh, no, that's the yeah. oh, oh, oh yes that's lovely well, I, I saw the magenta with the white spots i haven't seen the white with the magenta absolutely lovely. adorable then you're going to cut a square okay that mm -hmm. fits right on and a diagonal line now this diagonal line is going to kind of cut off that corner it's going to flip back and create a mirror Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you if it helps you draw out the heart on a on a pad or a bit of paper, I do this all the time uh -huh. and have it next to me at the sewing machine. It's just a quick reference. Of which way? Than, yeah. Rather than searching through the pattern for what am I doing? I make little sketches. Yeah. OK. And then I'm going to pin that in place. And then this time we're going to sew on the line. Now, this is when a little experimentation sometimes is required. Yeah, like do Julie I sew... was asking about earlier. Yeah, do I sew right on the line? Do I sew slightly to one side? Okay, while you're stitching that, a couple of questions coming in. Uh, John, does Sewing Street sell long arm quilting machines? Veronica, we do have special days every now and then where Liz and Pete from um, Pinhole. Pinhole Quilters. Uh, come in and do, they always sell out on the day and they then go off. But, um, oh, 1st of March. Am I in that day? What day is it? 
It's me. Oh, it's not oh, not with me. It's not with me. But it's on Tuesday, the 1st of March. Um, they'll be in again. Liz does the demonstrating. Pete has to do all the humping. Does, humping, because it's huge. They're big to get in and out and everything. <laughs> at, you've got one, haven't you? I do. I have a, an Amara, Handy Quilter Amara, yeah. which is amazing. I've just upgraded it. Just got oh, a new wow. one and it's absolutely superb, yeah. So, yeah, we sell we sell one on the show, but do go and see Liz and Pete on their website because they're, so, they're in Worcestershire and they're yeah. so lovely and so yeah. helpful, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Hello, John Stewart. I've just purchased this lovely quilt. Nick on customer services was very helpful with my career. Is the binding included from Val? Oh, yes, Val. Absolutely, it is included. The binding is this gorgeous. Let me just grab it out of the box and I'll show you. The binding is a really lovely peach floral. It's this one right here. Oh, and, um, Charlie's a hedgehog. Charlie's so quick, isn't, isn't he? he? It's like a ninja. Charlie um, <laughs> ninja. We'll have a look at the piece of fabric as well. Then. Yes, please. Now I've got it out the box. Yeah. Yeah. So when you get your kit, actually, <laughs> what you need to do is put your binding to one side because this whole piece of fabric, the, this isn't all of it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This it's piece just of fabric, for binding. Is for, just for your binding. So put that to one side, label it binding. Don't but yeah, touch it. Yeah. No, that's right. But yeah, you get that for your binding. Mm. It's a really well put together kit. Right. Uh, the instructions are not available on their own. They're just in the kit, I'm afraid. Yeah. Right. Sorry, carry on. So once you've sewn on that line... Mm -hmm. This is where I'm going to go away from a lot of other instructions, Ooh. which is normally you'll be told, sew on that line, trim off the corner yeah. Yeah, to a quarter of an inch and then fold it back and press it. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to fold that corner back first and I want you to crease it back. Mm -hmm. This is a self-checking method because... If when you fold that triangle back, it fits the fabric underneath it perfectly, you've done a brilliant job, okay? Yeah. That's spot on. Now flip it back, trim that away to a quarter of an inch. Right. If it doesn't fit, if it hangs over, if it's too big, please do not trim it square. Yeah. Okay? Take the triangle off, redo it. Yeah. Okay, but if you've already cut that corner off, you've nothing to check against. You don't know whether it's right or yes, wrong. Yeah. It's just a tip. You'll get a much more accurate result if you do that. Now, we had a designer at Sewing Court who didn't cut them off and they just folded it back and then would have a double layer of fabric in that bottom corner. Okay, yep, yeah, I've heard of that being done. Um, if you hand quilt, then obviously you're now adding extra layers to try and hand yes, quilt yeah. through. And um, some fabrics that could end up creating a much more opaque look, like a light fabric. If you have done it yeah. sometimes and haven't done it other times, oh, it's okay. going to look different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. So, you know. So yeah. what we're going to do then, we need to create lovely little corners on the top of our heart. So we're going to have one going this way and then we're going to have one that goes this way. Right. But we can't put them on at the same time. We have to do them one at a time. Oh, okay. So we'll, again, yeah. sew and flip. They overlap. <coughs> they overlap. They do. Yeah. They do. Uh, Karen says, morning, John Stewart and all the team. So enjoying today's show. Missed the first hour after my first week back to work following long COVID. I needed a lie-in. I will watch it later. Oh, Karen, get down to that caravan in Pristatin. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, yes. She's got a lovely caravan in Pristatin. Oh, lovely. She sits there sucking her wine. Oh, 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 now that is the dream. Question from Poppy Lynn. Now, good morning. Love all the things the guests make, but what do they do with all their makes? What does Stuart do with all of his makes from Poppy Lynn? Well, that's a really good question, Poppy Lynn. I, um, some of them stay here. This one has to stay here. The one we're working on now has to stay here. <laughs> um, and then... <laughs> he said... Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, but also, uh, lots of them stay for my trunk shows. For you what? My trunk shows. So when I'm visiting groups, quilting groups, WI groups, that kind of thing call it a trunk show, oh, okay. you know, take a 40, trunk with you. 40 or 50 quilts in the trunk wow. and then show them. And that's really good fun. Um, and then also some, I lots of them I use, actually. Uh -huh. They are in my home and I use them and I love them and rotate them. So my gift, a few I sell. Mm. Yeah. 
So I've added the corners now to that side of the heart block, little flippy corners. And I've just got one more now to add on this side. Okay. So you can see you stitch it, flip it, check it. Press it. Trim it. Yeah. Flip it back. Yeah. And then you add the next one. Okay. There's only nine left, but more than nine in baskets, just to warn you. And we've only got nine minutes left on the hour as well. This is a time when, if you've got coming up against it now myself if you've got the straight stitch plate yes on your 680 plus or mm -hmm. your 680 this is a good time to employ that six that um straight stitch uh -huh. plate i know some people who all they do is patchwork yeah and they leave their straight plate on because they never yeah. use the zigzag or anything like that. and obviously with the 680 plus if you leave on and then you go to a zigzag it won't let you do it. It tells you wrong plate, wrong plate. You can't do a zigzag on that. And a, a straight needle plate, the way the needle goes through, it's just got the tiniest hole for the needle to go through, whereas obviously a normal sewing plate has got the wide gap because you can do the zigzag and all your dexterous stitches on that one. Yeah. We've all experienced the hungry sewing machine, yeah. haven't we? It gobbles up the fabric. I know, but it's much, much less of a problem. Uh, now, one little tip, when you're trimming your small triangles, you may actually find it much quicker and easier, same with dog ears, to do it with scissors okay. rather than a rotary cutter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I've got the two halves of my heart all pieced. Yeah. And I'm just going to give that other one a little press. Okay. And then my last job is to join those two sections together. Uh -huh. This is a motif I'm going to make again and again and again. Yeah. It's such a pretty one, isn't it? Mm. It's really cute. And, of course, it would work really well, as in this quilt, as the centre. Oh, I changed my machine. It's not doing a quarter inch. Whoops. I was flipping between the two. That's just one point, actually. When you're doing that uh, flippy corner, you need a centre needle position. Yeah. And when you're doing your patchwork, the needle will have been moved to, to the right. The We've yeah. got a picture from Joan. Oh, lovely. Joan, your deputy your Joan. Oh. So now that's the fabric look. from the first yes. hour. Just doing the heart block and sashing. Yes. So she made that this morning while we've been yes, on Yes, yes. Oh, yes, Joan's prolific. Well, Joan I did ask me the question. I'm sorry, Joan, I didn't reply to your email about to sash or not to sash. To sash, definitely. <laughs> Just as well, you've said that She's now, done it. isn't it? Yeah, well, a personal choice, of course, yeah. but I agree that the sashing looks... Let's have a look at it again, so I can. Yes. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Gorgeous, isn't uh, it? But having said that, if you didn't, you'd make a secondary pattern, wouldn't you? Because you'd have, you'd you'd have done have an on-point square. square. Oh, no, it's, four, it's a four-square triangle, isn't it? Quarter square triangle, and then have two like oblongs made of different, I say yeah. oblongs, rectangles made of different. Fra oh, and look what she's also done there. She's got a purple next to a purple and a, like a marble oh, yeah. next to a marble. That yeah, looks yeah. nice, doesn't it, as yeah. well? Yeah. So yeah. she's done proper random, hasn't Beautiful. she? Beautiful, yeah. And, um, you know, that, yes, of course, is using the Dan Morris mm. ambience fabrics yeah. that we had from this morning. And um, I think, you know, you said about you thought it was spelt wrong. I think there's an American spelling yes, and yes, an English yeah. spelling because mm. it's ambient, isn't it? Yeah, in yeah. British. Um, yeah. And, and Joan came round to my studio the other day when I was just working on a few things and I was working on that quilt and uh, I said to Joan, oh, take these, take these scraps, you know, have a, have a play. Yeah. And um, that's what she's come Very up with. Very nice. Fabulous. Very nice. So right. there's our block now, our centre unit mm -hmm. for the heart block. And now it's simply a case of arranging your star points... Uh -huh. around your centre. So you'll have four of these units that will go around. Mm -hmm. And then in the corners, you will have your little squares of the coloured yes, fabrics. Yeah. And so into rows, so the rows together, and those are your blocks. Perfect. One last tip, and it's yeah. really just reiterating what I've been saying throughout. When you're piecing together two different blocks, either block to block or block, with sashing. Mm -hmm. This is when the accuracy of your seam allowance, your cutting really shows. Yeah. Because if it was all chain blocks, going to chain blocks, then you can get away with much more than when you're trying to piece squares and half square triangles and plain mm. pieces of fabric yeah. together. So you'll be glad you were accurate 
When you come to add your sashings to your blocks, my top tip is always to put the sashing on the underside right. and the block on top for a couple of reasons. One of them is that the majority of your seams are going to be on the top, so you can see that they're sitting flat, yeah. that they're not twisting. Because it's underneath, the, the, the needle plate sometimes pulls them through yeah. and they go the wrong way. And yeah. things, don't sometimes yeah. it's quite reassuring, you just got a plain piece of fabric on the top and everything looks good. Yeah, yeah. Then you turn it over, horror of horrors. Yeah. So if you keep your patchwork on top and you're playing underneath, but also um, a thin strip of fabric is more likely to stretch as you're working with it than a patched piece mm -hmm. or a larger piece of yeah. fabric. So having it on the bottom just means that it will it will control that stretch. The yeah. feed dogs will control the fabric much better. Um, and that's it. That's Hi. it. Lovely. Easy peasy. When are you in next? I oh, no, you've got 11 in. days off. I know. I'm Love. in. I think it's the 25th. Yes, it's the... Tw Cat check in. 25th, Is it 25th, yeah. 26th, 27th? 25th, 26th. You've got 27th That's off. right. And then the 27th and the 28th, I'm at Stitches at the trade Oh, fair. yes, 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 of course. Yeah. And then I'm back. Can I say why? Yeah. <gasps> because... Oh! Can I? Can I? Okay. Um, on the 1st of March, I am launching, this is exclusive, I am launching my first ever range of yarn. Wow! Uh, yeah, I'm so thrilled. And it's a range of self-patterning and self-striping sock yarns, but can also be used for things like hats, gloves, mitts, shawls. And um, there are six different colorways. It's called Colors of the World. And I know you're going to love it. It's all about color and it's so exciting. That's 10 o'clock on March. the 1st. Yes. But that's not your next day in. You're in on the 27th, did you say? I am, yeah. 25th, I'll yeah. be back on the 25th. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much, Stuart. Right, very quickly then, let's just recap. Are there any of these left? Four not checked out, but how many in baskets? 27 <laughs> in baskets. No. Please, please, please be careful. I know why people have bought multiples, to make an even bigger quilt than that's there. I mean, the finished quilt is 50 by 60 inches, but if you want a bigger one, then why not buy two? Especially, it's meant to be 129.99. Cat took 30 pounds off. No, yeah, 30 pounds off, 30 pounds off. So uh, please be careful. There's only four not checked out and I don't think we'll be getting it back in again. Message from Bernadette Frog on to Backing Fabrics. Morning both, love the demo, Stuart. Excellent tips as always, love, much love from Bernadette. Thank you, In Bernadette. Lancashire. Bernadette made the shirt that I'm wearing. Oh, did she? Yeah, Bernadette from Little Miss Dress Company. Um, she's an amazing dressmaker, really cool. I really want to get her on, on. air, on oh. Sewing Street. She's brilliant. Um, and yeah, Bernadette made this shirt for me. It's Mark Francis's yeah, yeah, Brighton shirt yeah, yeah, yeah. using my latest fabric, yeah. Indigo Elements. And also, as you can see, when Mark wears it, he wears it with a plunging neckline. He often says, or oh, if you're a bit more demure, you can move the button up. Well, that's what Bernadette's done to yours, because Stuart's it's, it's more demure, <laughs> not showing off his decolletage. Why did our producer just say, Stuart, demure? Yeah. <laughs> What's that all about? <laughs> right. Anyway, packing bundles. I have got three backing bundles for you to see. I have got, let's do this one first. Is this shadows, this one? Or is it, oh, melange this is. Melange this is. Now, what you're getting is you are getting three and a half metres. You're getting two pounds off. It's 44 inches wide. Machine washable quilting weight. Imper oh, imperial purple. There's only three left of those bundles. You do get, it, it comes cut three and a half metres. If you buy two, it won't come as a seven metre piece. It comes as two, three and a half metre pieces. But you are saving you two pounds. So that's gorgeous, that one. If you want a lovely soft pink, there's five of these left, 25 pounds and threepence. Saving one pound 50 on that one. They're funny, aren't they? How they just take these old one pounds off in it. 25 pounds and threepence. Are you back on that veg stall? Yes, sorry. <laughs> Get your King Edwards. Get your King Edwards. Two pound a pound. <laughs> yeah, they, weren't, they were only about pennies in those days. It wasn't two <laughs> pounds. A, a, a person could buy a whole bag of groceries, vegetables, for one pound 25 in those Absolutely. days. Absolutely. Right, and then I've got the... So, oh, this is by the half metre, but this is extra wide backing. This is Tula Pink extra wide backing. Look. Look, 
You only need to buy four units this cat saying because it's extra wide. So two meters. Thirteen ninety nine. That's off the charts, isn't it? That isn't one. it lovely? It's called guava. Now we've also got ice bag. Now at this, I wouldn't put this on if you're going to put it on your bed or anything like that. But if you're going to put it on the wall, um, but it seems a shame to use it because this is lovely for doing your red work or your embroidery, or your cross stitch, things like that. Eighteen pounds and threepence. A lot of threepences today, aren't there? Uh, you get three and a half meters. It's lovely, beautiful Osner, uh, naturally seeded cotton Osnaberg, Yeah. So if you're doing a wall hanging or something, that's perfect. But I just think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous make twirls out of it and things like that. Uh, okay. And then very quickly, I've got two um, weddings. I've got the cotton batting queen size, ninety by one hundred and eight. You'll have lots of this one left over. That one's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. This is one that most of our designers use. And then we've also got a polyester one. It's got a big sticker on it saying Saturday 12th of February, 11 o'clock for some reason. <laughs> That's now, well, it's not, it's 12 o'clock now. 21.99. Right, don't go anywhere. I've got um, Moda fabric after it. Now, I had, I had a Moda traditional last week. Today, I've got... Moda Modern, she's called it. Thank you, Stuart. It's been lovely Pleasure, to see my you. Love. And uh, we'll see you on the 20, whatever it is. Yeah. I'll be watching. Uh, I'll see you in four minutes from now. It's my birthday. And I would love for you to join me to celebrate on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Sunday, the 13th of February. We've got lots of new projects, including these cute bird doorstops from Amber Makes, dressmaking with Adele Rowland, and the wonderful Jane Crowfoot, who will be joining us specially for an hour of Yarn Lane. I'm sure I'll have some special treats for you too. You'll have to tune in on Sunday from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. to find out. Watch me on Freeview 73, Sky 670, YouTube, and Facebook Live. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, 
little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye-bye. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Now, I must just quickly show you this, right? So I've just, we're just getting this hour ready. And I just looked over, we've got, um, um, don't look at it, but we've got uh, like a wardrobe department over here where all the, well, it's like where all the costume, not costume, clothing makes are. And I just went, when did Stuart take his shirt off? Look, I, we could have worn matching outfits because it's Mark's Brighton shirt using Stuart's fabric. Oh, yes, look, I, I don't know if I could wear that. Look how low that is. That'd be my belly button down there. Anyway, maybe next time Stuart's in, he wears that shirt. I'll wear that one if we're on together. Anyway, 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 that quilt has now sold out, is it? Yeah, the quilt from the last hour has now sold out. Um, a couple of you have got it in your baskets, might be able to check out, but there's so many people want it. However, if you love that fabric and you want to recreate something of your own, I have a mega bundle of that fabric. Now, uh, you're getting a metre for free. You're getting £14.98 off this bundle. How beautiful is that? Now, I've just noticed there's no polka dots in this one. So the polka dots are not available in this. It's you've got your four florals. You've got your five hearts. You've got your one, two, three, three kisses. You've got your two ditzy spots and then you've got your four beautiful ditzy florals. So in there, you have got 19 fabrics, right? Nine and a half metres. You are getting one metre for free. So you're getting two of these for free, two half metres for free. Beautiful, isn't it? The colours are exquisite. The patterns are just so delicate and romantic. Beautiful, aren't they? Stunning. Aren't the colours? Just look at the... And you wouldn't necessarily think, if you had a paint box, you wouldn't necessarily think that those colours would all go together, have you? would you? But look. Gorgeous. Look at the kisses. Or oh, they could be cross stitches. They don't have to be kisses, look. Then you've got the hearts. Romance. Well, it's not just about romance. It's all about love, isn't it? How much you love somebody, really. Right. So that mega bundle there, £127, 33 pence. 10 left. That's all I've got of those. 10 left. Moda, sincerely yours, mega fabric bundle. 19 half metres you get. That's nine and a half metres in total. But you are getting two of those, a metre, completely and utterly for free. So actually, it's all oh, sorry, Kat, but if you bought the quilt kit and you wanted to make it bigger, or do a scrappy backing, or do other borders and things like that, then this, you know, is going to match perfectly. Now, I've also got uh, this fabric in a design. Oh, it's a jelly roll, because it's Modra. It's a jelly roll. Hang on, let me just put this here. This is obviously the new way of folding um, half metres now, isn't it? No, it's nice, isn't it? 
gorgeous. Look at all that. I love that that one. I'd have a shirt made out of that one. Look. Have we got it by the half meter? Ooh. Are we doing the by the half meter or are we just uh, directing everyone to the website? I might come back in a minute. If you go to pre order, all of those fabrics, you're thinking, oh, I, I, like me, like me, if you were going to have a shirt made out of, say, that one, you can go to pre order, today's pre order, watch the show live, click on, go down the right hand side, pre order. All of those fabrics are in there by the half meter. If we get time, we'll go through them, but if we don't get time, then we won't. <sighs> just jelly roll. Jelly roll. All those fabrics in a jelly roll, $47.99. <coughs> There's what, sorry? Nine left. I'm not going to open it because it's made of all of those fabrics. So you get strips of all of those fabrics, two and a half inches wide. By the width of fabric, 44 inches, £47.99. Beautiful, isn't it? Look. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, excuse me, I've got a bit sniffly there. Yeah, I've got a bit sniffly. Beautiful. 47. Nine, ten. There's only nine of those left. So ten of the bundle there were left. I don't know if there are now. And nine of these left now. Limited. And it's a brand new collection. Brand new collection. Oh, sorry. I think it's the dust from the um, pre-cuts. That's what it always gets to me, isn't it? 47.99 for that one. Okay. Oh, we're going to do those by the half meter very quickly. Okay, then. So let's start with the ditzy print then. Ending 37 on cream. Now, remember, these are by, they're such good quality fabrics, these. They're by the half meter now. So if you want to make a dress or make another project out of them, buy some for a border or a bundle, something like that, and three and a half metres for the backing of your quilt. If you want to back your quilt in that, seven units, isn't it? Beautiful. 100% cotton. Sincerely yours. Kiss, hug, kiss, hug. Flower, flower. Only two colours in there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Seven pounds and 49 pence. Next one has got the coral background, which ends 83. Oh, of course, now the folding's gone to pot, isn't it? There you go. There's the one, 83. Remember, it comes 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Let me fold that first one up properly. I can't, the, the, the quality of the cotton is just beautiful. Little sun hat, little dungarees, little ch child's dress would be gorgeous in that, wouldn't it? Really lovely pink, that one. It's funny because they've obviously had it folded like we used to have it look, and then someone else has taken it and folded it in half. No, this is lovely. This one, like a magenta. 42. Petunia. Petunia. 7.49 for half a metre. 100% cotton, quilting weight, dressmaking weight, shirt making weight. That's pretty as well, isn't it? If you want half a metre of all of these, get the Mega Bundle and you'll get a whole metre for free. You get a whole metre for free. Beautiful. No, there's two more yet. There's the saffrony coloured now. 178, yeah. That one's in coral. I wonder what was. Which one? Oh, chamomile. Chamomile on co Oh, no, that's the flower. It's called chamomile. What was the one before last called then? That one was... Oh, it doesn't matter. I thought that one would have been co called coral. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, flamingo. I missed that. Flamingo. This one isn't. This is coral. Okay. Then we've got it on the red. This is the last one of this pattern. Bright red. Flame almost. 15 it finishes. Geranium, that's a brilliant name. I wonder who's named these. Yeah, multiple. Wasn't us, no. That's lovely, geranium. I love a geranium, I just don't like the smell. Yes, they do have a smell. Oh, honestly. Yeah. 
Beautiful, £7.49 for half a metre. Remember, you're buying off the bolt now. You're buying off the bolt. Right, now we're going to the sprig, Daisy. Oh! Look, remember Daisy, uh, it comes from the word day's eye because daisies open when the sun comes up, point towards the sun, and then close when the sun goes down. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, 119. That's right. 119. Uh, Petunia again. Um, okay. Yeah. 749, half a meter. It's beautiful, isn't it? Love that overall print. Look, 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 look. It's kind of carefree and summer 1976, I'm thinking. Don't be sarcastic. Blimey, it's not taking him long to settle in, has it? No, we can't even get here, so it doesn't matter. Right, my favourite, my favourite, my favourite. Not the favourites. favourite. 28. Iris. Isn't it lovely? Love, love, love that one. I'm obviously going through a daisy phase at the moment, aren't I? Look. No, it's because my PE teachers used to call me Daisy when I was used to come last. Or when I was the last one picked for the team. Or when they just had me as the mascot rather than taking part in sports day. Yeah, I loved it. No, I loved it. <laughs> I was, didn't want to run, did I? Yeah, but when I was on, um, when I was on, uh, what's that thing, you cross-country running around the meadows in Chester, go, come on, Daisy, come on, Daisy. And they'd be done for that now, wouldn't they? Uh, uh, no, 29, this one finishes. Coral, I think this one must be. Daisies mean innocence. Oh, flamingo, this is, sorry, flamingo. I've not got this on Coral. Playfulness. And simplicity. Well, I'm very simple. That's fine. Flamingo. That one's proper. When you first, I say this every time, when you go into um, San Diego Zoo, the, there's a big lake with all of the uh, flamingos on. They're all that kind of colour. Not grey or anything. Really lovely. Beautiful. Moving on. Right now, I've oh, still got another daisy here on the cream with a kind of orange flower and ending one six seven this is pretty look ivory ah, i took me a while to find the color then ivory this one's called beautiful we're moving off daisies now that's lovely isn't it right now i've got the little um kind of triangle of dots now i've got pink ones on ivory or green this one ends at 101. Come on in then. Isn't it lovely? It's so simple. Ge dots geometric. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Spring dots geometric. Is that the whole name? No. Sincerely yours. Yes. Yeah. Spring dots geometric on ivory. So what ivory is the background colour? <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> He's just com confirming it's an ivory colour. <laughs> Question, John, when is the comedy of you and Wendy next on? Vivienne, I don't know. They seem to have kept us apart, don't they? I don't think she likes working with me anyway. She'll message in there. Oh, no, she, she never comes on here anymore, does she? Or maybe she does with the, the other presenters. She doesn't with me then. Same fabric now on... Oh, this is the only other colourway I've got she's in. Flamingo, uh, is it flamingo or coral? This one we'll soon see. Oh, it's the only other dot one, yeah. Flamingo. Oh, they're geometric dots as well, you see. Third of March, we're on together. Vivienne, third of March. <gasps> Beautiful. I don't know why you've agreed to do that. Oh, so you've no choice. Right, now I'm doing the uh, is it cross stitch or kisses, this one. Crisscross ending 18. Uh, 
I'm glad they're on the mornings. Petunia, this one. Crisscross on Petunia. Do you remember that advert? Oh, look, Petunia. They're in a dinghy. They're waving, Petunia. No, they don't remember. It's when we used to have, um, what they called, like health and safety adverts on the telly. Seven pounds and 49 pence. You're a lot older than Charlie. You might not remember the same things. Then we've got crisscross on ivory. Forty-three. Cat, when they when Maisie and um, Rue are twenty-one, I'll be eighty-three. I'll be clubbing with them. Yeah, I'll be out clubbing with them. Crisscross, geometric on ivory. I'll borrow um, Charlie's dancing trousers and his big, big fat trainers. In my day, you weren't allowed to wear trainers to go clubbing. Oh, can't you anymore? Well, you're going to the wrong place, Charlie. You don't go to raves and things, do you? Anyway, moving on. Right, that's it. That's it for crisscross. Then we've got the love hearts. Now, these are popular already on pre-order. Oh, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We jumped one. There was a crisscross made it into the wrong pile. I've got crisscross on bright red now. Sorry. Geranium. I remember the adverts and Charlie the Cat ones. I know. You're the same age as me then, Claire. You don't look it. Seven forty-nine. Beautiful. Now I'm going to the hearts, which have been very, very popular on pre-order. Yeah, this is the one with multicoloured hearts on the ivory. But when I say multicoloured, you've got purple or magenta, pink and well, magenta, rose and red. Yeah, the palette of the colours. Candy hearts, these are. Candy statin. Young hearts run free, never be hung up. Hung up like my man. Um, oh, I've insulted Claire now. Not quite your age, John. Amanda remembers the adverts and they used to say, learn to swim, young man, learn to swim. Yeah, and you had the Green Cross Code, didn't you? And um, what were the other ones? Anyway, years ago now, when the world was black and white, as these youngsters seem to think. Right, this is lovely, this one. Multicoloured on uh, Iris. I remember the adverts. <laughs> Hang on. Carol says, I remember the adverts. Number look younger than you, 43. That's obviously, you've obviously done, um, what's it called when it chooses the words for you? Yeah. I remember the adverts and she said, I don't know what she said to say, but she was 43 yesterday. Happy birthday for yesterday, my love. Right, now we've got white hearts on. Oh, no, the last one's not white hearts. This is the only one with white hearts on. This is ending 30. Not forgetting the Tufty Club. Oh, I'm not that old. Tufts the squirrel going way back now, says Sue. You are, you're before me, you are. Yeah, well... Flamingo, candy hearts on flamingo. Ooh. Oh, are you? Hang on, let's have a look at this one then. Oh, okay, hang on. Uh, I've got white hearts on this one. This is 36. Coral. I used to tell you about my auntie Coral. She lived on the river in Chester. And her house went down to the river, as in when the high tide came in, you could sit in a dining room and put, up, put your hands in the water. So you'd lean out the window, like this. Hang on. Lean out the window, and the water would come up her house and be outside the dining room window, like that. She didn't have a garden. She didn't have the garden. The, 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 literally, there was the bridge. What was the bridge called? What's the bridge called in Chester? When you come over into Hanbridge, for, it might be in Hanbridge. 
come over from the, over the D from town into Hambridge, right? School was on the left hand side. She lived on the right hand side, and, and then there was a pub called the uh, something to do with water. Anyway, it's not there anymore. It's all been knocked down now. We used to work with somebody who lived in the flats on the other side of the river called Salmon Leap, where you'd watch the salmon jumping up the weir. Right, and then this one has got not white um, hearts on it. Look, they're kind of um, beige or they latte on geranium. I remember the green cross... The Green Cross man came to our school and lifted me up in the air with one hand. Well, that wouldn't be allowed now, would it? Because he, he had green tights on and everything, didn't he? Green Cross man. Oh, that's, that's the Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> <laughs> what did the Green Cross code man say? He had a deep voice, didn't he? He had a really deep voice, right? I'm just going to remind you about the bundle, because if you love all of those... The mega bundle here, you get half a metre of each, seven left, and you get one metre for free. You get a whole metre of that for free. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? You can make so many gorgeous things with that, couldn't you? Bargello. I'm thinking Bargello. Or oh, Log Cabin. Log Cabin. Yeah, beautiful. Gorgeous. If you made a curvy log cabin, you could do the, use the tools from earlier. Right, okay, let's move that out of the way there. Other mode of fabrics now. At the very beginning, nautical. Nocturnal. I'll get nautical, that'll be red, white and blue. I haven't got any red, white and blue. Got them open on the trolley. Mode nocturnal. That's the design roll. Mode nocturnal. Ten inch chart. Which one do you want to do first? Ten, I'm not going to open this one. Did he? Stuart made a gorgeous quilt out of this last week. Maybe it's got the penguins on. No, they're not penguins. Anyway, look. We'll have to ask him what he did with that one, actually, because that's not here, is it? So, these are what you get. Yours be much tidier than this. Have you got a picture of it, then? Got the sunsets. Oh, look. Then you've got the line drawings, which we love. Then you've got that Scandi print in the kind of mustard. Wasn't the Green Cross Code Man also Darth Vader in Star Wars, but not the voice? Oh, I don't know. The owls, they are not penguins. Then you've got your Scandi. Then you've got your sunrise, sunrise, sunset. Then you, why did I think of Barbara Streisand when I sang that? I don't know. They love that, the owls on the teal. Beautiful, aren't they? Look, such lo oh, lovely colours. I can't remember the quilt that he made out of this now. Oh, look at the owl. The owl's doing a bit of a dance. Then you've got your, um, what's that called? It's called what? Is that the name of the fabric? It is. Constellation. I love these. They've got a very William Morris come Anna Maria Horner feel to them, haven't they? Then you've got your crisscross on mustard. Beautiful. There they are. On the whites, and then you've got the lovely soft corals. Scandi print there. I love this. It's foxes, look. It's foxes looking at each other. For they fight. Constellation. Take all of those. You get 42 pieces, 10 inch squares. And then that's what it'll look like. I'll put that back in the bag. That's what it'll look like. When it arrives with you. We had a slide about gingerbread, didn't we? Gingerbread. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yep, Green Cross Code Man was Bristol-born person who played Darth Vader. There you go. Do you remember Mary Mungo and Midge? I do. That was the newsreader used to read them, didn't it? Wasn't the little newsreader used to be the, the voiceover for those? Picture of the quilt. Where's the cat? That's the quilt that Stuart made. That's Cat's old front door that she needs to replace. Oh, that's the side door. Oh, that's a stable door. So what room are we in there, then? The lounge. Well, I've never been invited. I just want to turn up, do I? Apparently it's a bit noisy there. 
Beautiful though, isn't it, that quilt? So Stuart made that quilt out of these fabric and he must have used some uh, plain white as well in there, mustn't he? Dave Prowess was Green Cross Code Man and Darth Vader, the voice of whom was... Oh, he was done. He was both of them. But the James Earl Jones was the voice. Oh, you'd be really annoyed, wouldn't you? If you got... I've got the job of Darth Vader. You've got the job of Darth Vader. And then you go to watch the film and someone else's voice on there. Yeah. 10 inch charm pack, 47.99. Moving on. Got the design roll for you now. This, that, that's how yours will arrive. And this, these are your fabrics. Again, one like you've just seen, but two and a half inch strips. Beautiful. Now, uh, you can't make the quilt out of the design roll, the jelly roll, but you can see Doris the cat sitting on the quilt. Oh, look at her tongue. No. She was skinny. When Cat first got her, she was so skinny. I should weigh mine. My two feel a bit heavier now as well. Anyway, off the cat now. Back to the fabric. Again, it's the same fabrics you just saw, but in your two and a half inch strip. Dave says, Green Cross Code Man was Dave Prowse. He didn't have a deep voice, though. That's why James Earl Jones did the voice for Va Darth Vader in Star Wars. Dave's accent sounded very strange on the making of Not Menacing at All. Oh, Dave, were you, were you in the film industry, Dave? Fiona says another safety info was wear something bright at night. So you and Stuart are always safe at night. Oh, yes, I remember that. I, I recognise that name as well. Dave Broadbent is a famous Hollywood actor. Isn't that, um, what's his name? Who played, not Starsky and Hutch, they were ladies, weren't they? What's the one that's just been to the moon? Uh, um, who am I thinking of then? Starship Enterprise. Willem Shatner, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> Completely wrong. But he's just been to the... Beautiful. I'm going to move on though, because look at the time. Hope blooms where my... That's a song, isn't it? Hope blooms where my rosemary grows Because nobody knows like me Oh, I haven't got this one open. I haven't got this one open. But I've got this in the three. Five inch, ten inch and design roll. This one is designed by the Kansas Troubles Quilters. Oh, they have troubles in Kansas, do they? Here we go, I love this. Here you go. 47, 19, you get 42 pieces. They're 10 inch squares. 100% cotton. Do I mean, do I remember Crystal Tips and Alistair? Yeah, now that's, I'm a bit old. I'm a bit old for them. My friends would call me Crystal Tips at school. Oh, I say. And then she got called Kate Bush at secondary school. I can remember Kate Bush. April 1978. When she um, was number one with Wuthering Heights. Hi, John. I know I promise not to message you again. Oh, you take your message as often as you like, Julie. Here goes. Next time you're in the garden centre, ask to smell the mint chocolate geraniums. Oh, that sounds a bit posh for my garden centre. I was in the garden centre yesterday. I was, yeah, getting some compost. Because Anne bought me a Captain Tom Rose. Um, and it's going in a pot. And Danny's supposed to be there on Monday. But Danny McGarden's supposed to come on Monday. So I've got the compost, got the pot and everything like that. And now he's not coming on Monday. I could do it. I could do it myself. I could do it. What, what? Beautiful. Aren't they lovely? They're really lovely. Now, did Stuart make something out of this then last week? Oh, stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, look at that. You see, that's mulberry, that's like a mulberry cut, and then that's bottle green, that one. Christine left school in 1978, oh yeah, you're younger than me then, you see. Oh no, I left school in 78, what am I talking about? I left school in 1978 as well. You always leave school in June. And you've got lovely teal. 
Well, is it teal or is it more dark French navy? Very traditional. These are probably saying mode or modern, but actually they 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 have um, they're kind of more traditional, aren't they? Then we've got the five inch now. Please, be, I don't remember the five inch. These are very very popular. Five. While you look at that, oh, be careful of that. Be careful of this one. Quite limited for a five inch charm pack. That one. I'll just put this one away. What colour would you put with it? I put orange with it. Dark, like a burnt orange I put with it. Or a... What's that, Charlie? Oh, Jim Broadbent. Yes, that's who we're thinking. Of. Is that your uncle? You know who Jim Broadbent is? Yeah, he's famous, famous actor. Fourteen ninety nine. Oh yeah, my uncle. There you go, my uncle Jim Broadbent. I'm going to make you feel old. I was born the year after you left school. Oh, blimey! Do you know? I, I, well, I shouldn't really say this. Oh, I'll let them finish their conversation. 1999, I was... Oh, no, I wasn't living in New York. I'd left New York by then. I was... Hang on, hang on. 99 was... I was on the... I was. Oh, no, I'll tell you what I was doing. I was on Tomb Raider in 1999. And then I left the film industry and started on... Uh, I was already doing the odd this morning by then, but I actually left the film industry, took a proper job, not proper job, but I went on full time on this morning and started my first show was the 1st of January, two, or, you know, 4th of January, 20. I haven't got a computer, I don't think, in those days. At uh, 14.99. Well, no, no, what I was going to say to Carol was, and I don't, well, I want to put this in a nice way, not a naughty way, but. It, the year after I left school, I, was, I had a girlfriend, right, called, oh, I can't say her name, yeah, 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 and we thought we might be having a baby. And turns out she, the baby would be the same age as you, 14.99. Only kidding, oh, he's not really his uncle, he's not really, but people think we're related as it's not a common name. So impressed that you worked on Tomb Raider. It was the last film I did, yeah, it was the last big film I did. What's that? Cat, cat, that's why you're not going to go to heaven. Cat said she wouldn't, she wouldn't, she would tell everyone that she was related to somebody. She when somebody tells people she's related to me. 14.99. I'm not your uncle. Beautiful, gorgeous. Toya Wilcox, she's your mum, is she? 14.99. She's older than your mum anyway. Yeah, she's definitely older than your mum. 14.99. Keep going through for that one. Keep going through for that one. And I've got the design roll. Oh, no, jelly roll. It's Moda. Jelly roll. They're exactly the same fabrics. Beautiful. Richard Baker. That's who it was, the newsreader on Mary Mungo Midge. Christine was 15. Oh, you see, no, hang on then. No, Christine, you left when you were 15. I left when I was 18, you see. That's the difference. You could in those days. Yeah? Beautiful. 47, no time. Don't sigh like that. What's that? I know, Fiona, I know. Which just goes to show, doesn't it? Forty-seven ninety-nine. Oh no, my daughter Samantha went on this morning on one of the makeover slots, hair done and dressing up. I think it was about two thousand two. That'd be me. That would have been me, Sue, because uh, I I was there. 
the 1st of January, well, I was there before then. I did the odd fashion show before then, but I do Mondays and Thursdays for the year because I got into trouble because Angelina Jolie used to stop filming on a Monday and a Thursday at 11 o'clock if she was in Pinewood. And they'd go, why do you always stop at that time? She goes, I got to watch John on the telly. And they would say, John who? And she went, oh, John, he's on this morning. And I hadn't told the management that I used to go to London and do this morning. So I got into a lot of trouble over that. But anyway, 2000 till 2010, I was there almost every single day. So yeah, it will have been me. Will have been me. Moving on. Oh, okay. Ooh, I'll do Toki. Have I got this one open? No, I haven't. I'll do the. I love this. Now, this is like, you know, remember um, Becky Swan from Chang's Fabric? And she used to bring us the real McCoy, Shaburu and... What was it called? Shaburu and... I can't remember what the other one was, where they actually stitch fabric and then they, or they put paste on fabric and dye it like this. It's a dyeing art. This isn't done like that, but this is the effect that you would get from that. I love it, love it, love it. I left school in 1979 and joined the army in 1980, says Catherine. You've brought back a flood of warm, happy memories, talking about Mary Mungo Midge. I remember watching it with my dad, when my dad came home from work, sitting on his knee. Oh, Sue. Christine says, it's been a great day today. Off to get the hair done now. It's been far too long. No. No. There was Shiburu and the one with paste. What's the one with paste called? That's it. Bean paste indigo. Or Shaburu, was the other one called Shaburu? N no. No. Looks like this. Looks like this. It's where they put stitches through fabric, then they dye it in the indigo, and then when it's dry, they take that and take the stitches out, and it's created all these amazing patterns. No, no. Beautiful. Aren't they lovely? Now, this is this is the traditional one that Becky Swan used to show us, but then we never saw colours like this, did we? Like the gold and mustard. Good afternoon, John. My daughter Gemma worked it this morning the same time as you. <gasps> did she? Je Je we Je now you'll have to don't put it on here. Don't put it on there, but after I have to know which Gemma it was. What was her surname? I'm thinking all the Gemmas I know now. Then we've also got the pale greys, look. Only 15 minutes left till we have to pack it, till Charlie has to pack everything away. It's all right, because I've already unpacked tomorrow. We've already unpacked tomorrow's. Rebecca Reed's birthday tomorrow. Wait till you see the colour of balloons she's chosen. Beautiful. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Elliot was meant to drop it off yesterday. Oh, no. Do you know what? Do you know what I bet's happened? Is Elliot's been out to get the, birth the birthday cake for Rebecca. No, but Hannah was in yesterday. She'll have gone in the kitchen going, oh, they've got cake for us. After eating all the biscuits. It's so funny because she brings in all her special food, her diet food, all the salads and all that that she's made. Very, very prepared. Then sits there and munch, eats all that by 10 o'clock. Because I, I have my boiled egg and my salad at lunchtime. And then I go, have you had your lunch? Oh, I've had my lunch already. Here's the jelly roll. And then she sits and eats the cakes and the biscuits. Message from Phil. Hi, John. Just letting you know, we're still watching. Filthy Phil, the rain, and Jackie the Jack Russell. Uh, how are you, Phil? I've known you for ages. Still watching. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, yes, but she's also out drinking. I took a picture of her drinking cocktails with somebody the other night, wasn't there? Oh, 
Oh, yes, she was out with Cycling Tony, having a curry as well. It's Miss Social Gad about town. I need to start going out again. I've got so much into that shutting myself away at home that we've had to do. 44, 9, You're working tomorrow? Oh, no. And you're going out drinking tonight? Oh, no. Oh, so Charlie's going to a housewarming party and Kat's going out. I forgot it's Saturday night. Kat's going out for a curry. I've got nothing planned on Saturday night. No, I don't know. Yeah, where is it? Oh. And will everybody be your age then? Will everyone be your age? Yeah, like they want an old granddad like me at the corner. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I won't feel very cool. Right, come on, move on. Charlie, you pick one now. Oh, I've already done that. You've only, no, there's only one left, Charlie. You have to, you have to do yours. Boudoir. Boudoir, you mucky pup. It's lovely boudoir. It's very sensual. I'd put this with either a pink or a red myself. Here's the 10 inch charm pack. 44.99, 42 pieces. Look, it's lovely, isn't it? I need to buy some new bedding. Beautiful, look. Grunge, that, oh you can't see that, that's got that marked, the grunge mark in it. Lovely lace detailing there. <laughs> Granny's Garden. Scrolls, lovely isn't it, beautiful. Look, all the greys in here, little splash of like, I don't know what colour to call that. Um, they've got your scrunge on white there. What colour would you call that? Like a latte colour, that one. Pinky latte, raspberry latte. Oh, what have, I, what have I said? Where is it? What's it say? Oh, sorry, Lorraine. I read it out, didn't I? Did I say Filthy Phil and Lorraine and Jackie the dog? I said her name. Oh, she's a bit... Touchy. Lorraine, don't be so touchy. Anyway, look. Afternoon, John, I'm here. Glad Captain Tom's going in a nice part. Oh, this is Anne who bought it for me. Uh, lovely show today, watching with Harry Hassalaps. Oh, I see. Hassalaps, the dog. Dog. Lots of love for man. Anne lives in rubbery. Isn't that what it's called near Birmingham? Yeah, that's the one. Look, this is grunge. So yeah, so it's been sitting in the garage out, away from all the ice and everything. And then I thought, because Danny's coming, it's supposed to be coming on Monday, I'll get him to pot it up for me. But, um, and then it'll be near my next to my new garden furniture and my awning in the back garden when it arrives. Beautiful. Look at that. That's it, that's it, that's it. Mode de Boudoir, 44 nighttime. We also have it in a jelly roll. I know you can only call them a jelly roll if they come from Moda, because Moda first set up in a cake factory. In fact, in Richmond, where I used to live in Richmond, there was a cake factory on the road as you came into Richmond from Kew Gardens. And it was a lovely 19, late 1920s, early 1930s building. Turned it into luxury flats, though. Anyway, here we go. This is the uh, jelly roll. That's why they're called layer cake and jelly roll. Why wasn't Charm Pack called anything to do with cakes, then, I wonder? Is it called something different? Or five? No, two. Yeah. This is the uh, 40 pieces, two and a half inches wide, width of fabric. Gorgeous. Okay, moving on. No. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was a jelly roll, don't worry, it's fine. Which one first? 
Playful pre-cuts. We love this book. We must have got this back in stock. Thank you to everyone at Sewing Street. It's been a brilliant day. Feels like a really big family. What you all fat, you mean? Really makes me smile. Oh, Carol. We're always here for you, my love. Carol, Carol, do you watch my Facebook Live on a Sunday afternoon? That's fantastic. Because we just, it started off as a, like, how to sew, and not masks, we didn't do masks start with, did we? Scrub hats, scrub bags, the, the things with the buttons on and all that. Uh, and that's just, we just chat. We just chat for an hour on a Sunday afternoon at four o'clock. Comes from my John Scott Sewing World Facebook page, if you want to join in. Thank you for a lovely show. You're like one big family. What, dysfunctional? Definitely. And also, we were all talking earlier about who we looked like and who we didn't look like and everything. About Stuart was saying about his family and Kat was about, telling about her family and everything like that. Fifteen projects in here by Amanda Niederhasa. Oh, Carol does watch. That's all right then. I remember the tea shop, says Julia. What? She <laughs> Which tea shop were we just talking about? Hang on. Did we just talk about a tea shop? Oh, no, the one in Richmond. The one in Richmond. Thank you. Lovely Sunday afternoons with you. Debbie, it's Saturday. Oh, you see, I see what you mean, on my Facebook Live. On my Facebook Live. Yeah, now, because I was supposed to be going for a walk with Dulcie this afternoon. I got it all planned. We'd go for a walk this afternoon at three o'clock. So I'd, I could do for a walk, have my dinner, watch telly. Oh, well, I was going to watch Mars Singer. There's no point now, is there? And then... Um, Tomorrow, I was, was going to have the whole day writing and then at four o'clock, do my Facebook Live. Dulcie messaged last night going, oh, I'm staying at a party in London, can't, get, can't make it back. So we're going on Sunday now. So I, anyway, I have to do my writing when I get in today. 15 projects. These are beautiful. Look at them. Garden cat. Now, this is what Stuart was just doing, wasn't it? Like the Irish chain. And then cat likes the cat in the middle there. Beautiful project. Rise and shine. She says she's not a cat person. Beautiful. You're not Chris and Cat, though, are you? No, exactly. Scrappy hearts. Oh, there you go. There's the theme going on. Look, hearts. Beautiful. Then we've got the Sunday Drive. You see, you can't do that one, can you, Charlie? How are you going to get to and from the party, then? Oh, you're very extravagant, you youngsters. What's wrong with the buses? Gingham patches. Oh, can't you? So none of that running for the last bus or the last train. When I used to go partying in London, when we lived in Colchester, the amount of times we nearly missed the last train home. And it's ridiculous because if we had, we'd have had to, well, that happened a couple of times. You have to sleep on Liverpool Street Station. Beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous, cosy farmhouse. These are lovely, aren't they? Anyway, £18.99. Now the heart look with the star. £18.99. Next one is pieced flower quilts. We've done this one. Now these, aren't these, uh, no, I always get this wrong. I always get this wrong. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh. Why are you going to Wimbledon? Oh, well, I still, I went to Wimbledon School of Art. Cat loves that one. Wouldn't you make them more yellow though, Cat? Okay, she likes the dark side. There you go, framed flowers. No, she's South Wimbledon. Summertime, serenade, love that one. Beautiful, spring tulips, that's the one we've done. We've done that one from the book. Anyway, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely book there, Table Runner, Matilda's Flower Room. Quilting basics look beautiful. Eight pounds and 99 pence. Do I, oh, right, now, very quickly, very quickly, before I do the, 
Before I do the menu, loads of you have done this today. Right, you know the new, not the new, the Elna 680 person. I'm sorry to keep banging on about this, but they are due to be delivered mid-February. Mid-February to me is next week, right? We've got a deal on at the moment. Uh, this is the price. That's the price it's always going to be. So that won't change, right? But if you buy it on pre-order, we will put £50 credit on your account, your Sewing Street account, for you to spend in March, right? How much fabric you buy for £50? How many bits and bobs? Jelly roll? It'd be a, your own jelly. If you've always thought, well, I want a jelly roll, but I've, I've never splashed out on before, get it, because you'll be getting it for free, won't you? But that offer, right, stops the minute those machines arrive, right? So we've been doing this pre-order thing where we say they'll be delivered mid-February. When they're in, we'll do a show with them on. We don't know what date they're going to arrive. So one day this week, I, one day this week, so it'll either be me or Vix, we'll get a show, we'll come into our prep in the morning, we'll get an email from Hayley saying, the machines are here, you're doing the 680 on that hour, right? Say that again. Oh, she would run it as you just screaming to tell us, just middle show and everything. Uh, but anyway, 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 as soon as they arrive, that £50 credit stops, right? That does not happen. So they are going to be here in the next few days, right? Mid-February, next few days, what I think. We haven't been, I, I can't tell you, I don't know the date. Last night we got a slide saying, you know, like the, the machine is here, the machine, that's ready for when the machine is here. We weren't supposed to see that, it wasn't supposed to come to us. It's not here yet. So if you order it today or tomorrow, you will get the £50 credit. Then the machine from Monday, so I'm in on Monday and Tuesday, Vix is in on Wednesday and Thursday, I'm in on Friday and Saturday, and, and Vix is back on Sunday. So you've got me and Vix all of next week. One of us will have a show with that in. Now, the other reason we're doing this pre-order thing is when we did it in September, I've got to be quick, when we did it in September, when I went on my holiday, remember, Stuart sold 150 of them like that, right? We haven't got 150. How many have we got left now? So I've, okay, I've got 67. That's all I've got left, right? So how many have been, that, that means over, uh, I can't work out how many have been booked out, but basically there will only be 67 left. Right, Stuart sold 150 of them in two days, right? So how quickly are 67 of them going to go? Because I know how many of you want that machine, right? This way, if you either put it on pre-order, pay the whole amount, which I would do now because it's going to be next week, isn't it? Or split pay, right? Split pay. You've secured yours, so if on Tuesday, say it happens on Tuesday, I'll go, oh, 680's here, right? First of all, you've missed your, you've missed your 50 pound credit, but also imagine if you're out and all 70 of them or 60 or however many sell, and you come in from the lunch or whatever, and you go, oh, I get it. We are gonna give you as much warning as we possibly can, but I do have to tell you that that 50 pound credit will, as soon as they land, that goes, that offer will go. I'm sure there'll be another offer, but I don't, it won't be anything like that. It won't be anything like that, I don't think. Anyway, 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 I've got to do tomorrow's menu quickly because it's Rebecca Reed's birthday. Amber makes garden bird doorstop. They're on the fan. Oh, that's eight o'clock, is it? I didn't I unpack eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Ahead of the curve with Adele Rowland. Now that book sold out in minutes last time. Minutes. We've got a good stock for tomorrow, not as many as we have tomorrow. And it's also for curvaceous ladies. I think it starts at a size 16. Then we've got Amber Makes Moda. Make time. Hang on. Amber Makes Moda Make. What's that? Amber Makes Moda Make Time, the quilt block collection. It's a Moda collection called Make Time. Bex has done a block. She can do as a wall hanging or a quilt, and she's called it the Quilt Block Collection. Oh, how ridiculous. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got the Sew Over It. Now, it doesn't say Naomi. I thought there was a spelling say It's the Nomi dress that Adele Rowland's going to be sewing. And then look at 12 o'clock. Yarn Lane on a Sunday. Jane Crowfoot crocheted blankets. That is going to be one big special show. Right, so I'm back on Monday now. I'm back on Monday. So... Well, I wonder if there's any Valentine's cards waiting for me when I get home. There won't be. <laughs> uh, who's that from? Oh, Kat got one from my mum last night. Have you had one yet, Charlie? Uh, well, no, it'll be hell to pay if you go home and there's a Valentine's card waiting for you with your girlfriend. Uh, what's this? <laughs> anyway, I have a lovely day tomorrow. I'll see you at the four o'clock um, Facebook Live if you're going to come. And if not, I'll see you back here at 8 o'clock on Monday morning. Make sure you check out your baskets on everything and really do think about the Elna 680. You can go and get it now. It's no problem at all. Go get it now before midnight or whatever. But 
that that 50 pound deal will disappear the minute they land i'll see you on monday